All right, all right, all right, everyone. Welcome, welcome. It is Saturday, so that means today we're gonna have some nice Tekken 8 action. As you can hear uh, today, it is not Ace. Uh, it is me, Raj, uh, since Ace is enjoying the uh, event in Copenhagen. So I stepped up, you know, to so we have Tekken since I got into the game myself with eight and I enjoying myself. So you know, had to make sure that the event is running. So for tonight, it is gonna be me. But you know, I'm gonna be joined by some other people. Uh, it's not gonna just be me on commentary the entire evening. So some other people will join me in a bit. But for now. You know, we're gonna do the Salty Classic, and I'm just gonna put this up on the screen. So we're gonna see who is not checked in, since we still have roughly 5 minutes until the tournament starts. So you can see, you know, the seating, and also a lot of fellas are still not checked in. They got pinged on Discord, but you know, I don't own, uh, don't know everyone in here, so... At best, uh, you want me to check you in? Uh, all right. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Where are you? Oh, you're checked in. You're already checked in. So all good. So yeah. Uh, again, you know, for some people are not checked in. They got pinged in Discord in the Tekken channel. But again, if you know some of these people, uh, Tekken, uh, someone in top eight, uh, Will, Will Van Bill. I hope I'm saying these names correctly. Again, there's a lot of, lot of new names for me, so I hope I'm gonna be saying it correctly. Napsold. Uh, if you know any of these players, you know, just just pay, uh, send them a message on Discord or you know if you know them on Steam or something to check in. Since again, they're gonna be DQ'd in four minutes, roughly four minutes. Yeah, it's right, four, four minutes. So, uh, you know, let them know uh, they're not checked in so they don't get DQ'd. And yeah, uh, so we're gonna start again, as I mentioned a few seconds ago, in those three minutes. But also, before we start, you know, you know, I already see that we already have a lot of gamers claiming codes, but again, for everyone in the chat, if you type this nice little command, I already typed it first. I'm sorry for stealing, you know, the, the enjoyment of typing the command, but you can open this link, press. You just log in. There's a lot of ways to log in. It's so many like different uh, accounts you can do. I, for example, myself, I use just Google, but there's like, even if you use your, uh, if you type in Twitch chat, you can use that Twitch account to uh, to just sign up. So uh, sign up, you know, again, it's like four clicks. You claim a code and you add 25 cents to the price pool. So you see already the base price pool was $15, but we're already almost at $20 because of everyone's in chat's help. So, you know, I didn't claim a code myself. I'm just going to show you how easy it is. Like, so you see, I'm logged in at the top right. I press one button and boom. And it's going to be claimed. Hey, there you go. Simple as that. I guess Machorino doesn't want me to claim a code. Or did I claim one already? I remember. There you go. I claimed it. All right. Machorino just froze for the first time. Yeah, see, see how simple it is? Click one button. I claim the code. 25 cents to the price pool. And yeah, uh, you help out the players. So that means that uh, because we're past uh, $20, that means we have a top two payout for tonight. Because past $20, the split becomes for top 2. I think it was like 70 30 or something. I don't remember exactly. It's in the channel. But yeah, so that means, you know, thanks to everyone's support, we already have a top 2 payout for tonight. And yeah, which is, you know, sick. So if we keep it going, we claim all the codes. I think we can add like uh, additional, like, I don't know, like $6, $7 maybe to the price pool. So again, we'll be almost at $30. So very sick. But yeah, you know, I'll just I'll just keep mentioning everyone like to to claim the codes uh, as the as the bracket goes on, since you know sometimes people forget and a lot of hype stuff happens. So yeah, again, I think some people checked in while I was not looking, but I still see few names not checked in. So you know, they have they have a minute left. They have like 45 seconds before uh, we're gonna start. Ah yes, yeah, so we saw checked in. Nice. So, so last minute check in. Came through, which is always nice. So yeah, uh, do 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 do. We're still missing. Okay. Nap salt, and I think that's. Oh, and Sabia, Sabla here. And that's it. I think everyone else is checked in, right? One, two, three. Yeah, three people are not checked in. Everyone else is checked in, so we're missing three people. So they have, you know, like ten seconds left. And after that, I will have to start a bracket. And I will, you know, do the classic, you know, mark stream matches before you guys start. I'll send a ping for everyone to begin. 
And yeah, alright, it is 15, so I'm gonna go to bracket. And 90 people today, very, very nice attendance. So I will process chicken results. And start a tournament. Alright, so before you guys start though, I have to mark some stream matches. So again, wait a second before I let you off to find your opponent and play your sets. And challenge is being funny again tonight. Alright, so who do we want to see on round one on stream? Hmm, is there any people that I would I know some people but not many so I will just do it I will do I will do this one and then I will do this one a little, little friendly bias I, I'm sorry Mako if you're in the chat but yeah and for round two, I'm gonna do. Ah, what I see. I wanna see him first. And from this side, we're gonna do. I wanna see this one. And for round three, I'm just gonna mark it quickly so people don't forget. Do 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 do. Uh, this could be interesting. And here they didn't mark anything, so I'm gonna do this one. Alright, so that's it for now. And I will send the ping out right now. And bam! So you guys can start with the bracket. Marco, I am sorry, but I wanted the friendly bias, you know. I wanted someone uh, who I know. So, so f for today, it's it's gonna have to be you. But yeah, so that means you guys can start the tournament. It's officially started, and I will pink our first people for stream, and we can start the tournament. All right, I'm just gonna do some audio stuff real quickly. Change to the in-game audio since we can hear the action and I will pink our first two opponents which is going to be Debret and Pishu so again as I mentioned for now it will be just me but I will be joined later by Panther so you know for now you will enjoy me and my uh, like cluster but slowly and surely increasing knowledge of this video game so at the same time you know, uh, for people in the chat, you know, if, if I'm going to be unsure about some stuff, feel free to just correct me. I am, you know, I am not that experienced in this game again. So uh, I'll take any tips I can, you know, if I'm saying anything wrong about the game or I'm missing some info. I, uh, you know, I'll gladly, gladly take the advice. Yeah, so... Our players are responding. Ah. How is how is? Uh, so if you're gonna be on stream, you're gonna be pinged in the Discord in the hashtag stream matches channel. You can see it uh, down there uh, at the. It's right above the voice channel, so you can see us like a salty you tab with the matchmaking help test connection test added button. There's three matches. So if you're going to be on stream, you're gonna see the little icon above your uh, above your match, and then you just wait for me to ping you. Uh, I give you info. Uh, you know, I give you info like what the room is, what the room code is, uh, what the room code is. Uh, you know, I'm always asked for some information like uh, flags and pronouns, so it's easier for us. Uh, to know and after that you know you just join the lobby and play so it is not very complicated it, it might like like take a bit to get used to it but usually like you know for people who come join the bracket uh, multiple times it usually takes like i don't know two attempts and then you just like completely used to it just becomes uh, like muscle memory but yeah so uh one of our players is already in the lobby so i see uh I see bank so it's gonna be interesting seeing as a as a fang main myself. Yeah. 
uh, so we are waiting right now for for Bebret to join the lobby. And yeah, uh, I want to ask, you know, since we're waiting for a bit, how is everyone enjoying the game? We're like, what is it? Third week? Third, third, third week, fourth week of the game? Oh my god, it's gonna be technically almost a month now since the game came out 26. Like next week, it's gonna be a full month into the game. So I hope everyone is enjoying themselves because I am. I am enjoying myself also. You know, put a lot of time into the game, slowly learning it, uh, playing ranked, playing people, and all that. So I'm having fun. But we see both of our players in the lobby already. So I assume we're gonna slowly begin. And we're gonna go right at it. Our players ready up, so if I'm not getting fooled by the lobby, uh, it seems that it's gonna be uh, Pank versus Reyna. Yeah, Pichu, you know, readying up every chance uh, he gets. Going for bread, but yeah, uh, both players already up, so we're going to be going into the game in just a second. And it's gonna be our first set for the night. Players are ready, I'm waiting for uh, the game to set me into. There you go. Get All right, so we're battle. going into it. And it's gonna be Paul versus Fank. So let's see how this will go. Oh. Speed catching up, there we go. Alright. So Fank, you know, a uh, character that has been on the sites of a lot of uh, uh, top players right now, you know, a lot of people saying that this character is. Uh, Pakistan saying specifically this character is top one. And a lot of sights on him. So let's see. We should showcase the strength. Already a good start. Doing the full crouch. Down forward 4 1. To end the round off. Oh, and another full crouch down forward 4 1. But only second one connecting. Yeah. That's the thing with the back to Noki. After the counter hit down back 3, right? The opponent can interrupt it. But uh, of course, he can bait it, right? Cancelling out of back turn. See the heat dash. Oh, drops the combo. Alright, heat burst on reaction. Wants to escape the situation. Forward free. Down back free. Oh, finishes the string with the counter hit and gets the round. So, Pichu already one round away from taking the first game. No punish on the wall standing free. Finishes the string with the low. Oh, and I got a free free. Goes for the mid this time. Oh, trade, but no combo out of it. Nice punish, but too far away to get the full hit on the level one. Oh, going for the launcher in the forward 44. Back three, goes for the hit burst. Oh, finish the combo, just runs off shoulder once again. Gets the hit, breaking through the armor. Getting game one. So strong start for uh, for Pichu definitely. But we saw we saw life uh, for B Brett. Uh, some counterplay being shown as well. A lot of like good chunky hits, but weren't confirmed. Alright, nice. Gets the hit. Goes for the flip. Oh, the punch parry. Yeah, guaranteed shoulder. Bro, a plus two break doesn't get breaking though. Oh, the flip over with the down forward three. Alright, Pichu in heat has access to a scary stomp or just shoulder heat dash. There you go, there it is, shoulder heat dash into just another shoulder, keeping it simple, getting the round. Alright, for the oh, full crouch, down for a 4 1. Another full crouch down for a 4 1. Oh, interrupts the next one though, not that plus. He dash, goes for the pressure, down for one. Oh, the pack, one counter hit, guaranteed shoulder. Oh, nice punish, on the whiff, devil man. Goes for the up for free, nice and simple, it gets the round. So this is gonna be final round again for Pichu. Oh, down for two. 
Alright, it's time the combo. Not dropped! Nice ender. <gasps> With the plus frames. Another punish, nice. See the same combo once again. Give it that one. Let's see, back and back and pop. For the heat engager, it gets blocked though. Nice, gets the pressure. Ooh, and the low down one. OTG. You see, already a good start. For b -Rat. You know, now it's... This, look, this looked like a very good round for b -Rat, maybe. The comeback chance is already here. Oh, that's gonna get hit. Yep, armor doesn't cover lows. Oh, nice punish on the whiff. Heat smash. Port free goes for the heat burst. I don't think that's gonna kill. Yeah, just doing the shoulder, shoulder heat dash, and what's the plus frames? Back one gets blocked. no punish though. <gasps> the final hit connects with hop kick and the simple back one punish. We'll take it, and it's gonna be Pichu taking the first set of the evening. And moving on to winner's round two. But yeah, so that means, you know, good stuff from both. We, we definitely saw uh, Pichu showcasing uh, a lot of the strengths of Fang, especially that, that full crouch down for it for one, right? What a, what a scary, uh, what a scary low to to use in that situation after, uh, it's, I believe it was plus six on hit. And also, not having to uh, cancel into the second hit and just going for the... It's fake, a little fake reset, but, you know, we can catch some people off guard with it. Yeah, 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 Pichu, they actually fixed it, yeah. It worked all fine. I can actually have the lobby in uh, in first to two now with no issues. They, they fixed it, like, last week, I think it was. I got I got it told from, uh, from Ace, so, you know, now I can just have the lobby in, in first to two and not worry that... Uh, I'm gonna get uh, kicked out, so it, it's nice, it's nice, it's definitely super comfortable. But yeah, so that was our first set for the night, and now we're gonna be doing another second one, which is gonna be Roy M19 versus Dahor, or, you know, on Salty known as Mako. So let's see. Again, while we wait, for the players, you know, you know, you know what, uh, you know what you guys can do. You know, help, help the players out. Claim some codes. You see the link in the chat a bit above, but I'm gonna put it in there just again, since we have how many goals left? Twenty goals left. So we barely started the tournament, and we already have, you know, only 20 codes remain, which is very sick. So if we keep it up this way, I believe in like well, maybe an hour we'll have all the codes done. So thank you everyone for uh, for helping out. Again, it's just a couple of clicks. Right? I keep I keep saying it because you know it's always the nice part. Uh, how do I generate these links? So uh, you uh, click right click on your Steam profile, like open your Steam when you're online on Steam. Uh, open your profile and then you're gonna have like the little join game button and you right click it and it's gonna do copy link address and it just generates the code I would probably uh, if you want after the stream ends I can show you like in images because I can't really show it right now on stream but uh like for example after the tournament if you ping me I can I can show you it is very simple like uh, a lot of different games use it uh like for example all old Arxis games uh, have it I don't know Exert and Blaze Boom but, yeah, or, or Skrib I got you with the Quick description also that that helps you know i'm not the, i'm not the best at explaining stuff so but yeah now we're gonna move on to our next set it's gonna be roy versus mako and it's gonna be victor versus i assume raven you know i i know mako personally mako has had a bit of a uh, character crisis recently. I going to the Raven actually. So it's gonna be Victor versus uh, Victor Raven. I'm gonna have to special intro. All right. So let's see how this will go. Again, Victor, you know, one of the new characters. So uh, 
it's been a couple of weeks now, but still, some people may not know the matchup really properly, especially Victor being a character that demands a lot of knowledge. Uh, for me, like practicing against him, he always felt like a character where I had to play against him a lot. It's like it was really uh, hard to figure out uh, how to fight him. Oh, finishing the string on block though. Oh, actually rolls over the running too. Gets it by the low. Oh, the low pack gets the back turn. Oh, blocks the snake. Do we the full combo? Right, let's see. Nice combo. Gets the ender. Oh, the gun gets sidestepped. Blown minus 14. Oh, blocks it and gets the launch. Nice. For the full route. Gets the Oki. But staying on the ground. Oh, running to such an oppressive move, right? Very hard to, to sidestep. And it being, it uh, being a plus on block mid, so avoiding is really scary. But Mako playing nice, uh, simple punish game. You know, just blocking all the important moves, getting those small chat punishes. Just, we saw him blow block, but stood up just at the end. There you go. Nice start. Gets the hit, and that will be round. So Mako evening it round on the rounds. Right, nice. Oh, goes for the mix. Goes for the low this time. Ooh, the full crush low. Right, again, staying on the ground just a bit. Letting uh, Mako with a couple of those buttons before getting the safe get up. This will probably hurt a bunch. Nice. Ooh, and the smack over the head. Heat engager. Nice interrupt from Mako. Oh, the sidestep. Oh, it's gonna be a wall combo. Gets the heat dash. Explosion. And simple string taking it. S second round for Roy. Oh, big whiff, but no proper punish from Mako. This time it connects, so that's gonna be a full combo. See the same route. Oh, and the armor hitting Gager. Getting that life back. Oh, we saw the explosion there, but not coming out in time. Just for the double low. Low once again. It's time a bit. Alright. Oh, it just gets the big hit into the heat dash. And the finish. And it's gonna be game one for Roy. Alex, I noticed that right now I would have to uh, change the... I cannot really move the overlay, I think. I will have to do that in between games. I will try it uh, after this if I can put it a bit up. Round one. Fight. We're going to be moving on to the second game now. Roy being up 1-0. Oh, gets the hit. Let's go back to the proper follow-up. Oh, the armored hitting agent once again. Nice, gets the hit. Oh, the armored. Armored high, getting the trade. Oh, ducks the gun. Oh, it's in the stance, gotta be careful. Yep, has access to that fast high, which gets avoided. Still has heat. Comes out. So block the low, goes for the mid. Oh, and the armored high. Wait for the slightly minus into the armor. Oh, scary situation. Ah, oh, we saw press something. Right. Nice poking. The clone connects. Oh, the armor high. It's the heating agent. The low. Another low. Oh, it's gonna be a full combo. Get it? Kill. I actually want them. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that's definitely the kills. Yeah, just keeping it simple. Big sword slash. Oh, gets the launcher. The plus frame just backing up though. Mako has been getting a mileage out of that heat engager, always connecting. Using the clones a lot. Ooh, gets the double hit. Another low. Goes for the low. Self back. 
and Explosion, yep. It is one of the most oppressive moves, I, I would say, uh, when the characters are in heat. Oh, the throw gets stacked. Nice, gets the hit. The throw, throwing back. Blocks the low, doesn't get the punish though. One hit. Now back four. Running two. Whiffs and the low back. Makot putting a round back for himself. And still in it. Oh, no pressure on the plus fans going for the armor. Get off me. It's my turn now. Nice. Blocks the armor, but not punishable. It is a high in the end. Nice gets the double hit. Ooh, finishes with the clones. Bit of heat. Ah, heat is out. It's the mid. Oh, catches the button. ODG hit and Mako going to final round in the second game. Ooh, the trade for the low. Oh, we saw a small pickup. Maybe could have been to full combo. Oh, we saw the armor start up. But not fast enough. He's gonna get punished for it pretty heavily. Oh, the armor again. Oh my god. No, oh, the armor back. Both players are in heat from, uh, from the armor moves. Locks it. Has a bit of that heat left. Gets the clone. Alright, Bako in rage. Oh, gets big punish for that whiff. And is that gonna be it? And Roy. Taking the set to zero. Regardless, very strong performance from both players. We, we went to, I think we went to uh, final game last round. So good stuff from both players. But uh, you know, before we move into our next match, I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna fix up the health bars real quick because I got uh, told. I I have the overlay set up for Exert, so. Uh, you know, for me, it's not a worry to have it, so I'm just gonna change it up real quick. But regardless, good stuff from both players. But also, again, I'm gonna put it up on screen while I set this up. Help the players out. You have 16. Is it 16? I think it's 16 codes left, so. You know, claim the codes. Help the players out. All right. Gonna remake the lobby real quick and we're gonna move on to our next set. Got it done pretty fast. And yeah, so for our next set on stream, we're gonna have Empress versus Chris. Again, I'm just gonna pink uh, the players when I make the room. But I see, I see uh, one of them in the chat, so they probably hear me. They will know they are going to be here soon. has been made so i'm gonna ping the players right now get them in the lobby and we're gonna uh move on uh, to our next match do, do, do. apologize for the small inconvenience but I, I forgot to set that. I didn't think uh, the overlay would uh, be unfortunate like that. But hey, it's fine. We are moving on. And we're gonna have Empress versus Chris. So I hope I pink the correct two players. Because uh, there is multiple people with the name Chris. Yeah, gonna move on.
move on slowly. I see already a press in the lobby. It's gonna be. I remember correctly, Germany versus UK. And it's gonna be Reina again. If I'm not uh, mixed up by the by the lobby, uh, you know, ranks. I I think it's another Reina. So we're gonna have a, a Reina face-off. Both players are ready, so we're going to be moving into our next set just in a minute. There we go, spectating beginning. I always get scared get in this game. Next battle. Uh, when I'm like, if it's going to send me to spectate or not, because it always takes like a second. But yeah. So we're going in, and it's gonna be Arena Mirror to catch up a bit. All right, there we go. We all caught up now. Teams, there we go. Oh, good start from Empress. Going for the stance. Oh, going for the wave mix. And getting the mid, finishing it off. So round one on the board for Chris. Oh, goes for the low. Another low. 4 4 2 Sentai free. The Reina classic. Oh, tax the throw, but no punish in time. Plus frames. Goes for the throw. And the wall combo. Goes for the floor break. Ooh, can we kill it from this? Alright. And kill, but gets a really good corner situation. Yep, nice little kick with the low. Then we getting the tea back. I understand. So let's see. You know, it's gonna come back for Empress. All right, gets the hit with the full. All right, going to the full combo. We're back at the wall. It's the OTG. Oh, that's good damage. Oh, what a little. Weird side swap with the heat smash. Strange, that for one. We saw start up on the low, but it got chap interrupted. Dance makes and just goes for the armor. 4 4 2. Round four. Fight. Alright, gets another full explosion. Who tries to rewind something? Nice block, gets the punish. Oh, block's still low. Good call for Empress. Oh, nice punish on the 442. We saw the transition into the Sentai stance. Get punished. Alright, no more explosion here though. Already been used up. Now for one jab. Goes for the heat dash. One touch. Yeah, the little down forward one. Simply taking it. And that's gonna be game one. Going for Empress. Round one. Fight. All right, set I free. It's for the mid. Ooh, the hit that's gonna be a crunchy starter. Alright, gets the wall hit. Ooh, little pick up. Oh, the tracking! Actually, on the sidestep. 10 by 3, doesn't get ducked. Ooh, tries to grab, but the move crushing to grab. Bro, once again, doesn't get ducked. Hey, okay, bro, he tries to punish with the heat smash and the armor. Alright. 
Ooh, nice punish on the electric, Chris. Nice going to wall. Split with the... Ooh, for 40% by free. Once again, we saw this situation multiple times. Electric, no respect on the plus frames. It's for the low. Oh, the trade! Oh, but the stagger not getting a chance to pick it up. Another trade! Damn, we're just training around this round. Oh, gets the hit and finishes it off. And with that, Empress moving on to set point. Again for 2 sent by 3, gets the heat engager. It's the finish. Nice OTG after the heat dash. For 1, now for 1. Cap pressure. Just for the grab, doesn't get tech once again. That's gonna. Balcony break. Nice. Cool conversion, getting the hit, and with that, Empress take the set and move on. So we saw. Uh, we saw, you know, nice little arena action at the start here. Again, another new character. I saw uh, the popularity chart, right, uh, that gets uh, posted every uh, every week. And I think Reyna was finally top one. Or was uh, Dragonov still higher? I don't remember exactly, but, you know, Reyna, a very popular character. And character we should all get used to, because we will definitely see her uh, more than enough. We're gonna move on now. Our other winners round two set. With that being HQI versus Noso Eira. Now you see we only have 13 codes left, which is very sick. You know, we've been again slowly claiming the codes as we went on. So again, thank you everyone for uh, for helping out and claiming all the codes. First players already responded. Both players are in the lobby right now. Well, uh, does someone know uh, where HQI is from? I did not receive uh, a message in the chat uh, asking where are they from. And I unfortunately do not know them. So if anything, I will have to rock the uh, good, uh, good old EU flag. We see for now. Get ready for the next battle. Ooh, we see actually Panda and June. Round one. Fight. Oh, HK is from Russia? Alright, thank you. There we go. All right. So I was saying, up the flags. All right, going for the raw heat burst. Instant heat smash. Going to be full conversion. My chunky damage. One hit left. Yeah, getting the big hit. That's gonna be. Yeah, just making sure, right? Don't wanna drop the combo. 
Especially in a tournament setting like this, right? Don't want to make sure... Uh, you want to make sure that you just, you know, don't lose the round off of it. Making it simple with the Rage Art. And it's going to be round one going to the assault. Alright, goes for Dynamic 4. Oh, goes for the speedy low. Another hit. Oh, does get a full conversion of the HQ I kind of struggling right now in the corner, but getting slowly out. Nice. It's the reset. Nice. With punish. With the heat burst. Instant. Heat smash. Building a bit of that life back. Alright, hitting Gager. Also, building a bit of that life now. Heat smash. Ooh, tries to go for the mix. Whiff. A small punish, and that one hit will finish it. So we're even on rounds now. Alright. We'll charge it up with the claw. Nice launch. It gets the hit. Oh, doesn't get the ender on the wall though. Back four. Raw heat burst. Oh, nice reaction! Oh, but doesn't end the attack. Doesn't go for the attack, just holds back after the heat burst. But actually, the attack there right there would have hit. But regardless... Alright, goes for the heating ager. Goes for the pressure, throw gets broken. Raw heat burst. Wanna escape that situation? Lost frames? Nope, just gets launched. Oh, a little bit of that heat like the left. It's used for the heat smash. Heat smash right back. Bang. Charges up the low, but does it get blocked? One touch left. And the mid takes it. No so taking game one. Alright, we're going right at it. No stage change or character swap. Just going right back into it. HQ believing that he can take it. But already off to a good start. Nice block. The blow doesn't get blocked. Ooh, it can. It's the hit. It's the wall splat. Oh, good damage. Whiffs the launcher. Though. I guess the hit, I think that's gonna be wrong. Yep, nice and simple. Nice, gets the launch. The ender at the corner now. Also, slowly pushing himself out. For the armor, but yeah, recovers just in time. Doesn't get hit by it. That's a lot of white life that's gonna get recovered with the hit smash. Oh, the special wake up. Hello. All right. Mashes out of the situation. It's gonna be HQI putting two rounds on the board. In one away from bringing it back. One one. Right, goes for the, oh, the load this time gets blocked. Nice, gets the launch. Are you going to the corner? Yep. That doesn't go in, doesn't want the pressure. Nice heating gauger. Pro gets broken once again. Oh, the armor gets hit. Heat dash. Right at the wall. Ooh, but the wall messes the combo up. Double hit. Nice and simple, and we're going to final game. Oh, we're going back to the lobby. So we might see, we'll see a character swap uh, from Nasson. 
since you know we see the dragon off there in the lobby get ready for the next battle there you go there's the dragon off Round one, fight! Right, rank two, rank two gets sidewalked! Ooh, nice counter hit, it's either to the crouch, it's by the low, and just the heat smash, right there and there! Nice block, gets the punish. Yeah. Alright, heat burst right at the wall there. Goes instantly for the heat smash. Oh, <gasps> three shards. Gets blocked. And the punish. Round three. HQI again. Just those swift two rounds already. Potentially on the reset or uh, the other point, set point. A little reset being down game one. Blocks. Still in that heat. Gotta be careful. Ooh, but now, no so responding. Takes the round. Oh, the throw gets broken. Also, on throw text where on point this entire set. Nice. Alright, low. Gets the ender. Oh, tries to duck, tries to evade some high quickly to get a well standing move. But now you're stuck blocking Dragon off, doesn't break the throw. Not more two, tries to catch it, but gets punished for it. The low. Ooh, and the down two, and we're going to. Final round. Right, smash. And the throw will take it! And the character swap actually being worth it! And with that... It's gonna be Nosson taking the set! 2-0! Moving on! As we're moving on... Our next round, and also, as we're moving on, I'm being joined by a good friend of mine. Hello, Panther. Hello, Rachman. How How's you... it going, everyone? Hello, chat room. Yeah, so now it is going to be me and uh, Panther. Yeah, freshly eliminated by my bestest friend, Valix. Went to went through the weekly O2 and then uh, <laughs> I'm gonna talk some smack and they come in the microphone, you know, <laughs> as we do. Yeah, so now we're gonna have uh, Zeratu versus Koenji. Ooh. So we I'm not familiar with either of these players, but yeah. damn, the Tekken God of Susanna. All yeah. right. I think I think I'm familiar with Koenji actually. Name sounds familiar. Koenji saying they are from the UK. I don't know where Zeratu is from. They didn't say. So, you know, the good old uh, European flag will yep, save me. European flag. Yeah, I remember Koenji being like a top UK player now that you said. The name sounded familiar. Just too many names at this point. <laughs> 
big community, right? Like a lot of, lot of yeah to keep track of. Everyone's so good. Yeah, and also <laughs> not only not only the community being big, like everyone is so good. Everyone is a top player from Russia, or is it a twist from Russia? Oh, also Russia. Okay. Yeah, he wrote on the chat room over yeah. there. All right, all right. There you go, Aska player plays Junior tournaments. My guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As you do. Yeah. I mean, it was the thing, right? That. Uh... I mean, all the Asuka players are saying that, right? Just, they just, just yeah. June. It's just, but it's just, you know, it's uh, whoa, whoa, that was, that was <laughs> you, quite you can see why. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gets the hit. It's gonna be, or oh, just at the wall. This block. Oh, it's gonna be a crown hit. All right, will we go corner to corner? Oh boy. Oh, that's rough. Oh, and the final potential situation? Yeah, just oh, there you go. finishes it like that. Nice and simple. Alright, Quenji taking round one. Alright. Nice. Ball and the running free two. Another running free there two. There you go. Oh, boy. And it's gonna do another one of those. Not gonna finish, but oh, okay. Minus 14, not punished, but there you go. The perfect all the same. Duck the high, no, get the launch. Ooh, the tracking mid. Can. Oh! Uh, there you go. That uh, stance has an integrated parry. Oh, is it? Is it like an old parry? Is it like an old parry or is it just like. like uh, I think it's just like mids. I don't remember specifically. To be honest, I, to be honest, I kind of forgot it was even a parry until I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> this character. Yeah, I this character has so much stuff that. Uh, it's easy to forget. Yep. Gets blocked. Oh, there you go. Alright, there you go. Alright, still has On heat, of course, you cannot lose life on that, so you can just spam moves like that. Yep. Also, as Jun, right, you don't really have to even be worried about losing as much life since, you know, it just recovered. Yeah. Just, like, just. Oh! <gasps> that's gonna be a hit! Okay, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna leave them about even life bar, I think. Yep. So that's gonna mean that Jun is also gonna be in rich now. Ooh, actually not just in Or not! Game. Come on, okay, that's back three, alright. I was gonna say that situation was actually much better. Uh, because, you know, not like being right outside of the heat range. And rage fart. Go. Running free two. Ooh, crashes the heart. Oh, that health sweep is so good. The thing, the thing with the with the HP moves is that if you hit them, of course, you're gonna recover most of the life you get. But yep. if you if you get to if you get to like lose with them and you start doing like you start piling them out, that that chip life starts like uh, starts piling up, you know. And then you get hit, and then you die, and you're like, well, well, hold on a second. But, uh, you have to be careful with that. Even if it's not very balanced right now, in my opinion. I definitely think she's gonna lo lose more life with those attacks as uh, the patches go on. And uh, that's a rough spot to be in. Who actually manages to escape? Can stay first. Oh, oh, no, no punish though. Is hesitant on that. There you go. Oh, 13 frame. We've all seen that move a couple yeah. times. 13 frames, basically a projectile. Nice. I right, gets the hit. <gasps> hit. All right. Final. Oh, blocks the wall. Oh. Nice stuck. Goes over the high. Ooh, the heat burst. <gasps> nice punish. Just instantly to the heat dash. Goes full conversion. And we're at the wall. Yeah, you better get up. It ain't safe down there. <laughs> oh. Well, it ain't safe up here either. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everywhere is the danger zone, and. Hasn't seen a fixed option. Oh, 
Oh. Tuck the hive, but didn't... Didn't prepare for that mid. Right. Ooh, just runs up, gets the mid. Running 3-2. Stands up. That's it. And they cap. Oh, there you go, nice sidestep. Right, I gotta be careful, right, with that. Uh... Yeah, he's aligning for the wall. Yeah. Trying to find the best situation here, that's pretty important. Two throw. Oh, the oh, oh, there you go. That was a really good comeback. But there is to be part of an even bigger comeback if he wants to stay alive. Oh, just do it again. There you go. In, the, in case of that, just do it again. Oh. oh, there you go, the armor clipping. That's so much damage. That's... Oh, this might be it though. Hold on, still the heat. He dash? That's gonna, oh. definitely gonna try, but oh. the wall was a little bit too far. That's gonna. No. Yeah, just that of damage. Yeah. The two hits are gonna connect. That's. Uh... Rage farted. But yeah, that's. Uh... That's it. One one. Yep. Just thank you, Valix, my bestest friend. <laughs> this is Wolfie saying, "What up? What up, man? How you doing? Doing good here. Watching. Uh, feel like I feel like I've watched more June in the last two games than I watched like in the last two weeks." <laughs> There hasn't been like there has been a lot of talk about June being up there in in the t in the tier list, you know, because yeah. she's obviously obviously very strong. But I haven't seen her much in tournaments. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say the exact same thing, right? Like, like people guess her up, but uh, like we don't see her as much. Like, you know, compared yeah. to the we we see more talks than we actually see people playing her. Which, you know, in comparison ah. to the other people that the uh, characters really are saying that is super good, I feel like she's like the actual exception. Yeah, I do feel, I've, I've said this before, I think I even said it before on, on this stream. I think like month two, month three, we're gonna start seeing all the June, all the June cooking that's being done right now. It's gonna start paying off. Because I definitely think she's gonna get nerfed, but I don't think she's gonna get nerfed yet. So, yep. we're gonna get at least until like EVO. Enjoy it while it lasts, you know. She wasn't really. Oh, this is gonna die. This is gonna kill. Just, just like that. Yeah. Nice projectile, bro. Too bad this is a 3D game. But yeah, all the June cooking is gonna start paying off, and uh, I think we're gonna see we're gonna see a lot of this character. I'm pretty sure. Yep. Yeah, Victor. Victor's on the chopping block. Alisa up for one is also on the chopping block probably. Like, this is definitely the first version of a game. Gets the hit. It's gonna be a rough potential final situation. Isn't he? But look at all the gray light. Yeah, there you go. Over. See Chai posting. Hello Chai. I don't know if he's still even in the bracket. <laughs> I'm assuming he is. No, no. Chai okay. is going to be on stream next. There you go. Chai is in the chat. Awaiting, but also going to be on stream next against Sly. Yeah, I do agree that the balance is pretty good already. For a first version, I either we haven't found the like the real broken shit, or this might be like the first ver for, the best first version of Tekken ever. Yep. If you look at any of the, of the other versions. Yeah, I I definitely agree because I again like all the past games that came out in like the last I don't know three years. You know, uh, yeah. I would say definitely it's the most balanced one, which yeah, is... It's also definitely a tendency with other games, right? This, I feel like I've said that, like, it's the first, the best first version of a game. I feel like I've said that, like, yep. in the last five games. <laughs> yeah, I definitely agree. It's it's really, it's really good. It's definitely, like, uh, betas, more community feedback, and, you know, like, more, more communication, basically. They're really helping out with... Yep. Uh, with making actual games that actual people want to actually play. Who knew? 
Love the webcams. Yeah. No webcams. So yeah, we're gonna see Chai on the on the Thai names there. Yeah. And I'm gonna give him Thai flex since that's responding as well. The S also. I think he's gonna I think he's gonna be playing Shaheen today. That's also another thing we've been I haven't seen a lot of people talking, but yeah. I believe and he believes that Shaheen is gonna be a really strong contender as well. Ooh, but Sly from Sweden. Now you have to Alright. So Sweden community. Yes, we're gonna see the technically the Swedish face off, right? Since uh, yeah. Chai Yeah, Chai is uh, residing in Sweden right now. Yeah. I'll give him the Thai flag since you know because yeah. of Thai name, but otherwise it will be the Swedish flag. So it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a Swedish face-off. So I assume these two will have some knowledge of each other, right? Like habits and all that, since again they're from the same country. So one will assume, but uh, we're gonna see. Especially since Chai is gonna be playing a different character than he usually plays. If he does play, and maybe maybe he goes for the club, maybe he's not confident. We, we, sh we oh, shall yeah. see, as you guys say, with Shaheen. We shall right? see. We shall yeah, see. now we'll see. <laughs> yeah, you'll see. We, I, we will see. Yeah, we've been... Like, since since he was since he was announced, like... Both Chai and me believed in this character. And uh, we've been, like... Ex we've been waiting for... For him to pop up, basically. He did... Uh, Shoutouts to Oracle99. He did really good with him. Like, uh, in, the, in the Spanish offline tournament the other week. Yep. He won that tournament. With Shaheen. No, especially a lot a lot of people that played Shaheen in Tekken 7 didn't really believe in him at the end of Tekken 7 because he was not good. But uh, his, they definitely improved uh, his moveset and his tools. And, uh, you know, it's very important to believe in your character. Yeah. That's uh, I mean, fuck a tier list. Just pick whoever you think is going to be the best. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with that. It's like, even if you play like a lower tier character, like, you know, you should believe. If you don't believe in your character, you just give up. Like, pick, pick yeah. a character. I feel like I feel like playing a character which you believe in your head is just not good is bad for you as a player because you just don't feel like you can push your character even further, which you, you can always, like, you can always figure something out, right? Like, we, yeah. we see this in old games, like, X years old games that, like, characters get pushed and figured out. Like, you know, I get, for example, in Guilty Gear XX, like, in the past few years, like, one of the characters got figured out that, like, that was considered really bad, and now suddenly people say it's really good. The oh, there you go. There's the Shaheen. Yeah. So we indeed see the Shaheen. Shaheen and Law, all right. Now this is going to be some classic ass Tekken. Yeah. All oh, the, the bunnies out, all right. <laughs> and that's uh, isn't his jammies? Yeah. Uh, what that custom supposed to be? Is that is that Doctor Boskonovich? <laughs> that, I know we actually an insane reference. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like with this matchup we're gonna see a lot of like classic in quotations classic Tekken. Right? I don't like classic Tekken. Term, but... Arabian had to <laughs> But, you know, I think we're gonna see a lot of, like, standard-ish Tekken. Yeah. Both of these characters just not not really, like, crazy in the, like, playstyle-wise. They just kind of play Tekken. Yeah. They don't look crazy at, at first sight, but yeah. once you start digging, they they do have some... some outrageous tools, that's for sure. Yeah. Oh, slide. Shaheen also has a slide, so maybe you're gonna see that too. Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> but he gets a follow up. He gets mixed after. Alright, that's the smash. Ooh, nice. Oh. Small punish, but still something. Yeah, could have been a bigger punish, but there you go. That's gonna be the round. I can't armor through that with that little life. Fight. Oh, does he get the punish though? Yeah, Shaheen did get juice in this game. Yeah, you got that, you got that block. Oh. Right. Blockable high. We might see soon, right? It's a heat, it's a heat. We might see. It's a heat block, right? I remember it correctly. Uh, yes. Shaheen has two heat smashes. He has one from, uh, from neutral, which is... Mid, I think? No, the one, the one from neutral is a mid, yes. And the one from stance is a low. Just like Leo. Oh, it. Locked it, but 
Smart call. That's yeah. low. Ah, oh, there you go. I even like the decision making there because that heat smash uh, takes some time, right? The animation. And while that was happening, yeah. uh, Chai's heat meter was going down. So it was also like Let's a nice. Let's try to start. rematch. Yeah. There you go. Staying on the Colosseum. The slide. That gets the hit. Plus frame, plus frame. The slide again. Stuck in the blender. Ooh, box down forward too. Alright. Another down forward to them. Slide just fishing for those. Ooh, oh, with punish. There you go. He engaged. One on pressure, but gets it by the heat. Oh, smash. he's dead. Oh, that's he was ducking. Be, yeah, that's gonna be rough. Conditioned by the slide, right? So a lot of the slides. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Slice conditioning is on point. Again. The blue again. Oh, and a perfect. Yeah. Slide just pressuring really well, like conditioning super well. Yeah. On the slides. That's feeling kind of bleak for Chai right now. There you go, the there you slide. Go, slide. Oh, the bunny what? hop. Oh. What a weird. Uh... Yeah, that move. That's a new move he has. There you go. That's that move. But you can you can cancel it into ducking stance. It's it's really strange for Tekken. Like it's a jumping move. You can cancel into into crouching stance. There you go. There you go, Raph on the board. Four three or four four that is. Fight. Oh, the slide, oh, the slide again. <laughs> slide ruthless with those. I think yeah. genuinely not a single one has been. I don't think we've seen one slide blocked by either player. I'm a dragon. Oh, oh and another perfect. Yeah. Damn. Set really well. Yeah. It's gonna be 2-0 then sending Chai to losers and moving on. Uh who my guess would be this is around winners uh, the top 32, I would assume. But regardless, good stuff from both players. You know, despite the 2-0, we saw like Chai uh put up a fight and do do yeah. do a lot of the Shaheen stuff, right? You mentioned a lot of the cool niche uh, things Shaheen is uh I guess known for. Well, Sly is known. gonna move on to face Lane. Yeah. But now we're gonna be moving on again, and it's gonna be Opatiella, who was saying the name correctly, versus Kauchmar. And it's, it's two names. I'm actually gonna be like completely mixed up on how to pronounce well, me... it. So let's see. Patiel Kauchmar. Uh, that sounds French, but maybe it's not French. Yeah. Kauchemare? Kauchemare? Uh, I I feel uh, people saying I'm a bit yeah, loud. I just put you down. I... I'm Tibetano Koenji, that's gonna be a good ass match. But we can't have every match on the stream. It is French, okay, apparently in the chat we get confirmed. There you go, Coach Mar. Yo. Good with names compared to me. Good with names. It's nightmare. I've cool. been I've been around the blog, you know. Yeah. Yo, Will Van Bill is here? Damn. That's a... That's a Belgian legend right there. Alright, so we're gonna have... Finland versus France. It's gonna be... If, if, if This is gonna be quite the set if the... You know, the character we see right now on screen is gonna be also Yo. correct. Because it's gonna be... A Kuma versus a Yoshi. Which is... That that's gonna be quite uh, quite the funny. Uh, now I'm looking. I'm looking at the bracket, and uh, we're gonna have some good ass matches today. Yeah. I see schizophrenic sixty nine, bro. You see that name? Yeah, that's yeah. jump scare of a name. Yeah. But that that guy played Valex, and that's one of the crazy Yoshi's, you know, yeah. <laughs> like like one of the real crazy ones. <laughs> that's gonna be really really entertaining to watch if he makes it to stream. He's one match away. Yeah. And all, like even against degenerate, right? Or speeding degenerate, actually. That's yeah. quite like second seat of the bracket. That's uh, yeah. 
That is a very strong statement. It's a... He's a very strong, uh, very strong Yoshi, I believe. He, he is like, he plays like he should play Yoshi. Yeah. Like he was going, I was watching Valix's stream and he was going into special mode to do the Harakiri move. Oh. <laughs> That's the kind of Yoshi player he is. <laughs> that is like oh, super, there you go. super Kuma optimized Yoshi. memes, super yeah. optimized memes and, you know. That's optimized shit posting, bro. You yeah. have to admire yeah. it. Yeah, no, that's insane. Oh, the Goku Kuma? All right. <laughs> Yo. All right. Now that costume is kind of cool, though. Nah, that is sick. <laughs> that is sick. Right. Oh, both players just. They already have huge life lead. Where, yeah. where's, where's Opa Tail's life bar going? Yeah. Also, like, this is just oh. a, a goofy, uh, uh, like, well, you know, both of the players just kind of neutral, just entering the stances, being full screen away from each other. Gets the hit. The low doesn't get blocked. Oh, yeah, the, you can hold that. So that's kind of a mix up in itself. Like, when's he gonna let go? Pa -pa. Oh, he didn't finish. I think he thought he could finish the Round game with that, but 1-1. Uh, That's a very <laughs> dangerous move to do. The beginning of the round, pretty unsafe. Alright, it's the low. There's a stance. Ooh, yeah, gets the hit. And gets the double kick. All right, counter hit low. A potential final run here. Oh, bear sweep. No longer. Now, now counter hit launcher. No longer regular launcher. Oh, he's, uh, he's praying. Oh, another pop kick. The flash combos are so fun. Ah. Another flash. Ah. Yeah. They are funny until you realize it's fucking life stealing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it hurts also. It's not just about the yeah. life stealing. Also, really. It's life stealing. <laughs> you got life steal combos now. Yeah. I really like like, like the more you just hear like about this game and its mechanics, like it just reminds you of like a you know like a two D game or like an yeah. anime game, and just like no, this is second. Like it's just they're just like, I mean they always had most of this stuff. Tekken Eight has a lot of new stuff, but most of this stuff has already like been in there in one form or another. But they just hide it pretty well, you know. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah like you see Tekken. And you look at Tekken without looking at anything and like, yo, this guy is like doing like regular Kenpo, bro. That's so cool. Or like, this guy is like Karate. That's so nice. And then you, you start seeing the bullshit. And then he's like, wait a second, is that a bear? Yeah. <laughs> Why is there a dude with two swords, you know, in a robot suit? Oh, they get no okay, respect. Okay, help me. Alright. Better electric. Yeah, I really like Kuma in this game. Yeah. They cook. I genuinely think the bears like one of the best glue ups of the of the roster. Uh, well, one of them at least. <laughs> right, the spin. Just oh. Yeah. Round three. All right. So both players are proud. Ooh, tries to go for the big launcher. There you go, electric. Right, gets the hit. Charging ah. it up. Oh, oh there you go. He also gets special moves. It's not only the electrics. He also gets the improved moves as a lot of characters do. There you go. Try and try some bear combos over there. Yeah. A lot of white life, but you know, no way to recover it. Oh. Without that heat. Ooh, nice. Block. Yeah, you can just. Uh... Wait, that's not gonna. That's not gonna hit. 
Ah, it was. Oh, rainbow drop. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of rain, yeah. Someone mentioned rainbow drop in the chat. <laughs> All right. That means with that. Oh, blocks the flash. Oh, we punish but doesn't launch. There you right. go. Flash. Oh, doesn't get the hit though. Oh, it's this rough spot right now, Robert Hill. Oh no. Ooh, there you go. Danger. Goes for the throw, gets stacked. With the electric. The better electric, another electric. Another wait, one? No. And this one gets with punished. And it's gonna be 2 0. My man actually with punishing an electric. That's yep. crazy. Zero then. And yeah. So now we're gonna move on. We actually don't have our next dream match, it seems. So you know we're gonna have to wait a bit for that one. But hey, yeah. you know, you know what, you know what it gives us time for Panther. Yeah. The the good old give money. Exactly. Gives time for people to give money. I saw so somebody mentioned that there was twelve codes left. Yeah. Uh, a while ago. I hope there's like Eight left at this point. It's still twelve. You know, you, you know how this goes. There's a uh, hundred and seventeen of you. There's fifty codes. You can do some math. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. There's Just twelve codes left. Just twelve of you. Just open that link. Just press that claim code uh, button and uh, and just give money. Yeah. And again, it like takes first of all no time. And second yeah. of all, no effort. So you know, it's you not know, like. like for example, I'm not able to claim code for some reason. I don't know if there's some like some Spanish restriction or some shit. Or maybe because I'm part of the staff of this event or something. I can claim a code, so. You can claim a code? Well, I don't know why it is, but I can't claim, I can't I, claim you, a you code. You already but... claimed the code. Did I? You claimed the code at the start of the event, look. Really? It, says, it doesn't let me press the button, so... Yeah, you already claimed the code. You were like... All right. First 10 people to claim a code. Oh, maybe maybe when I maybe when I sign up, I already claim it. Yeah, or something. You, 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 All you, right. you cannot because you already... That's you... confusing. Yeah. Well, there you go. Even yeah. I can claim a code, yeah. so... Why can't you? Yeah, but we're sitting at nice $25.25. You know, nice, yeah. nice, nice, nice double number. 25 so that means that the uh, top two is getting a payout, right? Since we have the past $20, so that means the top two of this tournament is getting some money. Yeah. And, and of course, any 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 kind of support is appreciated. Just watching, you know, just watching helps. Yep. Tell your friends, you know, every every Saturday. You got some fresh Tekken 8. You can join, you can watch. And, and uh, yeah. And it's not just Tekken that we have here, right? We also have... Oh, yeah. We also, right now, for now, it's uh, technically... Uh, we technically have uh, just uh, just Guilty Gear, right? Co uh, besides Tekken, for now, it's just uh, Exert yeah. and Strive. So for all the 2D nerds in the chat, like me, you know, si sign up, sign up for Guilty Gear. It's, uh, it's, it's you know, nice little games. It's Especially, it's, like, very different compared to Tekken. So it's, like, a nice little side game to have on the side. It's just, you know, put, put your mind off of Tekken sometime when you play too much. Especially now, right? New games, so... Yeah. So we are we are planning to do beginner Tekken 8 events. If anyone's interested, they're just... We haven't had the first edition yet, but it's in the plan. Just, just so people know. We are still... Still finishing up the, the details, you know? How's that gonna work? Yeah. But that is coming. Yeah, I think it's gonna yeah, be the, the focus is gonna be, uh, as Rush said, on Guilty Gear and Tekken for the time being. And, uh, who knows? Maybe, yeah. maybe some other games in the future. Yes, we are. Uh, so yeah, we're just for now again still waiting for them. Seems that yeah. they probably have a very close set or something or. Let me actually check if they maybe forgot to report the scores, because I know that sometimes happens that they... Uh, no, I see Pika writing, so it seems that they probably... Yeah, just... maybe they have Yeah, they just wrote GG's, they just wrote GG's. Alright, so we're, go. gonna, we're gonna have them just in a minute. 
So let's see which of them won. Yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm just taking a look at the brackets here. Stacked, as always. Does, like, doesn't even need to be said anymore. See the Spanish people, I see Tibetano, Pika, and the uh, Lane representing. Shouts out to Tibetano. He shouted Salty out on an interview the other day. I was watching that, and uh, he made some good points. I don't think there's a... I don't think there's an offline this week in Europe, so uh, he's, he thinks he thinks it like uh, he thinks about traveling a lot. He organizes, and when there's not when there's no offline, then you just sign up for an online. You know, get get some experience, get some games, and you know maybe get some money if you win it. Yeah, yeah. So the winner of that yeah, set shout, was shout. Pika. Yo, Damascus on the chat. Hello. Yo, hello. There you go. You claimed code before saying hello. There you yeah, go. Yeah, that, that is very respectful. Now we, can, now we cannot talk shit. There you go. Yeah, well yeah. played. Can't tell he's got the experience. He's done this a couple times. Yeah. You know, start, you know we're going to start the, the witch hunt. Like, I'm going to see a name in the chat. It's like, did you claim a code? <laughs> you, did didn't you, claim a code. you didn't claim a code. You didn't claim a code. Go claim a code. You claim a code? Hey, buddy, I didn't see you claim a code. What happened? <laughs> Yeah, so next up it's gonna be uh, Pika. Uh, I'm interested to see okay. who Pika is gonna play. Ooh, but also, just now we had a raid from Lane who participated Ooh. in the bracket. So thank you very much. Welcome everyone from there you go. Lane Stream. <laughs> Welcome everyone. Thanks for the for the raid. Yeah, I hope I hope uh, Lane uh, you enjoyed your. Uh, your bracket yeah, he's still he's still yeah. on winner's bracket there, so uh, he's uh, maybe he stopped streaming. Yeah, just to focus. So yeah. again, thanks everyone for being Thank here you. in the stream. I hope you enjoy your stay here. Yeah, so we already have uh, Pika in the lobby waiting. Oh, I see the Niner. All right. Yeah. That's what I wanted to see. It might be, it might be a switcheroo. Yo, Shaheen main? All right. Shout out, shout out to all the Shaheen mains out there. Tekken 8, Tekken 8 is pretty good, you know. I think, I think Raj would agree here. What, what, what? Pretty, pretty good. I saw somebody first time in chat, like, yo, Shaheen main here. How you guys like in Tekken 8 so far? Yeah, it's okay. Pretty, pretty good. Hey, for me, as you know, Tekken newcomer, technically, with Tekken 8, like yeah. the first game I put it for him, it's a game, it's a game. They cooked. Yeah, they definitely cooked, yeah. I, I genuinely think out of all the new games, it's the best one. Like, in total, like, not just like, like balance wise or whatever, but even like as a product, like, uh, Street Fighter put a bar really high up. Like, I, yeah. I feel like uh, Street Fighter was the game that, like, kind of. Uh, you know, put the put the bar high up. Like that's gonna be the standard for all the new games out now. Yeah, I mean, let's let's face the facts, right? Like whenever whenever any new Street Fighter comes out, it just defines the that generation of fighting games. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Like if as much as I don't think anyone liked Street Fighter Five. I, I mean, some people liked it, I guess, but it defined that generation. You know? Yep. Yeah. And then it set the bar really low, and then Tekken Seven, which was also a pretty low bar when it came out. As a product, then it overtook it, and uh, I feel like now the bar is higher. But Tekken has still done it; has still yeah. overtook it. There is some things that Street Fighter does better, of course, but uh, I I think I think Tekken just cooked. That's yeah. all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tekken. No other way to say it. It was also like the thing we saw that uh, like the game that technically didn't follow up to the standard was Mortal Kombat, and they paid for it like pretty heavily like from the community yeah. out uh, outcry and all that like the community was uh was not happy right with the game like 
the, a lot of the, a lot of the players are not. I feel like uh, we we kind of take this for granted, but uh, in the community side, Tekken has been really like in tune for a long time. It's not the uh, like I don't know any other any other fighting that has such a visible like direction and has such a clear communication. Sometimes maybe too clear, you know. Maybe maybe some people should not tweet as much and the, <laughs> over there in the team, but uh, yep. but like Harada and and Murray, Murray has been there since like Tekken Seven, but Harada like Harada has been working in the game for like fucking 20, 25 years, but like you can see him even being like a figurehead, like a like a living shit post for like fifteen years. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's it's one of the cool things. Uh, yeah, we we are uh, we are getting some we're gonna get some Tekken soon. I see people yeah. like uh, claiming for some Tekken. Yeah, and for, like, we are waiting for the second player yeah. uh, to join. So you know we are getting Pika is already in the lobby waiting. He's waiting, he's chilling. And yeah, so our second it's, player uh, is gonna join. Potsek, I guess that's how you say Yeah, that. it will be it will be Potsek. Yeah, Potsek. All right, so what's like is in the lobby? Cause I assume it's PL, so I assume it's Poland. There you go. Especially yeah. with that name, so it's gonna be with Belgium. that name. Yeah, it's gonna be Belgium and Poland. P Pika has Belgium flag, right? I remember it correctly. I'm not. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if he wants to use Spanish flag. Uh, I guess, I guess that he decides that. <laughs> sometimes Belgium. They didn't, they didn't write Spanish. in the chat, so you know, I'm just gonna there have to go, go with just, the default. You know, if he doesn't choose one, then you just give him one. Yep. That's yep. how it works. Yep. The players are ready. Oh, yeah, we are finally gonna get some Tekken. Yep. And we see. I can almost smell it. Yep. I can see it loading up, so you know. Wonder what stage we're gonna get. And what character choices, since we. Potsek we see has. Uh... Get ready for the next Ooh, we see Ooh, Claudio. Claudio. Oh. Alright. Not All right. Jin, as we saw in the lobby. It'll be Nina and Claudio. All right. Round one. Fight. All right. Again, Pika, right? Like one of the oh. people that name made name for themselves during uh, Tekken Seven. Yeah. And still very strong at performing in uh, in Tekken Eight. Definitely making a name for himself in Tekken Seven. Making a name for himself in online and in, in this same, very same tournament. Yeah. There's two players the... in this lobby right now, and one of them is getting yeah. clobbered, but activating the heat. Gets oh. the hit. One life and there you go. back one. It's I... back one. Yeah, it's like taking round one. The low. Oh, Vika using the, the, the sidestep, right? Yeah. Hayashida step. Yeah. Alright. Oh, the wave! Does he get a proper punish, though? Wave's still running, too? Another okay, low. I see some crunch here. Yeah. Hope having... that's just a uh, spectator. Yeah, I also hope this is just... Otherwise, uh, <laughs> this doesn't seem playable, but... Yeah. We'll see. Oh, there you go. He can oh, parry, so it's probably parry, yeah. playable. <laughs> yeah, I hope, I hope this is just, just spectator side, since, you know, my FPS is fine, and... Uh... Yeah, pick a, pick a grown-ass man now. Yeah. He ain't, he ain't a toddler anymore. Alright. No DG. Oh, running two. two. Alright, rank two once again gets the ah. heat dash. Oh, we're close to the balcony break. Patience. Ooh, gets a hit into the heat dash. Yeah, just gets OTG hit though. Oh, there you go. Oh. Okay. Oh my. <laughs> it just does the. Yeah, he charged into the armor. Fight. It's actually one thing ever. That's actually pretty cool, right? You do, you do yeah. uh, key charge. And I think, like, pick is definitely very high on the BM, you know. Yeah. And of course, Nina calls you a joke on the key charge. You know, that's kind of it's like a key charge and a taunt. Yeah. All right, the full combo. Look at that combo, all right? We see the balcony break. He's not nope. done. Okay, he is done. Yeah, he's done now. Armor, he dash. Oh, it's gonna be hella plus. Oh. 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 Okay. 
Oh. What happened? Uh, well, alright. Alright. <laughs> alright, wait, did I die completely? Uh, huh? What happened? I. I, <laughs> well, I guess we're gonna have to communicate with the players here. Yeah. Uh, let me think PK real That's, quick. Uh, well. Just as we were gussing up Tekken 8. Yeah, <laughs> that's what we get. That's what we get. <laughs> well, that well, is that was a Tekken moment, but you know. It is. It is first version of the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the you got the you got the first version of us. Yeah, I hope the players did stop playing because uh, I pinged Pika, but uh, see, I hope did one of them get DC'd? Maybe I'm not sure. The the. They're both in the lobby, so I'm not sure what happened. Uh, Maybe yeah. a desync or something happened? Yeah, it could be. Not sure. You know what it might be? Uh, it might be that... Um... You know, it started lagging, and maybe the lagging was on your spectator end, and since it lagged, it desynced, and oh, they finished the game, and then it crashed, because they were close to the end. Yeah. And I hope it's that. Yeah, me, <laughs> me too. <laughs> But if it if it is that, then they're probably just playing on the. Yeah, I, I don't think that's the that's the that's the rough part that uh, I cannot like can know, close the lobby uh... since it passes owner, so I can, cannot just yeah. like panically shut the lobby down so the players yeah. stop playing. So right now we're just kind of stuck well, and I cannot send messages. So hey, I hope that I hope it just desync. But it I hope you like... enjoyed that one game of Tekken, guys. Yeah. But. Uh... Then that's it for the set. Maybe maybe the players were answer, but. Yeah, I'm assuming if, I'm assuming they're gonna be yeah, I don't concentrating see, I on don't playing. See neither answering, so I think they're just playing, but you know. Because we well, didn't even see the end of game one, like that was that was like Yeah, I think I think that's it desynced. So the so your spectator thought the game ended. Yeah. And uh, we just didn't see the ending. Yeah. Well but, you know, that's just just a theory. Uh, a game theory. Game theory. Unfortunately, no. Not getting in many of those things. Yeah. Yeah, but also just a small update since we were mentioning the name before. Schizophrenic actually made top eight winners. Yeah. <laughs> so you know that's gonna be a that's gonna be a a nice like you know it's it's as you mentioned it's it's a name jump scare. Yeah. So so that's gonna. <laughs> like be, I saw him. You say that that's the that's that's the, like the. That's the smart part, right? You see that name and you think like those same that names are so crazy. You usually don't think those players are good. Yep. But he's right there in Winners Top Eight. Yeah, yeah. I so also you know. think they. I think I think they chose rematch. I just don't think we're gonna see the sub, unfortunately. Well, radio comment. Uh... Yeah. One thing I was wondering though, if. Uh... What happens? Can I kick? I, mean, I would have to restart the lobby after that, but if you could like panic kick one of the players? I don't know if you can kick people that are playing a match. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't know if that works. Well, that's gonna require future... Oh, they went into the lobby. At... It says one for Pika. Well, let me see. GG, so... They wrote GG. I assume then Pika... Yeah, I'm assuming Pika won? Yeah, I assume Pika won. Let me, let me... I'm gonna have to communicate with that. Well, that was, that was quick yeah. at least. Yeah, that was that was maybe two zero. Yeah, I assume it was two zero for Pika. Well, just then that's probably what happened. The spectator desynced, and uh, and we just didn't see the ending of the first match, and it was all over from there. Oh, well, but that means that uh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. But uh, you know, spectator modes. They this. It seems apparently it's really hard to make it right, to get yeah. it right because uh, in a lot of games, you know, have issues. Yeah. We had we had issues in the first week, first few weeks of uh, not being able to watch rematches directly. So you would just have to do one match each time, and they fixed that and they broke something else. But you know, it's a good thing this is on stream, so we can just go at her on Twitter and say, yeah. hey, what up? Fix. Uh... Fix, please. Cool game, bro. Now, please fix. Yeah, so, unfortunately, but we saw the one game, so that means that, you know, PK will be yeah. moving on 2-0. And our next set is going to be Lane, who raided us before. Ooh. And it's going to be Night versus Tyvis. It's gonna be All the right. top eight qualifier. 
And actually, small update, we saw Koenji beat Tibetano. Oh. 2-0. 2 yeah. Okay. So, no, that was, okay. That, I, would, I would say that was probably quite upset for this bracket. Yeah. Not to, not to discredit Koenji, of course, but Tibetano has been performing... Uh... Performing very, placing very highly in every tournament is entered. You know, there's still loses bracket. Yeah. yeah, let's see, let's see how loses. He's Shame fighting King Shamus there, so that's not gonna be an easy loses bracket for sure. Yeah, right now we just see looking at uh, loser side, we see Skripa wait right outside of top eight. And yeah, a lot of lot of losers uh, catching up. See top, it's at top thirty two right now, pretty much the bracket. So we saw uh, Yonder Ponder, Napso, Noson, Mako, and Alexi getting eliminated at top thirty two. And uh, quite few players are still waiting for games in losers, so you know no. losers is gonna be slowly catching up as we uh, do winners. Yeah, I think the two players, so it's gonna be Lane and uh, Navis. So let let them join the lobby. And we're going to I'm play. not familiar with Navis, but uh, I'm pretty familiar with Lane. Another one of the, I would say right now top three Spanish players. I would mm, say it would okay. be easy top three Tibetano or Akle and Lane. And um... Yeah, Lane cooking like on a national level last year. He didn't he didn't travel internationally as much as Tibetano, for example. But uh, he did some good results, you know, overcoming some demons and cooking. And of course, at least a player, respect, automatic respect, you know. But taking like the Lisa, that's that's a different animal right there. So we'll see how that works. Cause she is pretty. Like, it's one of the characters that I'm pretty sure they're gonna nerf. But uh, we are gonna have to see. Of course, you can see my avatar, you know, not, yeah, not yeah, hiding yeah. anything here, ah. but... Uh, you know. For now, I'm not not really that convinced with Tekken 8 Alyssa. A little bit too different, you know. But uh, I think all the Alyssa players are cooking so far. All right, so we have, again, uh, one of the Tekken moments. Tekken uh, moment. With, uh, unfortunately, the console player not being able to yeah. uh, see my lobby, so I have to add them right now. So I'm going to add them and so they can see the lobby. That's also another another thing with the cross-play games. You have to adapt. Like, it's very it's very good that we can host cross-play tournaments yeah. and that yeah. we can just play with console people like that. And I think it's pretty seamless in, in Tekken. Like, of course, every every game has been uh, has been doing it, and they've all been doing it well. But you know, Tekken this is the new thing for it. And, uh, it's it's good that it just works. Like gone gone are the days of uh, Street Fighter V avoiding PS4 players like the play. I'm pretty. It is pretty fine playing PS5 players in Tekken. Yep. Yeah, well, one funny thing though that I noticed about uh, about uh, Tekken 8 with the console stuff is that you don't see like the performance thing, uh, like the you know the bar showing uh, when you get uh, frame drops. Yeah. Because I feel like on some PlayStation people, I uh, noticed that they had uh, they had like uh, how to say it? they had like frame drops, but yeah. you could not. Uh, you I feel I feel like Sony must have something about not measuring performers on their games. Yeah. Because it just it just makes them look bad. <laughs> like. Yeah. Like every every damn PS5 is the same, and this one is like dropping frames. How come? They must have something to. But yeah, people mentioning Xbox players. I have not seen a single Xbox player so far. I don't even know if we can. Uh... 
I don't I don't think we can even uh, like differentiate Tell. on PC. Like I think it's I, just console. I'm pretty sure the PS5 icon is the PS5. But uh, yeah. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure I saw Xbox plays on the beta. Oh yeah, Nozoneda is an uh, Xbox player, alright. My bad. Also, yeah, we're down to the final two calls in Maturino, so... If anyone's, uh, if anyone's looking to claim some codes... It's a good time. Right, so again, just having to add uh, real quick. But again, yeah, as mentioned, you know, last two codes remaining, so we can claim them as we wait for our uh, next set. So again, just two codes, right? There's uh, there's uh, there's enough of us. Uh... Ooh, Tekken King Lily player. Yeah. All right. So it's uh, presumably gonna be Lily versus Lisa. Yeah, I assume so. Yo, Lane, one of those PS5 players. Are they both PS5 players? I'm not sure, but you know, it's it's just easier. Solves yeah. the solves the problem. Yeah, so I'm gonna get back to room real quick. Uh, but uh, we have mentioned the crossplay stuff, and uh, that is the thing, right? Like, I genuinely don't think any game had uh, like the crossplay worked day one. Because I remember, for example, a game that. A uh, game that uh, had like uh, how to say it also had like uh, crossplay release problems was uh, was Strive. Since that yeah. got that Strive got crossplay like in the like progress of the game, it wasn't like day one. And uh, the game uh, the game had like quite uh, quite the problems with it. Like definitely. yeah, I remember. It wasn't an easy transition. Yeah, it it took them quite a bit. The servers were very rough. Uh, on release with it, so you know it, it is not surprising. Like I don't think crossplay is like thing that's pretty easy to to implement. Yeah. Probably it probably takes like a bunch to figure out, especially like uh, just outside of the game, like you know licensing. Since we, for example, saw uh, Uni, like did not have crossplay apparently because of uh, some like licensing uh, related stuff. So. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Sony has some licensing fees that, uh, or like some licensing conditions that people are not willing to negotiate. I mean, I remember the times of, uh, of like fucking Fortnite not being playable on yeah. crossplay on PlayStation because Sony didn't want that to happen. Yeah. You know, the the OG crossplay fighting game was his Killer Instinct. I don't think any other game really had it before it. But I guess when it came on PC, it was after SF5, so maybe SF5 is the one that we should count, but... Yep. I don't know if we should even count it. <laughs> that did not work well. I don't think it ever did. But yeah, we have, we have the players now. Yep. We sorted. Hopefully we're gonna be seeing some games. Yep. We sorted through the problem. Yeah. And we're gonna be going into it. Got the Navis on the Tekken King Lily, and Lane on that Tekken Emperor Lalisa. Yeah, let's see if you know we we saw some uh, like uh, changes from the players, so let's see if it will stay true to that or if we gonna get uh, gonna get a jump scare uh, yeah. on the character swap. I don't feel like they're gonna be changing players, especially like Lane. I don't think I've seen him ever, ever play any other character that's not Lisa. Get ready for the next there you go. Yep. No surprises here. Yep. Yeah, but also thanks everyone. While we were talking, we claimed all the codes. There you go. So thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Thank Appreciate you. that. Yeah. 
So pretty much, you know, all the codes claimed now. So, you know, if you guys want to continue supporting, you can obviously, like, donate. But, again, we did the, 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 the important part of claiming the codes. Oh, catching this is up fed up as fuck. Yeah, we are catching up. All right. All right, get the punish. Oh, toe kick. Yeah. Homie move. All right, see the pressure. Ooh, do wall jump. All right, see the folks. Goes in their chains up. Oh, third hit. That's yeah. uh, three lows. The string is always three lows, so in this case anyone wants to know. Oh, he dash. And there you go. First yeah. round for Nevis. Oh, well, okay. Alright, gets the wall. Ah. Done! There you go. That's the move that's gonna be first on the chopping block. You're, <laughs> if you saw at least a gameplay, you probably saw that move on that. Alright, gets oh. the hit. Yeah, instantly goes for the tornado to make sure. Oh, does it actually kill one life? Oh, the sidestep. And just like that, lane is out the wall. Yeah. Not much life left. Yeah. A lot of risky moves. All right. Yeah. Fight. Right. There you go. Sidestep poke kick again. Too much of us to make any combos. I'm gonna whiff punish on that too, too afraid. Legs for days. Oh. oh. Unfortunate. Yeah, yeah. I respect the I see, a, I see a lot of Lilies doing that move because it evades. It evades a lot, but you know, if you if your opponent has a move that moves forward, you're just gonna get fucked. Yep. Like, that, that, at that situation, after that, it just kinda depends who recovers faster since Lily has good back turn, but. Uh, yeah. It is just uh, it is just a question of like who recovers first. Usually, usually it's the second one, right? That move is yeah. like very usually long. Usually, fucked. Yeah. Ooh, oh. Nice. Let's actually get interrupted by the low. There you go. Hit, hit smash, just to get it over with. Right. See the poke. Oh, oh goes boy. for the heat dash. Oh, shoe shine. Yeah. Oh, and the there armor. you go. A back two. Now final round, the first game. Yeah. Yeah, game chugging again. I think we're gonna have the same problem. I hope not. Right. Ooh, doesn't block the mid. There you go. That's a launcher now. Ah, three lows. Oh. Go shoot shine, and there you go. The perfect. Yeah. Gonna be lane taking game one. Yeah. So let's see if they're gonna go right into it. Or we're gonna see, you know, make a stage change or a character change. I wonder. I'm not sure which of these character is uh, is better on uh, on player one. Oh, sorry, on player one on uh, like which stage? Like if maybe some like wall breaks or balcony breaks. Well, are better characters? that's uh, that's another thing. We don't. We do not. That's another big change in this game, right? We do not have infinite stages anymore. Yeah. Alyssa, classic, classically a character that's very good on infinite stage. And uh, a Lily of course as well because of the great movement that both characters have, but we don't have that anymore. Yeah, so like you could have to go for a bigger stage, but uh, I think they'd rather just stay cozy, you know. Second hit tracking, it's for the heat burst. Right. Ooh, the flip again, oh, again. Out. <laughs> but a small punish yeah, this time, nothing major. I think Ling was ready for that. That move is kind of a jump scare. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Round two. Fight. Right. Oh, just up kick. No. Right, that's for the heat burst. Oh. oh no. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> Look at the chip. Yeah. Look at the chip. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it gets. Yeah. It's so. Potential final round? round three. 
Yeah, just like that. Fight. All right. It's a string. Other block. Ooh, the back turn gets interrupted by the low. <gasps> Blocks it. Oh, but. Oh, what's standing through? Oh, that's yeah. for the low option. It's the hit. Oh, no. No, don't. A little bit of heat oh, left. Oh, too Oh, he needs that one touch. Potentially that one touch left. He's doing something. Ooh, and the side There you go. Just do 2-2 nice. again. Yep. That's a really good move to just stop your opponent. Nice and simple. From whatever they're doing. Just really, really strong 2-0 for lane there. So just to answer the question in the chat, if you if you mean like the big spin move, that is the second hit is a high. So if the first uh, hit whiffs, uh, you can duck it right and launch it. But I think it jails. I think uh, if I remember it correctly from uh, my experience playing against Lily, I think the first hit jails. So you again, yeah. you need to make the first hit whiff. They are both highs, but if you don't duck the first high, then you cannot duck the second one. Yeah. But, you know, it's really, really hard to be ducking that because it does not look like high. The first hit, at least. Alright, but that means that we're gonna be entering uh, top 8 winners just now. And also that means that we're gonna have a little uh, commentator change. So, again... Alright, yeah. switcheroo, I'm gonna kick up the stage. Yeah. It's been a, it's been a pleasure. Nice ending it with, uh, with Alisa. My girl, you know, I don't really play her anymore, but still my girl. Robot. Robot girl. But yeah, thanks everyone for watching. And uh, thanks Raj for hosting this. Since Ace is not here. He want to get milk, you know. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, it's going to be a great uh, rest of the tournament. And uh, we are going to be joined by Hakobi Death. Hello, everybody, man. I right, see you guys. Yeah, yeah. Massive shout out to you guys commentating uh, most of the tournament right now, man. It's been, been mad, but you know what? I'm very excited to be commentating this, this top half of the tournament. This is the first time I've commentated the top half of the tournament. You guys know me, I've, I've done the past two weeks something new, second eight for you. Um, but. Yeah, man, I am. I am so so excited for, for this tournament. Yeah. I'm looking in there and I see some UK Tekken players that I, I I know and love. Special shout out to my boy Koenji, who beat Tibetano 2-0 and is now in top eight winners side. I was commentating wake up on front with this guy, like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, I was also surprised by. It. I was like, definitely they like, can. In insane upset, right? Like or insane upset, like you know, it, it sounds like we're downplaying uh, like the player skill, but even looking at the seeding, uh, it was first seed to to sixteen seed, uh, so mm -hmm. technically, like numbers wise, it is an upset, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, the the thing is, right? Like, Koenji's come in here and is playing the new character of Azu. Um, traditionally in Tekken Seven, he played Kunimitsu and uh, played uh, Alyssa and Lucky Chloe as well, like played quite a few quite a few different characters actually, but is now sticking to this Azu and is just absolutely popping off in the UK. Literally, I, the, I, you know I keep my ear tapped into my country scene and like Koenji, the results have like almost shot up from uh, like Te Tekken 8 is the game for him, man. I can I can say that. Um, that being said, I, I see some, you know, common names in here as well. You know, you see Degenerate over there in Losers. You see Emphis FGC. FGC. Shout out Emphis FGC for destroying me in uh, VSF Tekken 7. Um, first game on stream, that was, that was, that was a <laughs> wild ride. Um, but yeah, man, we're going to have a great tournament. Uh, we're gonna have a great top eight. It's gonna be a good one. Yeah, I also like you wanted to follow up on what you mentioned regarding that uh, it will be the game for them. Like that is one thing. Uh, since this game is, you know, like from from the get go, they they advertised it as that that this game will be way more like focused on aggression. So yes. a lot of the people who have like really good uh, 
you know, like how to mental stack their opponents on offense and like they, they have like mm. good mix up and all. I feel like those people are just gonna flourish in this game. Since... Oh yeah, absolutely. It's 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 about I think me overloading the opponent with options and like you said, disrupting their mental stack, right? But also uh being able to condition opponents effectively in terms of that mix up game. I know especially with Azu once you go into Lib you need to be able to condition that opponent effectively to not know what you're doing in lib. Because if the opponent starts figuring out what you're doing in lib, that, that could become a problem for you later on. Yep. Yep. Uh, yeah, so we are have our top 8, so it's gonna be Pika versus Schizophrenic. That's the first one Ooh. since Lane just played, so you know we're gonna go from, top, uh, from bottom to top this time around. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 I see it, I see it. And yeah, so the players are gonna be joining the lobby soon. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna begin. So again, you know, we claimed all the all the Machino code, so we're sitting at nice Man. $27.70. Uh, sure. So, you know, the winner of this tournament and the second place of this tournament will take something nice out of it. Yes, small, absolutely. Small bag, you know, ni nice uh, dinner, uh, you know, the kebabs. Yeah. Uh, yeah nice, nice takeaway for winning or something. Yep. <laughs> you know, but... Yeah, man, like, you, you look at this game, and through the weeks that we've been playing this game so far, um, I've had to introduce a, a lot of new players to Tekken, right? As as someone who's been playing Tekken since 2005, right? A lot of new players are coming in right now, and being able to introduce them to this game, and saying, you know what, this doesn't work the way you saw it in Tekken 7, this is the way it works now. And being able to say, you know what, they're a bit surprised here, they're a bit surprised there. Like, it's interesting to see what people are, are actually thinking about this game, especially the newer players. Because, you know, you see some of the professional players doing the same things they were uh, in, in Tekken 7. They're doing that backdash sidestep movement on Mound Star, you know. Um, especially as sidestep is better at the minute, it's also helping a lot more. But, you know, that's being also stuck in their ways. I see a lot of the newer players come in and you know what? I'm just going to press my good move in neutral and hold aggression for like 10 seconds and win the infraction. It's really simple. Like, that's the game plan for some players at the minute, right? No, no other complicating it. Just just move in, press a good button and, and, try, and try and win that infraction. Yep. And uh, even like uh, kind of the philosophy of that, especially with like the heat engagers, right? You... It's like you have the good button you want to throw out, as you said. Yeah. You throw the button out. Hey, I'm, you know, if you, if it connects, you're plus 17. You get your mix, yep. you're in heat. You get that, like, best in situation you could set up in the game. Yeah. And... What? Yeah. You know. uh, wh one of the biggest things I think about is that you cannot be scared to press a button in Tekken 8. If you're scared to press a button in Tekken 8, the opponent will be able to take that opportunity to, to press the button first. And if they press a button first, they're holding that aggression on you for 10 seconds. And believe me, you don't want to be holding block for 10 seconds in Tekken 8. Yep. It's a pain. <laughs> and also, it's a pain for your health bar, because that white life just kind of got to build yeah. up. <laughs> Absolutely, but right now we're going into this game right here. Yep. Pika, well well known and loved in Insult EU, has won many in, in Tekken 7, and is putting the name on the map in Tekken 8 as well. Um, versus Schizophrenic, man. The, the Yoshimitsu. Yoshimitsu's been showing up this tournament, I gotta say. Yoshimitsu players been showing up this tournament. And battle. we don't even have, uh, for example, like Gaten Trench, right? The bracket. No, no. So it's just, it is, it is, it is like, you know, a lot of the other Yoshi players, and they're just showing insane. And I, I, I heard from a Panther a lot of stuff mm. about, uh, about Schizophrenic, especially, because apparently the playstyle mm. is gonna be really wacky and a lot of like, Okay. Specific stuff, so I want to see how that's gonna go. I like to hear it, but here we go. Round one of this top eight game right now. Good sidestep to start things off, and a low check. Check the knees. Oh, that's big damage right there. Gonna heal it all up, and on the knockdown, the little tech there, and that's gonna be to the wall. Look at the chip damage. Oh my days! What a start. That was swift. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I want to start right. This was such a fast round. Oh my god, look at yeah, the damage! Absolutely. The oh, damage! Man's not in the way! Hey, man, man went to the shops to get milk. What was he doing? But here we go. Gonna get a helicopter, helicopter. Playing around each other now. The wall. Big damage. 
I like activating the heat here. Get the extra plus flames. Yeah, there you go. Yep. Alright, bring the poison out. Yeah, just think that looking quick. Ooh, okay. Ooh, really yeah. Oh, speed something gets the Oh, clip. wow! Oh, what is this? Yeah, yeah. Man, that was wild. But I love the heat bursts from both players in, in each situation because one of them was to get closer to the wall and one of them was to get out of the wall. And heat burst is so useful in those get off of me situations, you know? Alright, we'll see you all break. No, no, no going downstairs yet. But all right. to the wall here. Hide the no. poison. Playing around each other. Whoa. Okay. You're okay, we're catching up. Okay, I can see. And the low check, yeah. Check the knees. Yeah. And it's gonna be game one. Yeah. Yeah, I see mentioned in chat, even the custom is like very... Uh, it shows the playstyle of it. I think, I think it matches the... Matches yeah, yeah. the, the, the playstyle. Oh, I we're going back to the lobby, actually. Back to the lobby, different stage. Now, I heard you guys talking about uh, good stages for Lily last time. Yeah. Um, Just before I jumped on. Do you know what? I think Ortiz Farm is actually a really good stage for Lily, or any stage with floor breaks, actually. Because I think any stage with floor breaks, with that heat smash, it's it's a floor breaking heat smash. So you can get an extended combo off of hitting um, a whiff punish with heat smash and getting the floor break. So I think any any stages with floor breaks are currently quite good for Lily. Okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that's a good call, and it's a... Uh... I guess the heat smashes would be a lot of, uh, like a big defining factor for a lot of the characters because, for example, like the character I play, Fang, uh, mm. he has like the heat smash, which I don't think is as good. But for the like wall, the hard wall breaks, especially because it instantly breaks the the hard Get walls, the so you don't have to get the two hits, and it has a lot of like it it launches the opponent super far away. So you could get ah. like some cheeky like super far away uh, floor uh, wall breaks, pun like uh, punishes into a full combo. Uh, mm. So I guess yeah, like the heat smashes would be the like important factor to yeah. to consider. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, here we go into this next game. We're on arena this time around. Interesting stage pick. Um, I think it's maybe just because of the size of it, not not because of any of the you know uh, gimmicks or anything. Because you know none of those gimmicks happened last time. But gonna bring out the cat and yeah. pow pow oh, the flash. The flash! Gonna get the launch off. That's gonna be to the wall. Big damage incoming. Yeah. Ooh, got some blockable. Sets it up. Yeah. Lo I love that setup at the wall because it just catches so many players on get up there. But whiffs the grab. Takes the turn. Okay. Grab connects this time. No breaks. Oh, and a catch. That's gonna maybe be dead. If it gets the reset, doesn't. He activated back. Come back on the horizon, potentially. Goes through. Oh, does it again! The Seppuku. Oh, man. Okay. Flash again, man. Okay. Goes for that setup again, it just keeps hitting, and if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's gonna push all the way to the wall right there. Gonna set up the helicopter and kick away. Activate the heat, get the plus flames. Okay, gonna dash away here. Big heat dash combo, let's see where it goes. Right, it's the... Oh, goes for the wall. Yeah. Gets the ender, not much life left. Takes the oh, throw. get off of me! Woo! Oh, oh. Oh, raw like that. Yeah. Oh, wait. Okay. I was about to say drop the combo, but gets the get up set up again. And this Yoshi is an actual menace on get up. You need to be careful of those setups, for sure. Jab, jabs, coming through. Gets the knockdown. Gonna get the combo. To. Not to the wall. Unfortunate there. Helicopter, good blocks. Good grab against the power crush. Right, situation. Situation once again. Let's see. Oh, nice. Gets the oh, nice. Heat yeah, great heat burst right there. Gonna set up heat dash. Get off of me! Okay, kick's coming through now. Helicopter with the chip. Oh, and the low! Okay, that's gonna send two to the wall. 
can't get anything off of it though. Waits for the setup. Good patience from Schizophrenic. And that's going to be the low. And that's going to be the game and the set. Well, that was a good showcase, you know, uh, name, name befitting uh, the playstyle. <laughs> and it's For gonna sure. be 2-0 to Schizophrenic. Yeah, 2-0, man. Absolutely wild stuff. Yeah, so it's gonna be Schizophrenic moving on 2-0. Yeah, and I think we're gonna play our other winner's game next. Which is going to be my boy Koenji versus Lane. Yeah, so Lane, we saw just, you know, like two matches ago. Mm. And Koenji also, we saw a bit ago. So it's going to be another another waifu fight of uh, Azucena and uh, Alisa, right? Yes. Now, actually, Koenji should have a little bit of knowledge on Alyssa. Did play this character during T7. Obviously, very different now. But I'm assuming he's at least tried it a little bit in 8. Um, should have a little bit of a lesser matchup knowledge. Alright. Alright, let's see then. Gonna pink the players as always. And Absolutely. Let, them, let them join since we are still in first to two territory, right? We yes, are not. We are. Yeah, so it's the first to two. We're gonna have quite the amount of first to twos uh, for now. And after that, we're gonna again. It's gonna be last winner's set for a bit. So after, uh, after yeah. that, we're gonna be moving to losers. Oh, Koenji only used her in character story. All right, all right. But you still played the character. I can't. I can't. You can't say nothing. <laughs> You've still played the character. Oh. Koenji already yeah. joining like, instantly. Yeah. yeah, man. But um. Being asked what's the Teddy's name in the back, I don't have a name for it, it's just there. <laughs> but shout out to you guys in the chat, man. You've been you've been showing up and showing out over a hundred people watching this amazing tournament with some amazing Tekken right now. Glad to have you all here joining the community. I also seek help, right? Since again, I'll keep mentioning it. We claimed all the matching you know, codes since that yes. is that is insane help for everyone. It's it's nice that you have that we have like a chat participating and uh, just helping out. Since again, like even just watching sure. helps everyone out, helps us out, helps technically boost uh, the players out since you know more numbers. So mm -hmm. we the more people see the uh, the amazing plays from these players. Yes. It just helps everyone out, man. The more the more viewers we have in the stream more likely we are to be featured at like you know the top of the Tekken 8 lists on on Twitch which more, means more people come view this tournament which means obviously more people come join this tournament which means more people join our community and it's great fun so try to get as many people into Tekken as you can man that, that's what we're all about man but we got Koenji in the lobby obviously sporting that Azu yeah Last week, you know, we had an, um, some more Azu players in, in that top half. Uh, Neon K being one of them. I was speaking on Neon K last week as well. One of the brightest stars in the UK at the minute is 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 our, our guy Neon K. Um, also supporting that Azu. So, Azu, kind of a popular character in the UK at the minute. I, I will say this. Um, but I will say what I've been seeing is quite... Quite a few players do play her in different styles. Obviously, you're gonna hear, you're gonna see your generic moves like that while running three two. Um, but I've seen a lot of players uh, do quite a lot of different things. I know, you know, some people like utilizing back turn quite a lot more with Azu. Some people don't. Um, so you know, you have that forward one plus two uh, heat engager that you know sometimes. Um, some people like using a lot, some people don't, don't like overusing it because of, you know, the sidestep ability and the duck ability of the move. So, you know, it's all about that. But let's see Koenji's style right here, right now. GLHF's in the chat, loves to see the sportsmanship. And here we go. Yeah, yeah, I really like uh, that you mentioned that since, like, the playstyle is so different. Because that's usually 
when it shows that a character is genuinely unique and they don't have like one really strong overwhelming strategy that everyone's gonna use and like mm -hmm. the uh the, if you know if again like as you mentioned if you have like i don't know let's say you put five different players and all of them play differently i think it's an like really good just uh testament to just you know that the character is unique uh has a lot of tools to just play around and it's just i'm gonna do this i don't know one two buttons put you into 50 yep. 50 and just 50 50. yes absolutely I mean, we'll, we'll see what stage we're going to first, man, because it it could actually prove important in this matchup. I, I've got to be honest, especially with Alyssa and Destruction Mode at the wall. It is a very scary thing to be up against when you have Destruction Mode at the wall up against these floor breaks. And we got Yakushima, which is quite a big stage, should favor Alyssa a little bit with the boosters, but hopefully uh, Koenji should oh. be able to deal with it. Oh. oh, no. Oh, no, that could be a problem. <laughs> oh, no, don't, please don't tell me we get booted oh no did we get booted oh no konji if you're still here <laughs> okay i'm gonna oh, see no. if i can do this oh the match cannot be suspended oh no oh, oh wait they... no konji left, oh, I, left. I, I, I kicked konji so hoping it's gonna work but okay uh Ho hopefully this this works if not we can reset the lobby um, you know, we, we have a, we have quite a few options. Yeah, I'm gonna have to remake the lobby to first to one because I tried running it in first to two, but it just That's does fine. not work. Like, the lobby still has yeah. issues. So I guess I'm just gonna have to make it into first one because I was, you know, we were boasting about it at the start of the stream that... Uh, they, they fixed the lobbies yeah, now, yeah. yeah, yeah no, and... they didn't fix the lobbies in the nope, new patch, man. They didn't do it. <laughs> I, am, I am still locked to it. So, uh... But yeah, I, I'm very interested, man, because yeah. when when you see these new games come out, I mean, there's a couple of names in the, in the bracket that I, I have never seen before, right? Like, I'm looking at this 90-player bracket, and there are names that I haven't seen before that I'm excited to see improve and, and learn in this game. Like, for me, obviously, like I said, I've been playing since 2005, but, you know, I only played in Salty EU for like the last three years of Tekken 7, something like that. So I wasn't playing in Salty EU much, right? But during the end, nearing the end of Tekken 7's lifespan, those last two years, people will, will, will have seen my name in almost every Salty EU bracket. But now we're, we're creating like what was like once like quite a small knit community with like, you know, 32 players each week that everybody knew each other and, you know, everybody had played everyone. Now we're going into this community that's much bigger. And, uh, you know, it's great to see. It's great to see. Yeah, for me, for me, like, I've been on Salt Day for uh, three years now. I think three years, something like that. But I never was, uh, like, in the Tekken side, I was more on the Guilty Gear side. And now I'm, you know, I, I, I jumped camps. Now I'm at the... I'm at the, I'm the to Tekken 3D camp. Land, man. Yeah, I, I entered the land of 3D, so. How, how, how are you enjoying the, the 3Ds, man? <laughs> I think it's sick. I think the game is really good. Because uh, for me, I tried getting into Tekken 7, but I had uh, yeah. problems with it, with mostly. Uh, because the game was very old, and just there was like so much just knowledge and stuff getting used to. So I was just kind of, mm. you know what? I'm just going to wait for the next one. It, yeah. I feel like the game was going to reach its end of its lifespan very soon, and I was yeah, correct. Yeah. So, you know, now now Tekken 8 is out and I'm just going in. I'm trying to get good, you know, putting the time in, yeah, getting used sure, to all man. the all the stuff. Because again, for me it's uh, quite the quite the difference. Yeah, absolutely. But like even for me, who's who's a legacy player, like I said, I've I've been playing since two thousand and five this Tekken franchise. Like I, I'm struggling to to you know find find what I want my style to be in my in this new game. Because, like, I, I'm trying to understand because, you know, I'm waiting for Eddie. I've been an Eddie character specialist for, you know, since I started playing Tekken. Um, or a Capo character specialist since I started playing Tekken. And so, going into Tekken 8 with no Eddie has been, you know, really uh, kind of a different experience for me. Because I've, I've not really ever had to deal with not having a Capo before. So... So it's been uh, quite a humbling experience for me to try and, you know, uh, learn all these new things and uh, pick up a new character and do, do all of this, so... Yeah. There is that there is that little hole in your heart that needs to get fixed slowly. Yeah, man. 
Hey, he's coming in the swing, and then you'll better watch out for me and Vackett. That's yep. what I'm saying. <laughs> Now, I, like fight, getting a new game, especially like a long running series without your character being there, that that, that you know, it's things. It's things. It, it does, but you know, it, you take that time to learn and grow, and you know, l learn new things. Like I, like I said, right now I'm on the Azu, and you know, for me right now this process is I don't want to get my muscle memory too involved with Azu, because obviously I'm just gonna switch to Eddie as soon as he releases. Yeah. But what I actively want to do is try learning as much about character matchups as possible. And so, oh, do I sidestep left, sidestep right against these characters? What are each character's key moves? You know, um, and that's, that's been the biggest thing for me right now, is being able to try and understand what each character is doing that I'm able to, in the future, be able to play against, right? Yeah, I feel like just, especially Tekken is a game where, like, just having general knowledge about the game itself mm. is, like, it will take you so far, and then you just, like, oh, yeah. uh, picking up a new character is just gonna be, like, using the tools that they have and just applying them in those situations you already know, so it's just kind of, it's kind of like a problem, uh, like, puzzle solving, right? It's like, okay, yeah. I already know answer to these problems, which tools do I apply? Yes, absolutely, for sure. And one of the things... I always say about Tekken is there's an answer for every situation. In Tekken, there's almost always an answer for every situation. You barely ever get like quotation marks checkmate situations in Tekken. In Tekken 8, they've become, you know, more uh, common. But, you know, in Tekken 7, in Tekken's past, there was very rarely a, a you know, checkmate situation. And even now, if you take a look at you know, situations in Tekken 8, if you do end up in a checkmate situation, there was something you probably could have done before that infraction happened to get yourself out of the situation you're in now. So, Tekken 8 is a very snowbally game and you need to figure out what the problem is before the problem even happens at, at times, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I feel like also uh, one thing that could be connected to it is that like a lot of the uh, checkmate situation and quotations are Usually like 50-50s, right? You're, you're gonna get yes. like fast lower down for one. But at the same time, guessing is a skill. I, I believe oh, for sure. I, I believe that guessing is genuinely a skill that uh, someone, No, I agree with you. Uh, like something that's like, you know, you just pick up as you play more. And... Uh, uh, like, if you can guess correctly on all the 50-50s, right? Like you're... Defense is just gonna be unstoppable, and a lot of the like checkmate situations is gonna evade. Yes, absolutely. Like like I said, there's there's an answer for every situation in 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 this game, and so, what well, and like you said, guessing I feel like is a skill as well. Um, it obviously comes into first of all conditioning the opponent and being able to figure out what they're doing. Um, but also, it comes into do you know what? What level of Tekken am I actually playing at right now? Because what happens at certain levels, if you're a new player and you're starting off in those low levels, you might see a lot of people end the rounds with the lows. Because people at lower ranks don't tend to block low as often. And you see going up in, in, in ranks, you see people checking with the mid more often because they know people are going to want to block the low. And then you almost circle back around to the start, right? Where it's people liking to check end of rounds with lows, right? Fast lows, safe lows. So, like, you you need to kind of perceive what level of, you know, Tekken you're actually playing at against the opponent, right? Yeah. But yeah and, so... and top players do that well. Yeah. No, so, Kuni, what happened is we got kicked uh, when the mm. when the set started. Like, the, the lobby broke. And they finished the set, so... Uh, yes. Unfortunately, lane won 2 0, so we did not yes. get to see that set. So that means that lane Very will move on to winner's final. But instead, I put one extra set from losers, and it's gonna be a top 8 qualifier. Oh, so so we're gonna wait for that set to, to begin so we can uh, so we can put so we have something right so we don't have to wait yes. because losers top sure. 8 is still catching up. So before yeah. uh, we play, so the generate versus uh, Loki is, is playing right now, and the winner of that is gonna fight Koshmar, and we're gonna put that on screen. Yes. So we don't Brilliant. have just. Uh, 
we, we don't have to wait too long. But as well as that, if you did want to see Koenji, Koenji is still in losers. So you will have the opportunity to watch Koenji later on if the lobbies don't break again. Fingers crossed, yep. touch wood, all of that. But um, you will have that opportunity to watch uh, one of the UK's best. <laughs> yep. Yeah, right, like losing, losing in winners uh, top eight, uh, top eight at least gives you that little like spot that you can wait, buffer, right? Because yeah. you got that like that little buffer since again you're, you, it's like one set away from uh, loser semis. So in that side yep. we see Koenji and it's gonna fight either the Infection or Sly is gonna fight Tibetano. That that is a yes. top eight qualifier, and yes. the winner of that set we're gonna fight Koenji. Place so Koenji. actually we might get the run back. Yes, we might get the run back. And remember, Koenji won set number one two zero. -oh. Um, yep. wasn't one to was two zero to Koenji, so that that could be you know that's so big because if you've been tuned into the Tekken scene for a while, you'll know Tibetano. Whereas for Koenji, you might know him if you're part of the UK scene or the EU scene, but if you're outside of that, you might not know. Um, so it's it's good to stay tuned in. Good to stay tuned in to, yep. to, to these players, man. Yep. But uh, yes, we do have uh, Kosh versus Lukis yeah. on stream. As far as I know, uh, the Koshmar means like... It was um, Nightmare. Nightmare yep. in French, right? As far as I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Like they, they said themselves in the chat that it was... Uh... Nightmare in French. Nightmare, yeah, yeah, there you go. Shout out to my mum who speaks eight languages somehow. I don't know how she does that, Eesh. but... Uh, that's, I know. That, that's, that's quite a lot. I know, yeah. Yeah, for me, for me, I like... I speak like two, like actually well, like native and English. Yeah. And then, and then like two, maybe I could like communicate, <laughs> communicate yeah. in that, in that specific country. No. But yeah, that's mm. like... Yeah, Game no, I, 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 ha I have two as well, don't worry. I have two as well, and then a couple that I can kind of speak in. But I have two mains. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so we're going to have Koshmar versus uh, Lucas. Yeah. Going to be a good game, and yeah. I'm very excited. And um, Moriyoshi. Moriyoshi, yeah. I'm very excited for Moriyoshi. Like I said, Yoshi play has been running rampant in, t in today's bracket. Um, so... We'll see. But yeah, I but, picked the players. They're gonna join the lobby, and we're gonna begin. Yeah, any any second now, man. Yeah. And thinking about it, yeah, we're gonna see what is actually the character representation. Thinking about it right now, in uh, in in the top eight. So we have uh, Yoshi, Alisa, uh, Azu. Azucena, Nina. Yeah. Uh, I assume Claudio, Tibetano plays Claudio, right? In brackets? Yes, yeah. And... Uh, Arazenek Benga, I'm not sure uh, what they play. I'm not familiar with that name, so I cannot say. Uh, they they are UK Mandem, um, so shout out Arsene Benga. But uh, you, you'll see, you'll see. I'll leave that as a surprise oh, for you. okay, okay. I'll leave that as a surprise for you. <laughs> but... Yeah. We got Lukis in the lobby. Got the got the Twitch TV in the name, so you know you can drop them a follow if you would like. But while you're here, you might as well drop us a follow as well. Yeah. Don't want to miss out on any of this salty EU action. Obviously, like you said, not just Tekken 8. We have some amazing Guilty Gear as well. Yeah, bo both Exert and Strive. So we got you know both mm -hmm. for the. For the for the older folks that enjoy the older games yes. and for the for the you know the new game on the block the hot one, yes. So, uh, yeah, and as far as uh, I know, we also run uh, Blaze Blue Central Fiction. Uh, Blaze Blue, um, we were running up until this week, but unfortunately Dave yes. had to end it. So Blaze uh, Blue, Blaze Blue got like technically ended for now. Okay, no problems. Yeah. But yeah, Blaze Blue was was a great racket as well. So yeah. It might, it might come back in the future, and the only way you can know that is uh, by joining the Salty EU Discord and uh, yeah, exactly. joining us and following the Twitter, obviously. So you can do that. Wh while we're waiting, you know, you might as well. We have nothing to do. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, very, very excited to see this game right here because it looks like a gin on the screen. And 
This is one of my menaces in this game right now. Do not underrate Jin. Do, do not underrate Jin. Jin can screw up your mind. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah, no. Character is good. The the downplay force for Jin has been uh, very big, very big. Uh, people people saying that the character, you know, bottom 10 and all that. I feel like he's a perfect character. I feel like Jin has just everything. He may not be he's the best at good. everything, but mm. he's he has everything. Yeah. Guys, also, uh, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna do a PSA, public service announcement to the people in the chat. Okay. Don't be doing your tier lists, man. Don't be doing it. It's too early, man. We haven't even seen like like proper tournaments yet. <laughs> wait, yep. wait until Evo Japan at the very least. Yeah, exactly right. Like we 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 still have yet to have a big major in the yeah. game. So I would I would weigh the opinions because we we might actually get some short like jump scare characters. Yeah, some some people scares, might be hiding yeah. tech. You know, it's still a thing that exists. Yeah, for sure, man. And like this is the thing: Pakistan and Korea are rating Feng at the minute. Over here in EU, I don't think we're rating Feng as highly, right? Yep. So like different scenes have different ideas and different thoughts about what is good at the minute but right now we're gonna see who's good out of these two players it's gonna be Lukis and Koshmar yeah, so we're, I saw we're gonna see the characters since we Koshmar see uh, we saw before we saw the Yoshimitsu mm -hmm. and Lukis I assume if doesn't have a pocket you know tournament pick of the yes. of something else than Jin so we're gonna see Jin yeah looks like it's just a Jin man yeah, um, yeah, the next battle. Doesn't, doesn't seem too complicated but it is into the stratosphere for stage number one here. What a great stage, by the way. I love this stage. And so here we go. Game number one, set number one of this one. Yeah. Let's get it on. And also stage, uh, right, with like the... I feel like this is the most uh, controversial stage. Well, controversial will be the best word. Where mm. people, like, especially because of that final round explosion. Mm. Uh, yes, people, floor blast. Yeah, yeah, the floor blast, like, really, really... You know, they, like you can create some incredibly scary situations in uh, sure. a, in this a, and on the final round. It's like some characters just get full combos of a throw, right? Because of the yeah. floor blast, and then it's just so it's much over. Damage. Yeah, yeah. Sh shout out to you for putting the infinite Asia music on this one, by the yeah. way. <laughs> big ups to you. But um, big to the war, big damage here. That's half the health bar. That's gone. Fifty percent off your health bar, bro. Now we're gonna be yeah. big damage. The heat dash. Get off of me! Text the throw. No check. Alright, puts the sword away. Just trying to bait it. Yeah. The mist. Coming through, trying to bait it again. Big whiff! And that's the catch! And look at all this grey health being healed right now. Big comeback situation for this Yoshimitsu. Has rage, has heat. Big damage inbound. Oh, and yeah. a final hit. Nice. Still had heat in the pocket, so, you know, I yep. was not going anywhere. Still had heat and had rage on like half the health bar as well, right? After healing up all that grey health. Yeah, he's we... getting the first hit with the back to one. Ooh, actually going Ooh, for the check. Yeah, and nice Oki as well. Love that from Lukis. And that's gonna be the heat engager. Low check, check the toes. Okay. No. Forward. For the smash, goes for the different one. Oh wow, okay, goes for that. Now just checking out. Grab whiffs. Gonna get punished for that. Low check blocked. Good stuff. Gonna get the combo off the helicopter though. Right, Blocks the setup. Good stuff. Good punish. Alright, it's for the hit. Oh, it's better throw actually, oh, but it gets broken. Get off of me! Get off of me! No. Oh, the whiff! Okay, grab whiffs again. Takes your turn. Gonna try and sidestep away. Can't get that. The launch! That's gonna be the round. Outstanding two. And now we got the floor blast on deck, like you said, Ratch. And here we go. Let's see who's gonna get it. Low check to start it off. Jab, come back, low check. Yeah. Alright, any, any scary hit or a throw? I don't know if Jin has a throw that actually enables it. I know Yoshi has the, the rainbow drop, right? Yeah. But uh, I don't know if Jin has one. But you gotta yeah. be way more scared of the throws. You might even get a chance to see anything just to look at the cake. Oh my god. Can I tell you something? I love that heat burst at the wall. That heat burst at the wall was immaculately executed right there. Because that gives you the plus flames. That gives you pressure at the wall. 
Did you see how long that aggressive pressure went on at the wall after that heat activation? That was a beautiful play from Luke. He's a perfect time to activate the heat there. Yeah, Wall, wall uh, is... I feel like Wall always was scary in Tekken, right? Because you, you mm -hmm. lose oh, that yeah. scary... The, the, the like most important part of Tekken, which is the movement. Yes, and absolutely. You can hold people in corner way better in this game. And a lot of the oh, new... Yeah. Uh, you know, the mechanic from Tekken 7, they added with the... Like the wall hit that makes you Get more plus. For, for example, battle. heat dash gives it to you in uh, in this game. So you, instead of being plus five, I don't remember how exactly you, uh, plus you are if you get mm. the 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 wall hit heat dash, but it's a lot. Like you, yes. it's very a lot. Way more plus. So okay, gonna switch to secluded training, Round and uh, here we go. This is this is the Mishima Dojo of this game for sure. But obviously, remember we got the wall breaks three either side. And this could be one of them. Yeah. All right. Strong star goes for the smash. Dago gets the wall hit again. So the plus frames. Oh, not Mishima Dojo, by the way. I meant uh, meant Geese's Dojo. My bad. Yeah. But um, here we go. Nice wave dash. That was good stuff there. Get off of me! Nice stack on the throw. Back to one connect. Stack gets blocked. Absolutely. All right. Goes for the. Okay. Good grab. Yeah. You're gonna get moon salted into the floor, and that's gonna be the first round pickup. Right. Ooh, good duck, but nothing off of it though. Good check on the mid. And that's going to be going to the wall right there. Big damage. No check. Good block on the hop knee and gets the grab too. Look at the pressure. You're in rage already. What are you going to do? Hell sweep after the wave dash. And that's going to be the round that was swift. Alright, four gets blocked. Ooh, final hit, gets the OTG. Alright, yeah, that wave dash pressure. Oh, grab off of that again. And this wave dash pressure coming in from this Jin is absolutely beautiful right now. Good side roll to stop the setup. Trade. The flash. Here we go now. Gonna heal up the grey health. Good dark! And that's gonna be a full combo. Alright, gets the hit. Oh, blocks the oh, hell sweep. That's gonna be a full block. combo. Still has access to rage. Can potentially just. Oh, doesn't actually. No, go doesn't for go for it. Oh no, this is dangerous. I can't make the rage. It still gets. Oh. oh my days. Okay. Went through the rage out there, but I did think that was a good decision from Luki's anyway. Just miscalculated the damage it would do, but the flash coming out. Gonna be a big damage here. Yeah, and close to the wall. Yeah, not to the wall just yet. Good block on the low and a great punish. All right, we'll see the full combo. Gonna set up with the heat first. Oh my god, do you see the wave dash and the pickup? Oh my days! All right. It's the heat. All right, heat smash. Yeah, brilliant. Plus. No check. Back to one. Oh, Lot of work to do. Oh my god, low check again. Check the toes. What you're wearing today? Those aren't Air Jordans. Two? Check. Oh my god, the oh air was an air hit! Didn't get a full combo from that. Okay. Gonna jab low. I like that idea. But here's the combo. From Koshmar. Gonna be a lot of damage here. Tornado. Into the pogo. Alright, gets the hit. Nice. Good conversion. Gets the tornado. It's for the heat Big extension. Pickup. Yeah, heat extension that time. And has the heat activated already. Yes! That's gonna be a heat dash. Doesn't get it to the wall though. Problem. Okay. The chip puts Koshima into, into rage. Low check. Good blocks. The jab. And that's gonna be Lucas. Moving on mm. to loser stop eight. Eliminating Koshima from the brackets. And again, this was a loser side. Mm -hmm. So, unfortunately, you know, one of the Yoshi bros eliminated from the bracket. Yes. And the gin moving on. Man, oh man. I'm assuming we're still on our loser's side and we're going to be doing Tibitano versus the Infection 228. Yep. Right. It's going to be Tibitano, exactly as you said. In the Infection. Mm -hmm. and it's going to be loser's top 8. So again, remember, whoever, get, whoever loses gets eliminated from the tournament here. Yeah, for sure.
Got me all nervous commentating these top players, man. They're, they're playing such good Tekken, man. But, you know, th this is what we like to see because you're seeing so many varying styles of Tekken here, right? To, to the people at home that, that are watching this and, you know, just getting into the game, you're going to see some players, you know, do, you know, a lot of movement, that backdash sidestep stuff that you saw a lot in Tekken 7 because that's what they used to and sidesteps are actually good in T8 now, so those sidesteps actively made sense and trying to get priority around the stage, right? You're going to see some of those people, hey, like we said before, we're going to run forward, we're going to press the good button, we're going to try and start some aggression. We're going to see some people try and, you know, uh, look for that animation and counter hit and try and use the resources, like heat a lot, you know. We're going to see some people play that range with, uh, you know, characters like Jun. We're going to see people play that rushdown with characters like Azu. So, like, all these styles of gameplay work in Tekken. Like, it, it doesn't matter, man. If you play the game and, you know, you just play like yourself, then... You can, you know, mold that style to define you and you can make it work in the game. You really can. It's, it's great seeing such varied, varied styles of gameplay, at, you know, uh, these higher levels of the game. Because it just shows, like, what whatever you feel like, you know, oh, hey, I play like this, you can make it work, right? So... It's not like a game where, oh, you have to be aggressive or you have to be defensive, you know. It's a game where you can find a style, make it work for you, and that can take you, if you optimize that style, to a very, very higher level. And you can still show off, you know, what you want to show off. You can show off your play style and your personal, you know, tone. Yep. Yeah, I also think that was... Uh... Again, one of the things that uh, people were really scared of when they were showcasing this game, it was that everyone was gonna run at each other and just press buttons, right? Yes. Like the, the like, haha, we're gonna, we're gonna mash. And <laughs> uh, like, I'm still seeing a lot of players play just in that more passive play style. More yes, of that absolutely. just, uh, you know, just uh, poking, just taking mm. like the turn when you should. Making the other players whiff, since again, a lot of the people will want to throw those heat engagers, so you just make it whiff, get, and then you start your own turn. For sure, for sure. And shout out to the chat. Is is the teddy's name Kuma chilling on the sofa? The, the, the teddy doesn't have a name, but I'm going to name it Kuma for you. So there you go. <laughs> we're, we're naming the teddy live on stream. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> but we got Tibetano in the lobby right now. We're at Claudio. You know, Cla Claudio is interesting in this game because obviously... Now Claudio has almost like two buffing mechanics, right? Yeah. You have Starburst, which is, you know, you know the, the thing that's been brought over from Tekken 7. And, you know, Starburst is still very strong with running two and all of these different moves and the hop kick and all these great moves that Claudio has. But now you also have the heat on top of Starburst. So you can stay buffed pretty much the whole game if you time it right. <laughs> For me, Claudio is like, uh, again, as you mentioned, a lot of the buffing mechanics, he seems very interesting, but at the same time, uh, he seems that he plays like very, again, like the term basic Tekken. Uh, yes. He doesn't do really anything crazy. Like, but one of my friends plays Claudio, I play against him a lot. Mm -hmm. And it genuinely seems that he just doesn't do anything crazy. He just plays Tekken, you know, a lot of like movement, uh, a lot yep. of the, like small options, a lot of the, like faster buttons. Yeah, it's, it's fundamental Tekken, yeah. right? Try, try, try and catch the whiff with the hop kick, you know, try and utilize plus flames, you know, try and get counter hits. And it's just re very, uh, you know, um, very effective game plan that is, you know, simple to execute, but also, well, simple in theory, but also difficult to execute, right? You, you need to be a good player to execute simple game plans effectively. <laughs> so... We got the king right now, the the infection versus Tibetano right now. Let's let's see, man. Gonna gonna be interesting. King and heat is a very very scary thing. You need to you need to be careful against king and heat. Um, the option I like doing a lot against king and heat is duck. Um, does obviously have that mix up. So 
I, I do like ducking King a lot when in heat, but uh, you know, we'll see what Tibetano does right here in this game. I also saw, for example, that mix he gets from that run is actually reactable. I saw people post on oh, okay. tech that uh, grabs and it's like 23 frames, you can duck it on reaction and then just stand block the mid. Okay, you, that's interesting. Again, again, you gotta be ready for it, right? It's not easy. Like, yes, you know, like it, it's it's a 50 50 still in the end with just, you can react to it, but, you know, mental Ooh. stack and all those, like, different sections come into it but before we get even into those situations we gotta look at what is happening with the heat burst absolutely that's gonna be at the wall as well and now the jab pressure coming out this is what i love right now look let me just activate the plus flames activate the pressure keep on going for a couple of seconds and then you can have your turn back it's fine great hop kick though from tibetano that's gonna take it to the wall can't convert yeah does convert the round though and we're going into round two right now Alright, nice, good start. Oh, doesn't get that. Alright, Capitano at the wall, but slowly and surely pushing himself out. Ooh, never mind, Ooh. gets back, gets the ender. Yes, absolutely good side wall from Tibetano, and that has changed the game because you know what now? King is at the wall, and Tibetano has heat and all the advantage. Yep. But good fight from the infection to get out of there. Alright. And oh, that's a oh my. big starter. Still has a bit of that heat. Yes, absolutely. Oh, big whiff right there, though. Oh, oh the heat. I think Sorry, the rage. Yeah. Hop, yeah. Hop knee. Gonna end the round right there. And I'm not sure why Tibetano went for that. Not normally one to go for the hard read on the rage. You know? Yes. Get off of me. Sometimes maybe you just want to call out like some weird uh, scrambly options they do. I'm also a big fan of, uh, even though it's at the same time it's a blessing and a bad habit, but I'm also a, f uh, a fan of just sometimes letting it rip. Especially yeah, yeah, if you're at those like situations where you're one touch, you know, might yeah, as absolutely. well try it, might as well try it. Absolutely, but good fight out of that wall from Tibetano right there. Managed to get out of there somehow. Good duck from the infection though, but fight back. Just t classic turn taking Tekken right now. Now, good dick jab. Gonna keep it up with the plus flames. Oh my god, how long is the aggression gonna go on? Oh, there it is! The Alright, keeps it simple. Is that, That's gonna kill, right? Yeah, nice. Yeah, absolutely. Simple. The running power bomb. Gonna pick up the round right there. And going to go into a round four right now. Log check oh gets god. punished. Beautifully done. Alright, that's gonna be a good start. We're going to the wall. Yeah, Tibetano going for more risky options than, you know, I I personally know him for, you know. After watching Tibetano in, in Tekken 7 for a very long time, right, I don't really see, I didn't really see that many risky options from Tibetano, but in this game, really throwing them out right here. Just looking for that big damage, I suppose, yeah. but, you know. Yeah, it might be, it might be, you know, now again, like, as we mentioned multiple times with how the game changed, those, those mm. riskier options seem a bit more appealing because the reward they is a bit more, like, pushed out. Like, you get more from it. Yes, so, so, I guess letting it rip could be, like, a bit more viable strat. I obviously, still, you die, right? If you if you mess yeah, yeah. wrong greed, you, you explode for it. But I guess the risk reward, the, the reward part of the risk reward goes a bit up. A bit higher, yeah, yeah, for sure. No, I agree with you. And uh, this is... This is one of the biggest things about this game is, you know, uh, understanding that risk rewards is actually very difficult because um, your thought process goes kind of deep in this game as to is this a viable option in this situation or not? Because obviously if you're a new player coming in, you have so many options in each situation. You might not what to do. You might not know what to do. Overthink it. And then you're going to end up giving your turn away. So... It's kind of difficult to to recognize that risk reward in this game. Well, I'll accurately calculate it, I should say. But starting off with a running twos, and that's a good move to start things off with. Ooh, yeah, big. That's going to be to the wall as well. Oh, but can't convert it. Goes for the setup, though, and that catches. At the very least, good sidestep. And that sidestep has changed the game as well. Because now look who's at the wall. And now look who has the plus themes. And now it's going to keep going. All the way. Hell sweep. Right, blocks the low. Still has heat. But oh, my day. Running two. Man, that instant uh, while running two is so good, man. 
All these instant while running moves in Tekken 8 are so strong, but we're going downstairs right here, and King gonna be doing a lot of damage there. That's over half the health bar, and no white health to heal either. And now it's gonna be really scary because those grabs will, you know, we're gonna get the we're gonna get the floor break. So yeah, absolutely. Be way more careful of that. All right. The mix Big heat engager. Get there's yep. There's the mix-up that we were talking about from the heat. And uh, it's going to connect on Tibitano that time. And that's going to be a big launch. And we might be going downstairs. We are going yeah, downstairs. Yeah. And so, right. oh, to the floor blast we go. Oh my god. Okay, the people's elbow, the low check. And then... Okay, just going to push away. Good spacing from the infection. I'm loving this idea. And the shining wizard to pick up the round and the seven golden letters. Right. Infection. Oh, good duck. No check. Gets punished. Good stuff. And the power crush. Really good. Right. So stands block. Gets the middle. Absolutely. And that's a nice running to that. And a great health sweep to boot two. That was a great heat smash. Now at the wall with the wall blast in hand. Gets the low check. Look at the pressure. Good fight out of the wall from the infection though. And that's going to be to the wall. Alright. Bit of patience, takes the throw. Get off of me! And now that's going to be to the wall again. Don't need the wall blast, let's save it for next time. And that's going to be to round number five. Alright, final round. Again, gotta remember, Tibetano is down the game, so he needs this round to stay in the tournament. For sure, man. This is going to be interesting. While running two, going to come out there. The heat smash, going to get activated. That's over half the health bar. Running two again, get off of me. I don't want no giant swing. Good power crush to fight out the wall, though. Yeah. Right. Oh, good oh, steps, but the hop kick! I think it's gonna be it, right? Yeah, it oh, is no. gonna be it, yeah. because Tibetano goes for that extra extension, which makes the combo harder, <laughs> and <laughs> gets it and converts well. So it means we'll be going into game three now. Absolutely, so the man. The has access to, you know, the, the stage or the character swap. So could could pick a stage that uh, benefits King. Absolutely, man. And I did think um, Ortiz farm did benefit King. Uh, you you saw that infection got both the balcony break and the floor break that time around, but it did not matter. Tibetano fought their way back from the brink, and we're going into a game three. Yeah, so we are slowly loading in. Yeah, absolutely. Ve very interesting game right now. I mean, you know, that one went to round number five and it, you've got to be wondering, has Tibetano finally, you know, got that read or on the infection? You know, infection had a hot start in game number one, but, uh, you know, what we say about four players is they take two rounds to adapt. And obviously it was a bit more than that this time around, but maybe Tibetano has finally made that adaptation. Yeah. So we're going to the double floor break stage. Absolutely. Right. Gonna be the push. Big damage. Oh, Check. good chest door. I love that. And the push to the wall. Good fight out the wall from Tibetano though. And you can see how he's slowly making his way away from the wall. And trying to put King in that spot. But a great counter hit grab. Smash. Oh, gets the launch. Good launch. But not much white health to heal though, and this is going to be still tough for Tibetan to win this round. Actually, okay. getting the bulk slowly, they oh, just... Beautiful! And takes it. Great heat smash there to pick up the round. Knew it was going to do a lot of damage. And that heat smash is low and so fast, so that's really good. Good power crush there and good duck, but nothing off of it. Good duck again, good punish. And a power crush. And that's a beautiful grab. Right. Oh, the mix. Oh my days. Full combo. Does it get the... Never mind the reset. Gets it. Okay, that was good. Managed to save it with the mid right there. Low check to start things off. Good fight. And this is some aggression coming out now from Tibetano. Gonna trade the power crush. Now the running two. Gonna activate heat as well. That's gonna be to the wall. Jab. Low check. Be careful of that heat smash. It's been catching so many times, but goes low one too many times and gets caught. But yeah, now again, final round, so that means the wall break, or the floor break. It's only yes. one hit, not two. Yes, absolutely. 
But look at this fight from Tibetano. What did we say about that low heat smash? And maybe has found a way to counter this king. Let's see. The launch! That could be it, maybe. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, there's the floor break. That's going to combo. Not going to end it. Good jab. Look at the pressure. Great fight out of the wall by the infection. Still in this. We can still go downstairs. We are going downstairs. The final floor break here. The infection really needs to do something here. Oh, that's a great heat burst. Oh, the rage. Why? Oh, just get But it's locked. Oh, no, no, Peach. Oh, no way. No. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. No way. No way. Oh, my days, we're going to final, final round here. And here we go. The grab. Gonna connect this time around. Big damage. Okay, some step over. Another low. Yes. Stay underground. Good yeah. Oki right there. Okay. Ooh, the throw, throwing Good back. grab. You got a grab. I've got one too. The running two. Gonna do a lot of damage. The heat smash straight away. My days. I need to check. Nice, it's confirmed. Yes, great no, confirm there. The chest oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That's gonna be it, I think. Yep. Yes, it is. And that's gonna be Tibetano moving on. Push to that absolute brink. Yep. Being down a game and just completely bringing it back like that. Nice and clean. Good stuff from Tibetano. Moving on to get, oh, the, to get the run back against Koenji, which we'll see later on. Absolutely. I am sorry, headphone users, for that one. My goodness gracious me. That was that was a set and a half right there. You got the slow mode. Oh, you got, you know, the the rage art getting blocked and then not fully punished. My goodness gracious me, what an what an ending to that set that was. Yeah, that that, that, that double slowdown is like <laughs> the slowdown is such a sick mechanic of this game. I, re I really appreciate I it. It makes so many like situations just super hype. Mm. What they really need to do is bring back replays, man. <laughs> the, the round end replays. Oh yeah, no, those were sick. <laughs> Th those were sick. But, uh, I know, man. I'm actually wondering why like they, re they like, removed them. Because, you know... They did. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm, like, I'm wondering what would the reasoning behind that really be. Because uh, I, I, I have no clue. Yeah, because I don't really see like you know them being there is like a flaw or something in any way. I think it's just about getting into the next round as fast as possible, um, to allow people to have you know a bit more flow, I guess, right? Yeah. Continue momentum into the next round, I guess. Um, because watching that replay for like what was it like three to four seconds yep. replay. It could stop your momentum a little bit if you were, you know, if you are a momentum-based player, that is, right? Uh, Lane, so. you, you, you have time. Lane, you, you have time for one set. Uh, you're going to be after this set. But if you need time more, I can just put the other losers first. So there, there is space to play. <clears throat> Absolutely. And right now, we've got one of the UK guys right here, right now. Arsene Benga versus Lukis, that Jin we saw earlier. Now, again, what I saw from Lukis last time, i got to commend them on their timing of Heat Burst. I think their timing on Heat Burst is absolutely immaculate at the minute. And um, if they continue utilizing Heat like that, it's going to be dangerous for Arsene Benga. Yeah, we are still waiting for for them to join the lobby. So Luke is already ready and locked in at the setup. For sure. Yeah, we saw the, we saw the Jin. Uh, I really like the gin. It was like kind of like the gin you expect. Like uh, we saw like mm. the 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 wave dash shenanigans, right? A lot of the like wave yes. dash pressure, but at the same time we saw a lot of the like simple, a lot of the poking, uh, back to one against such a such a good uh like neutral button being double sure. double mid safe on block. And there you go. There's the surprise for you, Arch. It's a it is tempo. awesome, Benga, on the arena. <laughs> All right, so you know it—it it is a family feud in here. It's gonna be in this loser's to pay. Yeah, man. Now, let's see. We saw, we saw, we had the Reina mirror at the start of the bracket. I was like, yes, first, third, third match. First I set. It was yeah, it first I, I, I was like watching. Watch yeah. 
Um, but here we go, man. I'm I'm very excited to see this one because, you know, Arsene Wenger has been you know a known name for quite a while now. Um, at least to me, I, I've known Arsene Wenger for a long time, and so gonna be very interesting to see how how he plays in in, in this bracket right now. There we have the we have the players spreading up. We're gonna be going at it. Yes, for sure. Bum, bum, bum. Now it would be perfect to get the like Mishima slash like key stage, you know, to make it completely perfect. <laughs> that would be good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, three wall breaks on either side is so much, but like, once you start going down one of the sides, it's uh, unlikely that you're gonna be breaking the three on the other side, yeah. right? Like, so, yes, we are going to Urban urban Square right here. Um, Pretty simple stage, just the walls and nothing else. This stage used to have a, um, a wall blast in the beta, actually, with the hot dog stand, but uh, that's been taken out now. See, I completely forgot about it actually. Now that you mentioned, I like you remembered it. Uh, you you yeah. reminded it. I actually remember it, but I, will, I completely forgot the like existence of that. Yeah, yeah. Um, the low checks coming out right now. Gonna be the low parry, but can't get much off of low parry in this game. Gonna reset the yeah. combo though. Just going for the wall carry instead, right? Put them in the corner. Absolutely. Can get, get the low check. More lows coming out. Arsene Benga is not blocking these lows. But gets floated, can't get anything off of it, and again the low. Round two. All right, going into the next round. Good start for Lucas. Ooh, great dark. Ooh. Big yeah, absolutely. Gonna be to the wall right here. Big damage incoming. Okay, gets the mid. Yeah. No, this was great conditioning from Lukey's because did so many lows in round one. Now Arsene Wenger is inclined to block low, and now is coming out with the mids and gets the seven golden letters to back it up. Oh my god, big launch right there from Lukey's, and that's going to take it pretty far, that might take it to the wall, it will take it to the wall, and that's going to be half your health bar gone, 50% off. Oh my god, double perfect on the horizon, potentially, it will be a double perfect. Oh, it's not, okay. Right. I thought that killed. <laughs> yeah, me too, but hey, there's that chance to bring it back. Absolutely. All right. Get off of me. Jabs. Yeah. Rage Art will kill here, by the way, so doesn't need to be careful. Either way, low checks. Yep. Good stuff from Lukey's right there. And remember, this is losers right here, right? Yep. It is losers so. indeed. So again, Lukey's is up a game, and that means that if he wins the next one, Arsene Menga mm. gets eliminated. Absolutely. Arsene Menga. Also Might to get respond, eliminated. Uh, to the answer uh, to the question in the chat, uh, you can absolutely join. Not right now, obviously, since you know we're at the top eight of the bracket. But we're gonna have the bracket again next week, 7 p.m. Yes. Uh, CED same time. And if you're in the EU region, in the the, the specific map of the countries that are allowed is uh, is on salty. So again, if yes. you're from that, if you're from like the region of Europe, from those countries that are allowed, you can absolutely join. It's like free to entry. You know, no the like entry. no like. Uh, Paid entry, nothing. Just you know, have yep. to be there on time, and that's it, pretty much. And just have yeah, be obviously wired connection. That's that's the very yes, important please. part. Yes, please. But we are at Colosseum of Fate, and I I have seen Rainers go to this stage. Rainers do like this stage quite a bit, and I'm not sure why, but they do like it. Yeah. Does Rain? Does Rain? I have a good backdash. Maybe just good play, like uh, keep away. Rainer has good movement in general, I think. Um, but that's gonna be a big combo. Gonna reset it and gonna be the wave dash mix. Oh, three of them. Be oh also, my the goodness! It's so big, yeah, right? Man. That you can actually just do that wave dash for so long. Yeah, get off of me! That was the Zen headbutt right there. The one plus two. Oh, the hop kick whiffs and only gets a small punish for that though. The launch gonna end the round right there. One to Arsene Benga getting on the board. Oh. Wait, that's the hit. Yeah, that's gonna be a combo. 
Yeah, I mean, two combos wall carry to to the wall, even though this is a huge stage, right? Uh, I think two Rainer combos do wall carry that far. Uh, full Rainer combos, that is. So, maybe that's why they like this stage. Who knows? Alright, simple pressure. Oh, the get throw. off of me! Ooh, okay, I like the range that Lukis is playing at, though, with that, um, you know, a power crush as well. But good stuff. Yeah. Round three, here we go. Good start. Do not be afraid to press on round start. Both of these players are just wanting to press buttons right now. And the grab. Can't break that one. And the knockdown. Okay, 1-1-2. One, one, Flash punch combo. And gonna get the knockdown OK2. Hop kick! Alright. Going back into the mid-screen though. Oh, does it oh, actually get the can't get the extension. Bursting back. Yeah, can't right. get the extension. Dash, text the throw. Dash. Yeah, that get off of me. Oh, wow, oh. that core! Tracking. My goodness. Tracking, yeah. Fight. It looks like Reyno is on the other side of him, but it does catch. And then look at this aggression right now from Arsene Benga coming through with the plus flames and the heat dash. Gonna go for the low after Luki's blocks low and eventually goes to the mid. Oh my god, this could be a perfect, but Luki's now fighting back. Big combo there. Power crush and the mid to boot. That's gonna make it to a piece. Oh, low checks coming through. Wave dash, low check again. Okay. Oh, yeah. No, that was good because after the first two wave dashes, Luki's went for a low. And now Luki's went for a mid, you know. Essentially telling Arsene Bendinger, block low here, I'm going to do the mid next and counter it. Nice and simple basic conditioning. Yep. Ooh, the throw. Ooh, ooh, good throw. And also has heat on deck, going to activate it right there. I like that heat activation. Oh, going to go for the grab, but it's going to counter it. Yep, that skills. That yep. kills. That 100% that kills. Absolutely that kills. Yep. That was a great timing for the Rage Art. Probably saw the animation. And just reacted in time. Good reactions from Lukis. And that's going to be Arsene Benga out the tournament. Yeah, and look is moving on 2-0. Mm -hmm. Definitely a strong performance. Sure. Man oh. oh man. Sad to see one of the UK guys drop out. But we still have uh, Koenji in there. So, you know, st still a chance. Still a chance. <laughs> Um, but that means it's going to be Lukey's against Pika in the next losers round. Going to be a good one for sure. Yeah, but now we. I'm going to wait a minute because uh, Lane, you know, would be supposed to play next, but I'm not sure if Lane is here since uh, he said that he is to run for a second. So I'm going to wait a minute, and if not, we're going to move sure. to Koenji and Tibetana. Oh man! Oh man! So can I get the run back potentially? For sure. For sure. But yeah. It's gonna be very exciting. Yeah. Did I buy Kuma or a gift? It was uh, it was a gift. It was a gift. <laughs> getting getting a fan club uh, over Kuma. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta make sure he's there every week now, man. <laughs> yeah. You know, part of part of the club. You know, like a commentary duo, like me, <laughs> me, me, me and Kuma. Yeah, Kuma's here, man. Kuma's here to stay. <laughs> To be fair, I have quite a lot of like, uh, like bear plushies, so maybe I should bring them down next time. <laughs> you need to start like throwing, if, if you have a bear player, you should start throwing them around to to support. <laughs> gonna start putting the headset on the bear, on on Kuma and the bears, man. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're, they're gonna do a good job. <laughs> yeah, I feel like in general, like uh, we see bears a lot, in the, especially Kuma since Kuma got the, yes. got the, got the electric. In, in the heat, which is uh, quite the, quite quite the tool. Yeah, quite scary, man. Like you didn't see bears a lot in in T7. Obviously, not a very strong character, but did win a Tekken World Tour with Rang Chu and Panda, obviously. Um, but you know, in this game, people are really liking their bears. I'm not sure they they getting up there in popularity a yeah. little bit. No, not Panda. I remember Panda being pretty low in the popularity, but Kuma definitely is like oh, very, yeah. very very very. Since, again, it kind of makes sense, you know, I, th I think from the bears right now, like, Kuma is just 
like pretty much better better panda like they since yeah. they gave them different tools but uh kuma just kuma just got the better hand that 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 kuma kuma got the, the mid electric and i feel like that elevates the character so so much compared to panda sure. where like the net positive on the moves is just so much better <laughs> yeah man I, I have to agree with you then you know the stuff that uh actually both the bears can do in hunting bear now is really interesting as well um so don't dismiss don't disregard those bear stances because uh, they can put in work. Yep. Right, but we have Tibetana already in the lobby. So we are Remember, just... this is a run back um, from top 32 winners where it was Koenji versus Tibetano and Koenji did win that game 2-0. So interesting to see this game on stream now because we didn't get to see it on stream last time. Yeah, it was off stream, yeah, so, you know, we we, we don't have, like, uh, stuff to go off of besides just the score. So, you yes. know, it it could have been, like, a clean sweep, it could have been super close set, you know, someone might have, like, it could have been a robbery, like, all the options are on yes, the table. absolutely. Hey, hey, excuse me if I'm biased on this one, this is my boy right here, so... <laughs> no, 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 it's, it's good to have a bias, you know. Uh, <laughs> it's good to have a... Like I, I always believe in commentary, it's fine to have a player to root for as long as you don't bring the sure. other player down, right? Like, oh yeah, as absolutely. long as you, as long sure, as you man. just say, I, I like this player more. I mean, hey, everyone, everyone is biased. Everyone oh, is biased. Sure, so, uh, it it makes sense. It makes sense that uh, it, it makes someone sense, has man. a favorite. For for me, usually it's like characters right now, since I'm yeah. not really familiar with all the people in the community, like personally. Yeah. So for me, yeah, yeah, usually sure. it's not for me. It's just character preference. So I mean, I mean, you, you, you'll support me when I play when Eddie comes out, right? Yeah, I, you know, because <laughs> yeah. I I cannot wait to learn Eddie since because I'm gonna be in the camp and I'm just gonna get hit by all the gimmicks and I'm gonna be like for like I'm gonna have to fight the character for like a week straight. It's to... it's fine. I'll help you out, man. Yeah, it's... I'm gonna need all Tra the help. training partners are there. Training partners <laughs> are there. Do, for the new players, man, do not be afraid just to get into a Discord or if you're on a, an offline event, just walk up to someone and ask for games, man. They'll accept that wholeheartedly. Like, all of us just want to play and improve and you think, you might think, oh, I'm a new player, I'm not good enough to play this player yet. It doesn't matter. Just just play the game, learn, and uh, soon you will be, you know? Yeah. yeah, yeah, I feel like in general, just asking people for for help is the best bet. Absolutely. I feel like it does so much, uh, just Aww. like, just being like, hey, you know, can you play with me a few games? Uh, I, I need yeah, help in this matchup, what does this move do? Shout out to the Mitsuru uh, skin from Persona 3, right there, from Koenji. Oh, that is a, a good skin. That is a sick reference. Yeah, Persona, uh, got the Mitsuru. But now, Koenji, um, getting, com getting comboed after the hop kick. Remember the wall blasts on this stage? We do have them on the side walls. Yeah. All right. Nice block. Gets the punish. Good block. Tool. Yeah, the three three coming out. Great punish tool, by the way. Um, and even if it's blocked, you do have the opportunity to potentially act first after it. Gets the float though. That was good. Gonna get Ooh, to the wall. Explosion. Wall blast. Yeah, heat dash and the down back three plus four to end it. That back sway to end the combo. Good stuff from Koenji. I'm actually surprised that Wall Blast actually connected because they looked very off axis, but. Oh, yeah. No, uh, Koenji actually changed the combo. Uh, the normal ender there is uh, forward 214, but he changed the ender to make sure it did Wall Blast. Ooh, okay. Can sync just, you know, recognition of, uh, of the walls. I think that's yeah, one sure. thing that in general like elevates a lot of players, like the, the like high to top level, is just stage recognition. Yeah, but that's a great heat smash right there. You need to remember that as you weak. Uh, Heat Smash is one of the best whiff punishers that she has. So, um, that is very scary and it does a lot of damage to you. Yeah. And the Echo NJ, oh, like. The low parry! The oh low my parry, God. taking it to the wall, showing us why took the first set, right? Like. Yep. While running 3 2, that instant while running 3 2. And look at the pressure from Koenji! Oh my goodness, gonna reset the combo right here to. The wall we go while running 3-2 again, and the Heat Smash gonna get the plus flames, gonna check the mid, and that's gonna be seven golden letters, and a no round brown from my boy. Dance on him, Koenji, dance yeah. on him, man. That is quite a strong performance. Like, again, showing, 
you know, this this game was very dominant, showing us, you know, why they took the first set. Mm. But again, Tibetan, another player to scoff at. Like, we saw Absolutely. what Tibetano can do, so, you know. I mean, look, right, man, I I've got to say this. Tibetano is a player that can easily stand on a world stage. Yeah. Like, re really is. And so when you have, you know, players that I know from my community, like like Kawenji coming in and uh, putting in work against players like this, you know, it makes me, like, so um, excited for the future of, you know, the UK scene. The UK scene is very strong anyway in terms of, you know, we have players like like Joker and Ayo Richie, right? But when I see stuff like this happening, I feel like we're we're stronger than some people make us out to be. Man. Yeah, but we're also seeing the Asuka. Surprising character swap, but let's see if it's gonna pay off. Yeah. I mean, I'm assuming um, also was playing the same character in the first two so maybe going for the switch here yeah. is uh, gonna prove useful. Oh, tries to but, parry, but it yeah. was a hit smash, you can't parry those. Yep. Parry does. Went for the forward 4 3 on knockdown. That is a good knockdown tool. Ooh, heat burst. Gonna come through. Low checks. Okay. Right. We've seen the sidewalk. Forward 4 3 launch. And that's gonna be the round. Beautiful stuff from Koenji. Right. Oh, gets the down two. So, DG. Yeah, low check again. Activating the heat burst. Probably looking for a whiff right about now, so I can activate the heat smash. Good sidewalk. Gonna go for the wall running 3 2, get the plus flames, get the combo. That's gonna be the wall blast. 4 4 3, 2 1 4. Yeah, 4 2 1 4 to end the combo. Needs to use the heat though. Runs out of it. Yeah. Wall running 3 2. Oh, gets the the yeah, big counter hit there. And the 4 4 3 again from Koenji. Beautifully done. And this could be another no round round! Yeah, one round away no. from the clean six. Oh, the whiff punish! What a strong start! And we got the wall blast. Yep, wall blast. Yep, going uh, for uh, it. Uh. This one puts you mid screen though, gotta be careful about that. Yeah, reset and get gonna get the instant wall running 3 2. I'm going to use the stance. Um, That's forward 3 plus 4 there. That dash puts you in stance. It, it acts like a heat dash, but it puts you in stance. Um, That's gonna oh be God. dead! Another yeah, perfect! perfect. It Double went. no round round for yep. my boy and two perfects to be. That's my guy right there. Let's go. Yep. That was a very strong performance. Again, like ending the two two games with the perfect. Definitely seeing why you uh, took the first set in in winners. Mm -hmm. And that means that Koenji will be moving on into the semi-final. Absolutely. And uh, his opponent, we will see in a bit, since we're gonna do Pika versus uh, Lucas right now. Absolutely. So we're gonna man. have the Chain versus the Nina, I assume. Pika doesn't have a wild card uh, uh, character. Since I saw Pika play like multi, like multiple characters. I believe I saw Pika on Victor mm. also. So, okay. Uh, so well, uh, but that was like week one. That was like week one. Okay. I remember. I remember seeing the seeing the the Victor though. So uh, you know, we could we could yeah. potentially potentially see a wild card character, but you know, we'll see about Absolutely. that. Absolutely. I mean, Victor is a very interesting character. I think Victor is a character that can be an absolute menace against new players, but against people who know the strings, um, is a difficult character to play. Uh, one thing I like to watch out for when playing against Victor is the voice lines. Through the voice lines, uh, which actually come out before you actually see the move, you can tell uh, what move is coming out and you can tell whether to duck it, such yeah. as the pistol, like the pistol has a voice line and you can duck that, right? So um, if you know the strings and the voice lines like that, then it becomes a much easier matchup to, to learn and play against. Yeah, yeah. To me, to me, he feels like a character where like the, the matchup knowledge will like make it so much more easier when like on some characters oh, if you sure. don't know the matchup you can still kind of like you know wing stuff play and just play it yeah. out but with victor like when i saw him and i played him myself for the first time which like i don't know what is happening like i know i just have to open the training mode sit with this character for like an hour mm. and just you know i'm just gonna have to lab it out because i'm just not gonna figure this Absolutely. out when i'm playing also lane uh perfect that you came back because you're gonna be on after this set so Yes, good timing. Yeah, it's perfect timing to come back. We did uh, losers to pay. We're doing our final set for now. And after that, you're going to play your winner's final. So mm -hmm. perfectly on time. 
So currently yes, we are waiting stuff. for Pika. Yes, absolutely. I'm excited to see if it is going to be Victor or not. Like you said, that happened in week one, so we don't we don't know if there's been a character switch, yep. um, you know, stuff like that. Um, again, to new players, uh, I highly recommend them me. Obviously, go go around in training mode and like figure out what character you like the feel of. But I would just say pick a character that you think looks cool and stick to them and try and figure out what they do and learn them for now, at the very least. Yep. Until you figure out what, what you know, your playstyle is, um, or what you want to actively do in this game, pick a cool looking character, and believe me, you're going to play play better when a character you like looking at is on the screen. <laughs> um, so, that, that's that's my uh, little tip for the new players out there. If, if you're just getting into Tekken, pick a character that you like the look of, that you think looks cool, Stick by them for a little bit, try and learn the character, and uh, yeah, go yeah. from there. Yeah, for me it was exactly the same. I was like, I have like a playstyle I uh, kind of like uh, mm -hmm. from 2D games. I usually play like those the, the fast characters, like uh, yeah. the, the more... movement heavy. But... Yeah, movement heavy. I like I like movement. I'm a big fan of movement. Like so movement. am I. Yeah. Usually, usually I just play the characters in M2D and in Guilty, for example, I play Chip. Right, like fast is dash yeah. speed. He has a triple jump, so he's very fast, very agile. So, he has the lowest health in the game, though. To yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I get exploded. Yeah. yeah, I get exploded on him. That, yeah. that, that's kind of the downside of it. But, you know, I, I, I'm willing to sacrifice that so I can have the best movement in the game, best neutral and all yeah. that. So, you know, for me, I really like Feng visually. I think he's really sick because mm. I'm a I'm a big Bucky fan. And him being ah, a reference, yes. being, being, him being a, like very obvious, like not the red suit from the, from the show or from the manga. So I was like, mm. I like Feng. And then I like talked about his playstyle with Marcel, I was like, yeah, he's like very evasive, a lot of like movement options, I was like, yep. that's that's just the character from so I, just... I mean, you have, yeah, you have stuff like uh, back kempo, yep. which is, is going to help you out, right? Back kempo mm. up forward too, even a lot of the like yep. parries he has, it, or or a lot of his just moves in natural just are high crusher, uh, like high crushing yep. and all that, so it's very sick, like it's a playstyle I really like and just prefer playing in most games, yep. and he looks sick, like, you know, he looks, oh, sure. he's so sick, so I'm just gonna, you know, it, it, for me, it was like the perfect choice. Yeah, I mean, for me, right, uh, playing playing Eddie is a choice that came from uh, my dad, actually. So, I first played Tekken um, in arcade version. I played Tekken 4 Arcade Edition, was the first Tekken I ever played on an actual cab. Um, and I, I must have been like four years old. And my dad was like, yo, this game is cool, let's play this game. And... He uh, walked up to the cab, he played Law and he played Christy because Eddie was only in the console version. <laughs> yeah. And and he was like, oh yeah, uh, when we get home, I'll show you the character that I actually like playing, which is Eddie. And then he bought the game and um, ever since then, I've been playing, you know, I've been playing Eddie in every single Tekken since, since that day. So like, that's where it comes from for me. But also in Tekken 7, I, I like movement, right? I, I love movement. I like baiting stuff. So for Eddie in Tekken 7, I had the best back dash in the game, but I had to give up good side steps. I had very bad side steps with Eddie and uh, plus flames. Eddie didn't ha really, really have like any good plus flames. Um, like not many good plus flames really, apart from like side step 2. Um, so... Yeah, that, that's what you had to give up for good movement in Tekken 7. Well, at least for, for Eddie. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for me, I didn't uh, really experience past Tekken games. I played a bit of 7, and funnily enough, mm. the Tekken game I used to play when I was younger was Revolution, which is like the, oh, wow. the most like funniest game to play. I didn't even play the yeah. online in that game. Like For me, usually it was... Uh, I, I used to play shooters when I was younger a lot. Yeah. And I downloaded Revolution, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna boot this game up every day, like, play for, like, 15 minutes. In that game, I played Lars during that time. Yeah. Because I didn't like any of the other characters, I just liked Lars. Like, he was the only one, yeah, I was yeah. like, okay, this character's cool. So I played Lars, and then, after, like, I didn't play, it was the only fighting game, like, I actually tried, like, ever, just, I didn't even learn it, I was, like, very casual, just button mashing. Yeah, yeah. And then down the line, when I got kind of tired, because I used to play competitive shooting games, and I was like, yeah. I don't really like like any of the shooting games right now. Like the one that I used to play the most, Overwatch, kind of got ruined. So yeah. I was like, you know what? I want to try fighting games. So I went into fighting games. So it was kind of like the the way I went into it. Yeah, no, yeah. For me, it all stemmed from uh, wanting to beat my dad at Tekken 4, right? <laughs> I just wanted to beat him one time. And um, from there, I found uh, like the community. I used to watch like old 240p uh, 
videos of like Korean arcades on forums to figure out what combos I had. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm real old school in 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 that sense. I, I've been there for a very long time, but I didn't very start. I didn't really start going to offline tournaments like uh, consistently until like the middle of Tekken Seven. I played in a couple of offlines under a different tag um, in like Tekken Six, but um, and Tekken Tag Two. Uh, sorry, a couple of onlines. Um, which obviously online events weren't as big as they are now, um, but I played in a couple uh, back then, and uh, those were those were fun, and uh, they were very few and far between. <laughs> yeah. All right, but since Pika is responding, I'm gonna put uh, schizophrenic end lane, so we're gonna do uh, okay. lose, uh, winners final. Winners first, okay. For sure, for sure. Now, Lane versus Schizophrenic. Yep. Obviously, we're going to have an, the Yoshi on stream again. Yeah, it's going to be a, a second Yoshi we saw before. Yes. And it's going to be uh, Philippines and Spain. Ooh. Rocking the, the Philippines flag for Schizophrenic. Philippines flag, yeah. And Lane, ob uh, obviously, we saw before, you know, Spanish. Yes. Yeah, so the players are going to be joining into the room. Again, they are playing because it is winner's final. It's yep. going to be... Uh, best of five. Yeah, it's best of five versus three, which everyone, you know, you prefer. You prefer, yeah. <laughs> but man, it's so nice seeing uh, the amount of variety in in the countries that we have coming into to Salty EU right now, man. Because we have, we have so many, like, different scenes being being represented here today. And that's something I love to see. Um, I love to see all these different scenes showing up and, you know, repping for, for their country. Yep. So. And also, usually, uh, th they have people from their countries, like, in the back, right? Like, supporting in the yeah. chat. That's that's sure. one thing I always like when there's, like, uh, like country battles and all that. It's like, you, you see, yeah. like, the countries just cheering for, like... You know the players from their country. Their players, yeah. Like for example, for Lane, right? I know the for, for from Guilty Gear. I know the Spanish community is like super passionate. Like it's one of the the Spanish the Spanish Guilty Gear community is like one of the best communities I ever saw. They're all super close to each other, uh, super mm. passionate, and uh, yeah. it's always like sick. Just like watching them at a crowd. Like for example, I was at UFA, and yes, they were. It's they are just like pretty much like a big family, and yeah, the, the, sure, man. it's always super sick when you see communities like that. Uh, Lane, Absolutely. I invited you, by the way. Uh, you have the invite there. There you but go. But yeah, it's like always nice to see, especially again, as you mentioned, big like big country variety, just like kind of pushes uh, the competitiveness of the countries to each other. For sure. So Everybody wants to be the best, man. Yep. Th this is the thing, right? We're all out here. Every, every single person that that joins a tournament or wants to play in a tournament or even wants to try learning the game, right? We're all here to improve, and that's what makes you know. The fighting game community is so great. You walk into a room with a ton of other people who you know are there for the same thing as you. And that's to, you know, enjoy fighting games and improve and, you know, just like, enjoy what you enjoy, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we have a schizophrenic in the lobby and we're just waiting for Lane, who also just joined, so. There we go. We've got this first best of five of today. Yep. Coming out right now, straight through you, on your monitors, to Twitch, on your phones. Whichever device you prefer. I actually would want to see statistics, you know, for Twitch viewerships. I remember, like, I saw, like, one time ago for, like, a big stream and they had, like, viewers on the Vita. And that's super ah. funny to me that you have, like, people watching on, like, you know, like, Vita or, like, <laughs> like Blackberries. Man, yeah. <laughs> But here we go, the Alyssa versus the Yoshimitsu. Do you know much about uh, this matchup right here? Uh, no clue. No clue. Those are the oh, characters no I barely played, either of them. Yoshi I played okay. like one set and practiced a bit. So I know like bases, but Alyssa is like Mr. Yeah. 2. Okay, okay. This is going to be an interesting one. I think that lane needs to be able to utilize booster movement good to uh, actively have Schizophrenic, you know, um, to try and force Schizophrenic to whiff. And then be able to punish that. So uh, booster movement may, may be a big one in here. And also multi-hits. Both of these characters have great multi-hitting moves. Uh, Alyssa in destruction mode and uh, Yoshi with a sword. 
Yeah. Alright, there you go. Get low. Yep. The mist coming out. Ooh, good check on the mid. It's gonna be good damage. But unfortunately drops the end earn. Oh the Sepuku again. Going to pick up the round. That Sepuku has uh, caught so many players today actually. Yeah. And uh they've been picking up rounds. Great round ender. But the hop kick, gonna take it to the wall. Right. Gets the ender. Oh the chainsaw oh, actually gets flashed. That's gonna be a full combo. Yeah, absolutely. That was a great fight out of the wall from Schizophrenic. And this is going to be big damage. Oh, can't convert, unfortunately. Okay. To the wall we go. Big damage here. That might put lane into rage. Oh, doesn't. But here's the grab. Yeah. One thing I also saw mentioned that we cannot uh, see uh, ourselves as players, as spectators. But apparently when uh, Schizophrenic play against Pika, he goes into special style. Oh, and okay. I wish we could see that because apparently he goes into special style to get uh, uh, some, like, for example, the seppuku, right? Like, so he can do it yeah. manually. I think it's super funny, and I genuinely wish we could see it because I want to see how much he enters special style. Because, like, his playstyle just seems like a person that would just enter special style just to, like, annoy you. Just, like, you know, yeah, just no. uh, flick, flick special style on and off. No, I like this idea, though, because, um,. It's a faster button for reactions, right? You can just, you know, it's just a, a single button to get that reaction out. And also, um, I've seen like special style only combos that you can get because the button, you can only hit the button fast enough if you do it special style. So uh, I find that interesting too. Yeah. But right now what's interesting is that Schizophrenic is picking up another round right here, two to one. Getting to round and being one round away from taking the first game of the set but again first to three right over best of five there's yes. a lot of space to optimize and, and, uh, oh, Paris! to the wall we go yeah, big damage wall. gonna start this up good patience from lane Ooh, gets hit goes into the stance and there's the stance once again goes for the homing spin absolutely great hop kick though from lane this is gonna be a full combo i'm gonna heal up a lot of that gray health here we go a a and the slidey to boot. And the low check. That's gonna kill. Yeah. Final round. Final right. round here. Game. Ooh, round number five. Start. Yeah, great hop kick to start things off from lane. Gonna activate the heat and reset the combo. All right. Ooh, chainsaw pressure. Yeah, destruction mode. Those multi hitting moves are so hard to deal with. And look at the damage! Potentially final hit. Nice block. Oh, good block. Activity burst. Oh, and the sidewalk. Nice and simple. Yeah, very nice sidewalk right there. Firstly, I like that sidewalk anyway, even if it didn't avoid the move. Because what happens there is that you get up out of the side of the wall, right? And then you put Schizophrenic at the wall side. So... I think the sidestep was a great option anyway, even if the move hit, because it's going to, you know, get you out of that wall, put Schizophrenic and wall pressure, and that's just going to lead to you winning the game eventually. But on to game... Oh. Oh, oh okay. Oh, what, what? Schizophrenic, one and done. Put it on Twitter, straight away. <laughs> oh, Schizophrenic apparently crashed. Oh no. <laughs> See, this is why we shouldn't out people for one and dunning on Twitter, yeah. man. Some of you people in the chat, I know you've been doing it. Don't do it, man, because stuff like this can happen, man. But here we go, man. Hopefully, we can get back into it as soon as possible. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is something as well, right? You have, like, in it, per TWT rules or Tekken World Tour rules, which obviously aren't in effect today, but are, are in fact at big majors and stuff like that, you get a minute in between each game. Yeah. And you're allowed to do with that minute, you know, what, what you want. You're allowed to, you know, get some coaching if you would like. Um, you're allowed to, you know, just sit there and think for a while if you would like to. And I find that it's always worth it to at least go back to the character select screen and take that minute. If 
if not to, you know, uh, take that momentum forcefully if you lose the first game. Because some players, you know, are momentum-based players. And if they have, you know, that minute to cool off, then maybe they don't play as well in game two, right? Yeah. So just kind of icing them out if you want to. Or just, you know, taking a, your own minute to collect your thoughts, you know. What did they do in that last game, you know? What can I do to actually win this next game? Or yeah. even if you're winning, right, you can you can uh, take that. So. One thing I picked up playing tournaments a lot is mm. players that, uh, like, lose a game, like, very strongly. Like, like I'm not saying, like, they was very close, but they just genuinely mm. don't take a round, for example, and they just hurry back into rematch. It can yes. tell you that they are very stressed and they just want to keep playing, and it's actually really yeah. good for you. Yeah. Absolutely. And here we go into this game right here. Game number two. And we're going to be starting it off with a little bit of damage back and forth, about even on the health bars. Yeah. Right, gets the hit. Ooh, oh, goes for the full oh, pickup. I think Lane went for the hot kick there and got caught on that one. But. Going to fire set up, gets it. And like I said, the Yoshimitsu is really set up. So knockdown extremely dangerous. Oh no. Oh no. I f Oh no. <laughs> I got the schizophrenic disease. No! Please don't crash Tekken. I crashed no. because we are on Yakushima. No! We actually... Tekken! Uh, yes. Oh man. <laughs> How are the man fix this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I noticed again. It's a it's a problem this game had uh, since release. I because it's an issue I have because I have a older GPU. I have a 1070, mm. and okay. for some reason, uh, I uh, uh, like the the game on some stages just crashes, and Yakushima is one of them. Like Yakushima, oh, okay. Yakushima and uh, I believe it was Open City. Like I don't oh. know why, because those stages are actually pretty well optimized. Yeah, but, they are. Aren't they? But they they just have a tendency to crash, and I don't know what the issue is because the error that you get usually mm. means that you have a faulty GPU, which yeah I don't because I can I can is the only game that happens to it. So I don't know what the problem with that is. It's like seems like the game just stopped registering your GPU and it's just like okay, there's no GPU, you know game is game is gone yeah that's interesting um i want i wonder why that happens um but yeah yeah but we're just gonna we miss a game and that's okay because again the lobby is on first one so i hope the players notice that i'm missing or i join uh before they start a new one yeah, and i'm just what, gonna what? i'm just gonna ask for uh oh, oh i will find specific all right let me see might be time to find a new lobby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or I can do, uh, I can do this thing. Oh boy, now this game is. To do it like this. Yes, <sighs> that's fine. But yeah, we were seeing some things um, interesting happening in game one at the very least, right? Yeah. So. It does happen, you know, I, I know we can't ask Karada for anything, but I'm going to ask him to fix the lobbies at the very yep. least. <laughs> yeah, I, I w wish like the, this stuff always happens uh, with new games is just because of PC ports. Let me actually mm. see if I can find the lobby because... Uh... Yeah, let, let's see if we can oh, rejoin there you go, just there you go. Uh, there I can find go. it because okay. Lane is the host, I guess just... Uh... Yeah. That that's uh, kind of weird. If the host leaves, you can still uh, yeah, because the the, the ownership the ownership gets uh, transferred. Okay, so it looks like Lane won that game. It yeah. is two zero to to Lane, um, and we will be able to watch this game three right here. Yeah. Uh, Schizophrenic needs to make the reverse sweep, um, in order to um, in order to move forward in winner's side of grand finals. But uh, we will see if Lane gets a complete sweep or if Schizophrenic gets to uh, run that reverse right here. Alright. 
Yeah, the players are ready and we're going back into it. Brilliant. Let's see what happens here, man. I'm very yep. excited. Because now there's been some unknowns that have probably happened in the last game. That have probably, uh, you know, affected conditioning or the mental stack in some way. So we might be able to see some different sort of play right now in this last game. But here we go. Going into this next one. Round number one fight. And we are off. Yep. Going to All get right. the hot pick straight away. Yep. To the, the wall combo. we go. All right. Ooh, damage. Nice. Yeah, going to be destruction mode. And that's going to kill. Yep. All right. And round one to lane. Yes, absolutely. Round, round number one to lane. And here we go. That's going to pop up and go to the wall right here. Oh, yes it is. And that's going to be big damage. Half your health bar. Like I said, 50% off. Good patience from lane right there. Oh, big damage off of that. Again, going to do that same setup. We know lane can, uh, knows to stay down there and uh, punish that effectively. So that's good job from lane. Got the hop kick. Going to come through right now. Big damage. No. Oh no! But can't get the full combo. Gets the sword slash. Needs to be careful here. And the heat smash. Coming through. Big damage. 10 seconds left. Low check. And finishes the string with the boosters. Going to be 2 0 in rounds. And now Schizophrenic looking in a very dangerous position. Yeah. Oh, gets the unblockable. Okay, here we go. Gets the mist. Can't combo it fully though. Just to the wall though. Big damage. Good fight from lane out the wall, but now tries to go for the Sepuku. As has happened so many times to end rounds. Can't get it. The heat burst gets punished. And that's going to be one on the board for this Yosh Yoshimitsu Schizophrenic. Alright. Locks it. Oh, gets the instant tornado. Okay. This is dangerous right now for lane. Has he... Oh, the boosters tries to go high, but gets caught. Low check. Good stuff. Low check again. This poking is really working out for lane at the minute. But going to get caught against the wall for big damage here. That's set up. Stop doing that. We know lane is going yep. to stay down right now. Okay. Right. Still an opportunity. A lot of grey health to heal up. Yeah, and going to heal quite a lot of it up right here with this combo. Right. Ooh. Let's get it to the wall. For the to low. Man. And armor. Oh, wow. Power crash. And lane is going to pick up with a sweep. That is 3-0. Lane Good pick. stuff. Yeah, three zero. Absolutely. So guaranteeing a spot in the grand finals, and that means yes. that Lane already has guaranteed a bit of that price pool. Yes, absolutely. By the way, the uh, the game has no audio on Discord. <laughs> oh. Oh, I can solve that very yeah. easily by doing this. Brilliant. That has fixed it. I think it's because you plugged the controller in. Yeah, <laughs> I, pl I plugged the pad in. I think just... The, the pad stole the audio. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that means now we're going to get the match we were supposed to have before of Pika and Lucas. It's going to be losers top 8. And yes. first to 2. Again, we were on first to 3. Now 8 going to be first yes. to 2. Yeah, I, I wanted to ask you about this, actually. Um, How do you feel like... um? You know, that jump to uh, first to three uh, affects the match, right? Because I, I have personally interesting thoughts on it, but I, I want to hear your thoughts. Uh, to me, to me, it's Akron's same jump. Like, genuinely, first to two first to, to first to three is such a, uh, like, a different experience. 
Because yes. the most important part is a lot of players uh, have a problem with adapting fast. Yes, and I do. Uh, that actually helps you a lot mm. because you have that one more game to technically like throw away for for data. So yes. I think genuinely first to two first to three is it's a major difference. It is genuinely a major yes. difference. Uh, yes. Yeah. And I, I I would agree with you. Those are those are my thoughts as well. As well as that, in these uh, first to threes as well, after playing a long tournament, stamina comes into play as well, right? You're you're playing such a long tournament, and now you have to play a first to three, and especially in grand finals, you're playing a first to three, and then potentially a bracket reset with another first to three as well, right? So like, stamina does come into play at, at points like these. You know, is is your mental strong enough to you know? Uh, be concentrating on you know a game with so many options for that long right yeah yeah like uh i feel like stamina is a thing that is really important in like long tournaments uh like yes, for, for example sure. when you have uh tournaments where you have to play for a really long time like uh, like sometimes it happens right where you have like tournaments yeah. where you have to oh, play yeah. for like eight hours straight and there the there is like the stamina Mm. Uh, the stamina is really important. But I'm getting told to check the match arena, and we got a ten dollar contribution oh, from yes. Bio. So thank, th you, thank Bio. you very much for the help. So that means we are at almost forty dollars in the pot. Mm -hmm. Again, thank you very much, Bio, and thank you everyone for claiming the codes. It's... Absolutely, thank you so much. Yep. But right now we're going into this first two right here, Lukis versus Pika. Gonna be a good one for sure. This Nina versus the Jin. Get ready for the Interesting next stuff. Battle. And we're on secluded training ground. Again, wall breaks coming into play here. We're going right into it. Absolutely. All right, Low check to down four. Off. Yeah. Jab jabs coming through. Look at the patience, right? Yep. This is the style that's being shown, right? Like, in the past few games, we've had loads of aggression, loads of holding forward. And now you're seeing that different style of Tekken. Okay, you take your turn. I'll take my turn. Let's play slow. Let's play respectful, right? Yeah, it also shows, uh, like, uh, to me, like, this more patient, again, feels way more high level, I would say. Like, it, it, it radiates more of, like, that uh, energy of, like, I'm just, you know, I can wait because I know you can do something that you're going to kill yourself over. You're going to give me yes. the round. So the patience actually is a really cool factor. Yeah, absolutely, for sure. Ooh, did I but it's also, yeah, I know, but it's also just respect between two players, right? Like, hey, I know you're at this high level. I know I'm at this high level. You know, let's let's play this game where we both know either of us aren't going to be doing any of these like silly options, right? Yep. All right. Or just... Ooh, nice heat engager. Good stuff. That pushes to the wall as well. Good low block. Uh uh, low check. And the wing of Rebellion comes out right there to pick up the round. The Devil's Wing. Right. Four actually crushes oh. the high with the stance, gets the launch. Beautiful stuff that's going to take it to the wall. Big damage coming through. Jabs coming through. That's a great connection right there, but can't get the combo off of the slump. Right. Ooh, the up for two. Right. Hi. Actually, oh, good grab. Wow. Catches a start. Up. Low check. Gonna pick up the round. And that's a no round round for Lukey's. No rounds this round. Yeah. All right. One zero. Absolutely. Yeah. Going straight back into it now. No time a wasting. Let's get back into it with maximum efficiency.
this Jin has absolutely been tearing through bracket. Luki's, you know, actually not a name I know that well from uh, previous Salty EU. So exciting to see them come through today and uh, put in work. Yeah, yeah. For me, for me also, it's a like a name I didn't recognize at first, but now you know they yeah. they they, they shown the that they uh, they got what it takes to to be cooking this deep in the bracket. For sure. But we're going to elegant palace. Hmm, interesting. I mean, you know, th this stage obviously has the wall break, the balcony break, um, and then the wall blast on the final, uh, final uh, variation. So here we go. Low check gets blocked. The wave dash. Oh. Do not get mixed by that wave dash, man. Yep. Scary. Hey, but it's insane that players are actually respecting it, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Because, like, again, to, for example, for me, for ranked, I play a lot of Mishima players who are not really scary because they just present the wave dash, but they don't present the options on it. So they just wave yes. dash at me for 10 seconds and I hope kick them, right? Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Lucas is actually representing the respect so, like, you know, he's making sure that Pika respects it. Every time wave dashes, yeah. no, you're not pressing. You're gonna hold that until I do the up mix. Yeah, I mean, uh, Pika also not doing very good on these grab breaks at the minute. Have been, have been actually catching and uh, have been dealing a bit of damage here. Okay, there's the grab. Get off of me! Grab back. Good duck. Takes the turn. Low check. Slidey coming through. All right. Oh, good counter hit. Yeah, to confirm into the one plus two. Again, not a full combo in this game, but gets you that heat engager. Oh, the parry! Good parry right there, yeah, absolutely. Good engage right there from Pika, but can't get that much off of it, unfortunately. Good sidestep from Luki's. That sends to the wall and going for the stomp on Oki. Low check again. Low check, low check mid. And that's a great way to condition your opponent. Low check, low check. The opponent now wants to block low just in case they get hit again, and then you do the mid. Yeah. Oh, again, goes for the hype, but this time it connects. Gets Absolute. the hit. Oh, it's gonna be a full combo. Yeah, that's gonna be to the wall, and it's gonna be not a wall break, unfortunately. Yeah, it's just the first hit. Yeah, just the first hit on that wall right there. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, nice stack good on dark. The It's gonna be a full combo. Yeah. yeah, getting away from the wall too, that's really good. Gonna bring out the gap. Power away. Get off from me. Activate the plus flames. Okay. Good duck. Gonna take the turn. Ooh. Gets the punish. Ooh, goes for the wave dash reset. Oh, nice smash. Okay. That's gonna kill. Heat dash. Mm -hmm. round four. Bring in a round back. Five. You need to remember that Pika needs to get all of these rounds right now. Needs to win two in a row to even continue in the game and continue in the bracket. Yeah. Okay, good damage right there. Yeah, at the wall again this time. It's gonna wall break any hit. It will. Gonna go for the heat dash. Could continue the aggression. Good stuff from Pika. Good grab! And finally, that's a grab not broken from Luki's, but it's not gonna kill. Right. Nice, it's gonna be a cool combo. Has the recharge. Gets okay. the heat. The wall. Okay. Wall. Good damage. Oh, what Doesn't the kill. Oh, plus two dash. oh, good block. The the good check. Oh. What a great defensive option from Pika. Great dick jab. That dick jab kept him in the tournament right there. Yeah. Alright. Goes for the high high. Yes. And now continuing the pressure after the knockdown. The trade. Good fast move from Pika to get priority there. Gets the, gets the guns out. Low. There's the pressure. Ooh, gets the knockdown. Oh, oh, the stomp. The heal. There we go. Oh, activates heat for the plus flames. I love this option right here. Oh, big champ. Alright, one, two. It's the guns There's out. the chip. Yeah, does the Oh, kick. the recharge! Oh no! That's not gonna connect, I don't think. That's blocked. No, that's yep. blocked. And I think that's gonna be game? Yeah. No. Oh no! No, not game! Oh wow, I'm surprised! 
Gonna activate the heat dash. Yeah, Low check. Cool. I'm really surprised that combo off of um off of Rage Art did not kill. Just dropped it, unfortunately, probably. Yeah. Because that should kill her. Yeah. Also, for everyone asking in chat, yes, this is a spectating bug. Uh, unfortunately, it just like sometimes slows down. Okay, I guess now I'm just gone. Oh no, no yeah. we're back. Okay, we're back. Back That's in good. the lobby. Yeah, we're back in the lobby. Okay. So <laughs> it is all good. But yeah, again, this this sometimes just happens. I I, I don't have power over this. Like I wish I could somehow yes. fix this, but I already have the lobby on first to one, which is like the fix that used to be. Uh, yeah, but I just I just cannot do anything about it. I thought it was my PC dying that it's up lagging, but I'm looking at my FPS. My FPS is like good. It's not it's not like dipping to like 10 FPS or something. It's it's stable, but yeah, it is just something with the game. Unfortunately, they don't have like power over it to influence it. So sometimes yeah. it happens. Like for example, we saw it happen this game, the game before it did not happen. Right, the first game it was completely yes. fine, just happened that game. So. I wish I could yes. do something about it, but unfortunately, when it happens, we just kind of have to, you know, grit our deal teeth and it. deal with it yep. and just hope that, you know, again, it's a new game. They're going to fix it, hopefully. Yep. For sure, absolutely. And we're going into this final game three right now. Let's see yep. what happens. Round Infinite one. Azure on the music. Let's see it. All right. Catching up. Gets the hit. Yep. To the wall we go. Low checks. To the wall we go, that's gonna kill. Yep. Yep. First round to Pika. Alright, Pika slowly and surely getting back to momentum, right? Took to that could that uh, second game. Now to the yep. first round, nice. Great punish on the low. And that was a good heat engager of them um Lukis as well. Yeah. Okay. Just prodding away, prodding and poking. Good jab there, good dick jab to stop the aggression. But can't use heat, and that's great for Pika. Okay, gonna activate the heat burst, stop the aggression. Come through, heat dash, here's the pressure, here's the grab. And the mid to stop you from blocking low. Good stuff from Pika there. Final, final, uh, final round here, not final, final round, sorry. Yeah. Potentially final round here. Yeah, the floor blast is yep. on hand, so gotta be careful. Absolutely. Ooh, there you go, gets the throw. The knockdown. Okay. Good start for Lukis. Yeah, but now you can see the tables on the other foot. Yeah. Ooh, the wave goes Ooh. for the heat dash. Oh, the check the conversion out of it. The low parry. Low parry. Oh, low parry. Love that. Fight. Gonna be get off of me right now. Get off of me again. What are you grabbing for? Get your dirty hands off, man. Oh, nice. Gets the pick up. On the counter hit. Yes, yeah, absolutely. To the, wall. to the wall we go. Oh, the parry. A great parry at the wall. And that switches sides as well. Okay, low check. That's a good tracking move too. That's going to be the wall. Oh, sort of Floor blast. Right. Gets the hit. Ooh, okay. Ooh, ooh. Playing oh, we saw something. Nope. It gets blocked. Electric. Yeah. Yeah, those are the c cartoons used up though, unfortunately, so no opportunities for the combo extension anymore. Get off of me again! Oh, most no attempt. check gets blocked! Oh. But oh my Ruki's God, but still with time. Ten oh. seconds left! Oh my Dash. God. Chip damage. Low no block! No, still not. I oh don't think God. it's still enough. No, oh, but the me. Oh no! I, I think Pika would have won anyway because of the life gain from the Grey Health. Mm -hmm. Oh my, what an end to that set right there. Pika, getting it through. Yeah, Pika taking it and moving on. Loser semi-final, which he's going to have to play out right now. Yes, against my boy Koenji. Yeah. Going to be a good one. That Nina versus the um, Azu. Man, I'm so happy to see my guy in this top eight. It's it's well and truly deserved. Yeah. All 
All right, but now yeah. that means we're going to loser semifinal. So yes. It's going to be Koenji versus Pika, who we just saw. Yes, Nina versus Azu, like I just said. Interesting matchup here, actually. Um, I'm not too sure about this one. I haven't played that many uh, Ninas, even as an Azu player myself for now. Um, I don't know. I, I just think... Um, ONG is going to execute the game plan that he's been executing, you know, with with all of these plus flames. Going to do the wild running 3-2, you know, going to do the lib mix, you know. Just going to execute the Azu game plan and let Pika, and you know, force Pika adapt to my gameplay, you know. Yeah. Yeah, but like... Uh, I think that's personally what's going to happen. Yeah. And, you know, again, the character, like... Well, actually, both of these guys are very oppressive, right? Uh... Oh, yeah. Like Nina, and Nina having that insane pressure, uh, and uh, Azusena, you know, has the infamous running free two. Yes. Very, very hard to deal with. It has counterplay, but again, the counterplay is very hard to do. So, yes. Both of these characters have very strong uh, pressure stuff. Yes. I mean, even if you power crush the wall running three two, it does so much damage. It's yeah, like, no, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. If people are doing it from uh, range where you see them running, you can sidestep it. Yeah. Um, like that that is one way to get the counter play but obviously we also have the instant while running with the uh, uh, forward forward neutral forward uh, version of inputting it um, so yeah. that that's the one that's uh, more difficult to deal with is that instant while yeah. running and also also the thing with armor moves is that like for like a lot of characters have uh, armored heat engagers right so you could be like yes. okay I'm gonna armor through it it's gonna heat engage but because it's an air hit it doesn't heat engage Yes, so that's true. You're, yes. you're locked out of it. So like you could not you can't even like do the mental game. It's like I'm gonna sacrifice my life. Yep. I'm gonna get it back though because it's white life and it's a healing gauge. Yep. But they're airborne, you're just gonna smack them away and then you just get a knockdown, yep. so it is not worth it in the end. Yeah, and it's jailing too, to be yep. so <laughs> there you go. It's jailing and it's plus and uh, it does all of the good things that you want a move to do, so Yeah, both players are ready going into the game. For the next battle. Absolutely. Colosseum to... of Fate. Yep. Start things off here. Here we go. Very excited. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's a nice skin, right. Gonji. Love that. Another reference. I'm, uh, not, I'm not sure about this one. I I, yeah. I cannot confirm or deny this one. I, I did like the Mitsuru though. Yeah. <laughs> right. Nice. What a pressure. Ooh, the heat burst. Good heat burst. I do like this uh, heat burst there. That was very nice. nice. Oh, good grab! Wow. The wall running 3 2, the low check. Yep, there you go. Okay, and do you know what I like? Koenji is utilizing uh, the down forward 1-4 very well. Um, again, that is a jailing string, uh, that down forward 1-4. It's just very useful. Yeah. Usually, usually characters having uh, down forward 1 extensions. Uh, it's very powerful, but some people overuse it and then it becomes less scary. Oh, yeah. So having like good like uh, understanding when to use it, again, super scary. Absolutely. Good sidestep from Koenji. And that is going to pick up the round again. Koenji on an absolute tear right now. Yeah. If we're, if we're including last set, that is now eight rounds straight. <laughs> Let's see oh, if... went for the forward, forward, three extension. Didn't get it though. Right, box to two hits. Running three, two. Yep. Alright, he gets there now. Gets the mid, gets the Ooh. knockdown. Yeah, gets the pickup. OTG. Ooh, very nice anti air there from Koenji. Gonna get the float. Gonna activate the heat. They're both in heat. Yeah, right, both of playing very careful. The oh, the grab. Yeah. All right, has rage though. I like the stay down there from Koenji. Um, because staying down there confirms your opponent's gonna do like a low hitting move, right? And you know a low hitting move isn't gonna kill that. So. That was a, I think that was a good option from Koenji to stay down. Yeah. 
All right. Ooh, second hit connects though. Ooh, but now Pika hey, Pika trying to adapt. Ooh, the high breaks wow. through the armor. Not fast enough. Yeah. Was for the combo. Absolutely. Oh, doesn't get the ender though. Okay, gonna activate the heat. Get the turn. Nice down forward one. Gonna go for the one one into lib. Gonna go for the two. Great sidestep. Right, nice. Gets the heat burst. Yeah, resets the combo. Right. Yeah, good call. Uses the heat smash. Goes that up to 50 50. Alright, yeah. now we're stuck at the wall. The dunk. the dunk! That's gonna kill. Yeah. Keep it simple. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Spag says keep it simple. Do the rage art if you know it's gonna kill. And it will kill her. I am bang. It was a good call regardless because even if that, you know, somehow magic would not kill, there was a very big uh, life uh, difference. And the timer was yes. almost up. Yes, absolutely, yeah. I mean, as well as that, right? Um, that, that sends you to your final round here with your win in hand. Forward, forward, three. The jab extension. Oh my god, Koenji. Trying to get to the wall, man. You're not gonna get much damage, but I'm gonna take you to the wall. And then the next yes. step will hurt. Like right now, it's gonna be rough. Yep. Get off of me. Oh, it actually Good tripped. step. Oh, oh it's gonna be. Alright, it's time for Pika to bring right. us back potentially. Yes, absolutely. Heat in hand as well. Gonna activate it now. Respect! But it gets Down for the 1 4. You yep. What did I say about the down forward 1-4 in, in round 1, man? I told you, Koenji is utilizing it very, very well. Yep. And now, into game 2. Yeah, up 1-0. But again, this was final round, almost final interaction. So, uh, yeah. you know, Koenji, uh, Koenji definitely, like, you know, has the game upper hand. But Kika is, like, Absolutely. right behind. Gotta, gotta not let your guard down because... Uh, the moment you're gonna feel comfy, a uh, Pika is just gonna take it. Like he's just gonna take it and run it back. So. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know, you know, like Pika is that kind of player that it does very well in those clutch situations, right? We've seen it many, many times, even in Tekken Seven, from from Pika in the past. So. Oh, Dragonoff! All right. So we saw okay. the character swap in the end, but it was a character I did not expect at all. Yeah, I mean, you gotta watch out for that uh, while running too. Uh, you know, Pika saying you've got a good while running move. I've got a good while running move. Let's let's do it. Let's play this game. All right, at low. Gonna activate the heat. Try and fight out the corner. Good option. And there's the heat back. Gonna activate the plus flames. Good sidestep out of the wall though. That was a good play from Koenji. Yeah. But that's gonna be to the balcony. We could be going downstairs. All right, bang. Are we going downstairs? Uh, uh, nope. Uh, no, we're not. Save that. Save yeah. that for later. Yep. But save it for the next stuff. round. round yeah, Pika. Gonna be picking up round number one here. Low checks coming through. Ooh, ooh, Sidestepping away. While running 3 2. Almost stepped it, did Pika, but the second hit did catch. Playing around each other now. Right, the counter hits. Oh, the counter hit. This is going to be big damage and to the wall we go. Going to reset the combo. Uh-uh. Big damage. Uh-uh. 3-4. And the ender. Going to activate the plus flames in lib. Going to be the hell sweep. The low. And we're even on rounds now. Yeah, the hell sweep. There's so many options you can go for in lib after, after those plus flames. Right? Oh. Oh, that's that one of them. Yeah, that's one of them. Is just avoiding the move. All right, plus frames. Oh, nice block. On Good the low block. And gets the launch punish too. Good stuff. From Koenji here. Gonna get the jab reset. Gonna right. be that's to the wall thing. here. Yep, full wall splat. Yeah, that's a good damage. Oh, going for a spinny bike. Good block. Blocked. Punished with the one two. Good stuff. Heat dash, gonna extend the combo. Yeah. Oh, gets the wall hit too. All right. Yeah, We're gets almost... the second wall hit on the side wall. All right, potential final hit and a running yep. three, two. Mm. Just very well played from Koenji right now. The K 
can you see the pressure that's being galloped, put, man? It's going to be combo to the wall, activate the heat, pressure, more pressure while running V2, more pressure, like, just consistent. Good low block. And see, this is where Koenji starts the offense, right? This is what you don't want to be up against. Do not let Koenji start the offense or else it's going to be a long day for you, as we say in the UK. All right, goes for the heat burst. Now Koenji, see, makes use of it. Goes for the heat dash. Dash. While running 3-2. Chip damage. Oh, While running that's going to be a rough full combo. Yeah, full combo on the clean wall splat too. Low check. Finishes the string. And that's going to be Koenji moving on. That's my boy. Yeah. Koenji on a, on a tear. Absolutely, man. If you don't know about my boy Koenji, get to know. Simple as that, man. Has made two or like, has made like so many big upsets so far. Lane. You know, sorry, Lane won that one. Sorry, uh, Tibetano twice, right? Pika now, right? So it, it's just been absolutely amazing to watch yeah. my guy absolutely, you know, take on some of these players who, you know, in Salty U are known as strong players, have been playing Salty U in Tekken 7 and have put solid results on the board, like... Pika's won salty EUs in the past, you know. Um, Tibetano has won salty EUs in the past. These are these are players that are capable of winning tournaments. And uh, Koenji coming through and, you know, putting in the work, man. But right now, we have that Yoshimitsu Schizo Fenek versus Koenji. Yeah, so again, now from now on, though, remember, it is only first to freeze from now on. So yes. We got a loser's final and grand final set of us, so final two sets of the night. Yes, absolutely. And let's see how they pan out, since again, uh, Schizophrenic, like, been also, both of these been on a tear, right? As you mentioned, uh, Koenji yeah. went through a lot of, like, strong, notable players. Mm -hmm. And Schizophrenic is, like, kind of just, like, popped up today and, you know, cooked. Just also cooked. Cooked, yeah. Just, just cooked. So I want to this... see how these two are going to go against each other, because... It is, yep. it is quite the face-off, right? We saw Koenji play a bit more, like, solid, uh, stable yep. game plan. Schizophrenic just sends it. He, he's, yep. he's just gonna do stuff, it, and it's gonna hit. For God knows what reason, it will just hit. So I yep. wanna see if Koenji will fall for the stuff, or if Koenji's solid, stable game plan yep. will actually beat it. I mean, it's just it's just that game sense, man. You, you come in with that game sense. And that's one of the things about this new game, man. You get new players coming in, that don't have any legacy skill, that have amazing game Get sets, ready. that have amazing yeah. feeling for when you're going to press or, you know, when they think you're going to do something. And this first game is going to be on Colosseum of Fate. Yeah, stage we just saw like two, two games ago, game ago. Yes. Here we go. Round one. Fight. All right. Done for the one to start things off. Gets rid of the mist. And you can see Koenji actually playing a lot slower than before, right? Actually utilizing backdash a lot more, but that's a great while rising too to get the full punish on the low. Yeah. Alright, running 3 2. Going for the wall carry. Oh, we're at the wall. That man. is going to be to the wall. I uh, uh, uh. While running 3 2 again. Flash. Flash. It's 1 2 for the perfect punish. And this is the thing, right? Yoshimitsu can't really do much if you're up against plus flame constantly. Like, yep. you, like if you can't press, you can't do your cool reads that hit every time, right? Yeah, but this this hit will definitely hurt. Oh my god! What oh is my this? god! Okay. Oh, actually, <laughs> oh, good sidestep. Step. The stance actually works out. Yeah, brilliant movement right there from the schizophrenic. I don't know what he was cooking, but it was something in the kitchen. I mean, it worked, right? It got the round. Yep. Alright. No swords out. Oh, we saw the poison start two. up. Yep. Ooh, tries to go for the wall rising too. Just raw there. Oh, nice overhead. And the low grab going for it. Oh, yeah, that's dead. 
That forward one plus two into the uh, down back three plus four. Good finish of the round right there from Koenji. But you can see how careful Koenji is being about this purple mist, right? Yeah, I mean, again, like, you want to avoid those moves. Like, he, Schizophrenic in general is throwing out a lot of moves where, like, again, if you run if you run into him, you're going to, like, it, it's going to be rough. Yep. And it's gonna that's going to be the game. A double perfect from Koenji right there. And looking good going into game number two. Yes, strong. Again, th that was the what we talked about, right? The stable game plan, just making sure to avoid mm. all the like funny things that uh, schizophrenic is throwing out, right? Because yes, like you gotta be aware of that. And a lot of the uh, we saw the flash, right? Get baited. Uh, yeah. I think we saw the unblockable even being avoided one, one, once or twice. So mm. good awareness. But absolutely. Let's see if Koenji can uh, can keep it up because I feel like Schizophrenic is just gonna have like twenty different of these wild cards, you know, in the deck. Yeah, I mean it's it's, it's difficult for Schizophrenic to output what they want to output right now because it's like, oh, I'm dealing with plus flames here, I'm dealing with plus flames there. They're being very careful about mist and running into it. They're really finding their opportunities, right? So like, it's very difficult for Schizophrenic to play the game plan they want to play right now. Yeah. Ooh, ducks the stands and tree. Oh, does he get the combo out of it though? Yeah. There we go. Right, no sword stance again. Yeah, you can see four dash back dash forward, four dash back dash from a Koenji trying to avoid the mist, right? Yeah. Get off of me! Oh, another throw! Oh, oh. The counter hit grab. Yeah. Damage. Oh my god, the stance. Oh, wow! Just out of range, but the low gets blocked, and that's a wall rising two full combo. Right. Uh -uh. The wall stick actually. Oh, but doesn't get to. Do oh. But plus flames, it doesn't matter. Right. Raw heat burst without going for the hit. But this down forward one will hit. Yes. And down forward one four. Just to make sure. And here we go. Down forward two raw for the run in. And that's going to be to the wall blast. Yep. Right. This one sent you into my screen as we talked about before. Running free two. Wants to take. Oh, goes for the dash, actually. Oh, oh, the stays in lib! Oh my god, Koenji and goes for the health sweep too. Oh my god, no. Oh, okay. Oh, the unblockable. Okay. Jab's coming through, down Armor. 4 to 1 4. Running Only does two. the first hit. Oh, it's a flash! Oh, dodges the flash! Right, That's gonna be a float entry. combo to the wall. That right. kills. Koenji's just playing so solid right now, man. Yeah. Being one round away from being up to zero. Yes, absolutely. Oh, thanks. Get off of me! Alright, the mist. It's being thrown out. The, the mist oh. hasn't even hit once, by the way. Yep. I just want to say, Koji has been so careful about avoiding that move. Oh, catches the back turn, though, with the running 3 2 plus frames. Ooh, stands. Yep. Into lib. Oh, the yep. explosion. That's there gonna be go. a full combo. It was one button starter. Yes, absolutely. Do you know what I really like about Koenji's game plan right now? Is jab into down forward 1-4. Because off of jab, you can do a 1-2 a one or 1-1, one one, right? 1-1 one one puts you into stance, which uh, Koenji might not necessarily want to go in, right? Or 1-2, which is duckable and is punishable. So Koenji just does jab into down forward 1-4 because it's, it's jab to get the pressure started and then down forward one four catches you ducking. Yep. Right? And and doesn't put you into stance. So Koenji there with a nice little uh, game plan there to to create offense, right? And and jab into down forward one just sounds sounds to me like the most like fundamental Tekken thing, right? It's like Oh yeah, absolutely is, yeah. If you see if you see someone who has their like jabs down for ones down to the like top point, you, you know that player is just good. Like, you know that person. Yeah can just keep you in the round for like keep you in that like you know blender of the down four ones and jabs forever and yes, you like absolutely. you're gonna be struggling this way it's really funny because it's like the, those like two of the like least you know uh committal moves in the game or like the fastest ones but if you if you have them down it's super oppressive yeah and i'm really yeah. glad uh koenji is doing this as well because uh now i feel better about my azu play because i do it <laughs> <laughs> 
So it makes me feel good. But uh, here we go. Into this stage right now. Schizophrenic needs to reverse sweep. Get off of me! Hello. Oh, Lopez is still back, actually. Are we, going, are we gonna reach the wall? We will get yes, the wall break. Right. Okay. Walk, guess the wall break. Oh my god. Oh, oh the wow. Oh. Insane wall carry combo. Yeah, that 3 4 sends so far. Good low check right there. Oh, Ooh. second hit actually tracked, though. Good idea from Schizophrenic, but unfortunately, yeah. the second hit was just too big. Yeah, no, I really like the idea from Schizophrenic to, you know, get out of the wall and stop the pressure, but unfortunate there. While well, running 3 2. No check. Oh, the oh big my hit. god, big hit. Right, Schizophrenic now playing the keep away, yep. just letting Quenji come at him. Ooh, nice, yeah. Oh my god! Oh, there we go! Round three. Actually the took the round with it. Yeah, no. Schizophrenic, I think, changed the game plan a little bit there. Played a lot slower, and that worked out really well. But now Koenji going to start off that combo with a forward, forward, three, and it's to the wall, and we're going to be breaking that. Stop. 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 Right. Three, two. It's smash. The mid oh. the wall break yeah, again. the mid, the four. Doesn't drop it. That's gonna kill. It. Yep. And that's, that's too perfect. Yeah. Koenji now on set point. Yep, absolutely. Launch. The low. Gets the launch. Yep. While rising to you right there. I think right. I think actually Koenji has blocked that and launched it every time. So you must be reacting to it. Ooh, tries to Ooh, set tracking. There. Yeah. Doesn't Goes get... for the low grab. Dash, he dash, he dash, he dash, keeps the pressure. Here's the one plus two. Running three two. Oh, the, the low parry! That's gonna end the game and the set. Three zero to Koenji. My goodness. Damn. Let's go, my boy. There is, there is not much to say to this. This was just very clean. And absolutely good performance man oh man okay but yeah so that means that schizophrenic will get eliminated from the bracket at a nice mm -hmm. third place though this is you know nothing to scoff at absolutely. insane performance and showcase of the yoshimitsu we didn't have kane and trench here this week so you know schizophrenic is nice like have a Yoshi. it's it's my turn it's my turn i'm gonna be the one cooking yeah. today yeah absolutely and now we have our uh, winners finals um right here this grand finals with um lane versus koenji yep all right yeah koenji going from losers that means that again gotta remind ourselves bracket reset bracket reset needs to win two sets it's not gonna be that simple you gotta win two sets in a row to two sets to secure in a row. the win and, and remember, Lane did beat Koenji 2-0 at the start of top 8 yep. to knock him into losers. But hey, it's the thing that we talked about a bit before. Uh, there's the, first of all, there's, it's the first to free, so you get more time to adjust. Mm -hmm. And if you reset the bracket, it's even more games to adjust. But again, this can play against you at the same time, because, you know, what if Lane just adjusts better? Yeah, absolutely. But right now, you know... Remember, this tournament is also a qualifier for Wanted. Yep. So, if you don't know about Wanted, Wanted is an amazing event. Um, they have it for Tekken and Guilty Gear. Um, but what happens is, firstly, there is a ladder event. Um, and what happens is, in that, is you go on to start GG. You play a bunch of games against random people who are also playing the ladder. Um, and the winner of the ladder gets invited to a little invitational where the sets are a lot longer. As in, we're playing first to fives and first to sevens in, in, in Wanted. So, you know all of these players that are invited to this invitational are good. And the winner of Salty EU gets invited yep. to Wanted. Yeah, no, Wanted is a sick format. I think it started with Dragon Ball. Uh, it was... It did. Damascus started with Dragon Ball. And now, just because the format is so popular and everyone loves it, just started pushing it to other games. Absolutely. And I genuinely think it's one of the, like, best... Like, it is 
genuinely besides like normal tournaments i think it's the best format like t like non-tournament format we have in europe like event in general they again as you mm. mentioned they do it for tekken they do it for guilty gear they also do it for uh grand blue and oh Yumi, wow i believe so but Crazy. like the, yeah there's a lot of them there's a lot of like events happening at once they even had in the past like multi they had multiple events like oh, again awesome. it's, it's a really popular like and really loved format here in europe because again like the the whole like you know kick of the hill like you know there's gonna be a champion every week that you have to defeat it's it's a sick because it creates cool storylines yes but you know what's sick right now is this grand finals of koenji versus lane we have the good lucks in the chat great to see the sportsmanship and let's get it started up in here yeah let's see how this one's gonna turn out again koenji coming from losers has to win those two sets while lane is comfortable sitting at the winner's side you know Obviously, losing that winner set is not good, right? Like, obviously, yes. you give your opponent more of a chance to win, but at the same time, it's like a little comfort you can think of. Okay, I am losing round one or set one, but at the same time, I can use it for data. I can take a break. I can, yes. you know, play around it. So, and let's see how Absolutely. this will turn out. Koenji been on yes. a, like, the Koenji has, like, all the momentum right now. We saw yes. the, from all the sets in... Uh, in losers, the momentum is unreal. While Lane, for example, didn't play for quite a while, so you know has to warm yes. up now. If wasn't playing like ranked or something, so let's absolutely. While running well, well, three two, heat to activate more plus flames, but heat to get out of there. One one into stance. Gonna do the two. That's one of the safer moves. And then going to try and go for the log grab, but get off of me. Yeah. All right. For the rocket punch. Let's one one. Stance. Gonna go into stance. While running 3-2, gonna go for the low grab again. Dash, that's gonna be a full combo. Yes, absolutely it is. Right. Can we go and take it to the wall? I think we can. Oh, just oh, no. Right Slide, no one check. touch, and do yep. while standing four. Yeah, while standing four, man. Fight. Used to be one of the one of the best moves to use in T second. Now T seven. Now it's still good, but not as good as it once was. <laughs> Right, playing neutral. Ooh, nice dab. Wow, good avoidance. Gonna activate the heat. Good job. Right, focus the mid. Oh, what he did. More pressure. Running 3 2. Running 3 2. Well, running 3 2. Ooh, and now yep. the side Back there. 2. Yeah, back 2. That's a tracking move right there. And it is plus. Right, well, running 3 2. Pressure. Look at how many plus flames were outputted yep. in that string, man. Like, what, what, what can you do? <laughs> Oh my god. Like, technically, Big most combo. situations are fake, right? Because it's a slow move that is pretty yes. plus, but again, the second move, but like, you're not pressing on it. I'm not gonna be pressing like a maniac on like plus yeah. six or plus seven. Because if they press any mid, I'm just gonna die. So, yes, it's really right. scary. Absolutely scary. And right. now we have Electric Fountain playing in the background. Low checks coming through. Ooh. Oh man, big. Alright. Okay. To the wall we go. Oh, the, the mid. Yeah, the yep. mid this time. Lane using that attack so well. Mixing up the follow-ups very nicely. Keeping Koenji yeah. on his toes. Destruction mode activated. Gonna check the low. Gonna activate the heat. Stop the pressure. Oh, oh nothing off of that though. Low on the Oki. Oh, sidesteps the heat smash. Gets a punish. Heat. Plus flames. Good forward one plus two and the forward forward three to beat. Right. The low. And the wall, the armor just oh. sends it. And with punishes. A button from Quenji. Do you know what? I really love that power crush at the wall from lane, actually. I think it was a great option. Because if Quenji tries fighting their way out, it's going to, you know, uh, go through it with the armor. Yep. And even if it doesn't, you know, you might catch the opponent uh, sidestepping or something else, right? So, like, I think that was just a great option to keep Koenji at the wall anyway. Um, because of the pushback o o of that move as well. So, I think that was just all around a great option for the lane to, to end that game and end that round. Yeah, good, a good way to just end the game, right? And I think that, that power crush is also high, so usually those are safe. Yep. So, again, if anything, if it got just blocked, 
you know yeah, the yeah. situation would be a bit unfavorable because you're you're minus nine usually but hey yes I'm, I'm not losing the round off of it i can just guess after oh no we're going to yakushima i am yakushima, praying oh god i am praying oh, I'm praying to everything dude. i am praying to god that i don't get uh, pray to Havada, pray to Havada. okay here we go all right let's see okay all right, nice. Close for the first thing for cat's block. Yeah, starting things off. All right, simple jab oh. pressure. Yeah, jab pressure back and forth. There's respect here now. Forward, forward three, but the forward one plus two power crash gonna activate the heat engager. Yeah, can I tell you something? So after that heat engager, uh, quite a lot of Azus like doing down back three into another low, um, because sometimes it will just catch you a nice hell sweep. By the way. All right, so let's heat. Just raw activates okay, it. Okay, cancels it. Yeah. Oh, the running three two. Ooh. Yeah, but I like cancelling it there because obviously it's not gonna uh, catch and get you yep. plus flames in that range. All right, nice block on the low, but they Ooh. trade. Yeah, it tries to go for the launch punish with the wild rising two, I think. Wild rising two. Right. Okay. Ooh, nice. That goes into the stance. Yeah, there you go. You see it again. That one down forward, one four. Good stuff. Yeah, nice Low blow. check. Oh, gets hit this time. I think that's also yeah. orbital. Yeah, low check. Oh, good sidestep. Can't get anything off of it, though. Destruction mode. Yeah, Can activate the heat. Though. Running 3 2. Well, running 3 2. Oh, oh, doesn't get the punish just in time, though. Yeah. Doesn't get the punish on the forward uh, one plus two. Gets the heat dash. Get off of me. That's a one plus two break. And running While running 3 2, yeah, ends the round. Kanji feeling a lot more comfortable on this stage right here. Yeah. Well, I think it's because of the walls. The walls are further away. And yep. a great launch punish on the low with the Wall of Rising 2. Right, the patient. Sort of a standing wall. Gets blocked though. Oh, nice. Yeah, good patience. Yeah, Wall of Rising 3 2. Hop good hop kick. Oh, no. Uh oh. Oh, no. Please, not now, man. Please don't do this now. I... Oh, have we yeah. crashed? Yeah, we, we have. Oh, no. Uh, Yakushima, the stage of the demons. Yep. Right. Well, I'm going to have to ask the players after the game finishes what the score was. But Koenji was up two rounds, so that game yeah, definitely um, looked very strong. I, I think we can see it in the lobby. Um, with uh, the one win thing. Yeah, we're oh yeah, true. We can see it with the win part. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that's gonna be interesting. Um, the these final games right here. Yeah, we're going back into the game. You know, the players. Yes. Will, will wait for us. Just going back into the game. I'm just gonna join the lobby again instantly. Yes, absolutely. Do it. Absolutely, man. Throw it out. <laughs> but yes, here we go. V very excited to, to see this. Uh, you know, game three, whatever it is. You know, whether it's 1-1 one, one, or whether it's... Um, it's 1-1, one, one, You know, 2-0. Yes. Two, two okay, it's 1-1. One, one. Yeah, it is 1-1. One, one. Uh, got told from Koenji right now in the chat. So I'm just joining back okay. instantly. So we can continue. Brilliant. So I assume we just missed the round, right? Since that was pretty yep. quick. So I assume that Koenji was there no round round, yeah. Yeah, just just locked it up and. Uh... Yeah. Absolutely. Let Let's see. So it is one apiece right now. Uh... There we go, salty screen. All right, there we are. Oh, I think they did they went into a game. I hope they don't because Koenji seems to respond to it. So I am yeah, assuming I they. Uh, yeah. Game. Oh, Lane, uh, I crashed because of Yakushima. So just please uh, don't play the next game. If you're into a game, just please uh, stop it and. Uh, yes. Let's reset because uh, yeah, uh, Yakushima and PC. Yeah, y Yakushima, man. Uh, which is upsetting because Koenji was playing uh, really well on Yakushima. Yeah. Oh, actually. they didn't play? Okay. Okay, thank yeah. you then. Then let's. I assume it's 1 1 then and. 1 uh, 1, yeah. Yeah, it's 1 1 and we can just uh, continue from 
Yes, I think I think uh, Koenji just held forward. Yeah, yeah. To, yeah. to let in uh, lane in. Oh, the game still? There. Okay, thank you. Then you can just go back into it. I'm back in the lobby spectating. Yes, absolutely. And it is lane's counter pick on on stage. Yep. Remember, winning that first game on random is so important because that stage counter pick or that character counter pick that you get, um, it'll give you priority on on the last game of the set, right? So. Yeah. Well, not not necessarily the last game of the set, but it'll give you priority in an important, uh, you know, in, in important uh, situations. If, yeah, this, if you win this, that game, first this game, game is really important right now. Being at one one, this game is genuinely super important. Yeah. Uh, because right now, whoever wins just sets themselves for, you know, two one being that one game away from either taking the tournament or, uh, or resetting getting, the bracket. Yeah, resetting the bracket. So. The yes, and it, and whoever wins this right now, obviously. If the other person does win and bring it back to two two, they have a counter pick on game five, so it's yep. it's very very important here. We're going at it. We're taking celebration. Yes, I love this stage. By yeah, the way. I, lo I love this stage. I think the song also is like the best song in the game. Yes, absolutely. Here we go now. Low checks. Going to activate the heat. Here we go. Good patience. Right there, low check coming through. Back dashing forward, dashing the respect is there. Just press the good button and that is the heat smash, but the hell sweep gets blocked. That's gonna be a full combo. Yeah, alright. Gets the ender. Mm -hmm. Oh, just raw gonna... heat activate. Has the advantage of Oh the Ooh, wow. gets the heat. Alright, this is gonna be rough. Yeah, this is rough. 1-1. One, one. Going for the safer option of the two that time. Good sidestep. Gonna activate Rage Art. Oh, it wins! I did a kick! Oh, and the low. Oh my god, the Rage a... Art. Yeah. What a situation, right? Just uh, like trying to go for the safe punish with the Rage Art. Just making sure that uh, I'm just gonna get the hit in, get the damage in. But nope. Yeah. Would have killed there too, I think. Yeah, I think definitely would have killed it. Well, that life yeah. was like just perfect. Yeah. Nice down 4 to 1 coming through. Now we are going to activate the heat. Get the plus flames, but good challenge from lane. 4 to 1 plus 2, gonna get the heat dash. Low check. Okay, down 4 to 1. Look at the pressure right now from Koenji. Great grab on the counter hit. Oh, and the running 3 2. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. All right. Poking now gets the hit. That's gonna be a full combo. Yep. Yeah. Who's the oh, the half your health bar. Ooh, oh, right. he engager. Plus frames. Gonna... Oh, nice. Good sidestep, but it trades. Doesn't matter. You get the launch anyway. Gonna sidestep in lib. Gonna keep the stance while running three two. Gonna activate the heat smash. Ooh. Right. Oh, the slide. Okay, well running 3-2 again. Goes for the grab, low grab this time. Ooh. Doesn't kill! Just still has the heat. Can get the heat smash. Yeah, nice. Oh good, good. sidewalk. Oh no! Oh. Okay. Okay. Konji, you need to stop worrying me with these with these punishes, man. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Alright. That's the pressure. That's the hit. Yeah, that's big damage to the wall we go. And the heat to activate the pressure. Ooh, ooh, here we go. Right, gets the low. Oh, check. Ooh, into rage. Out. Another slide. Ooh, the Good duck gets the punish. Oh, he's Hell sweep. The... Yeah, we saw the armor trying to activate it. Oh, running three two. Oh, running three two. The throw gets the grab. Gets Get off of me. Oh, oh, oh. And the mate. yeah, destruction mode. All right, we need to find the round. Final round of game three. This is so important right now. I think my boy got it though. Let's oh. go. The mate. Okay, low checks. While well, running 3 2. Low checks again on a half health. Right to low. Man. Oh, the, oh my he god. He is too far. No punish. Okay. A hit. Armor. Minus 9 goes for the heat okay. smash. Wants the mix. Gets blocked. Oh, the launcher. Oh, one for the one plus two. No launch punish on that. Sorry, no no punish on that, sorry. Wall running 3 2. Still possible. Good grab. No right. checks. Wall running 3 2. Let's go, let's go. 
comeback from Kawenji! Damn, that one hit. And took it. So that means oh my it's gonna days. be 2-1. The momentum, the pressure from my guy right there to make that comeback. My days, are you kidding me? Yeah. Uh, this one, this one down to the wire. Like, this sure. was super scary. And when you took it, and now being one game away from the reset. So, yeah, absolutely. Right, let's see. But again, uh, Lane now has the stage. Mm. So, let's see. For sure. This one's gonna pan out. We're gonna see again, maybe the stage, same stage again. Open We're going square. to open square, yeah. okay. We saw this stage. I like this pick. Yeah. Yeah. No, I like this pick because this was the ga the stage that Lane won on in game one. Yeah. So it can uh, affect the mental stack like that. It's like, oh, they won this stage, you know? And you start playing a bit worse. Yep. The flashbacks come in and you get mentally affected. So let's see if uh, if it will matter. Low check to start, start things off. That down yeah. back three. The Sorry, down kick. back four. Oh, the hop kick. Right, gets the combo. Yeah, we're watching a slideshow right now, but don't yeah. worry about it. We will catch up. That's gonna take it to the wall, obviously. Yeah. Big damage, half your health bar. That's fifty percent off. Oh, good catch on the destruction mode with the jab. Oh, the low gets blocked. good block on the low. Good punish there, Thumb Koenji, after the low block. Right. Players Link around slow. each other. The slide gets Slidey blocked. blocked and, launch. and launch punish with the wall rising too. Okay. Here we go. Gonna extend the combo with the heat. To the wall we go. Uh uh. Gonna activate the heat smash. Get the plus flames. I would grab here. Oh, goes for the high. Oh, goes for the one. And it's gonna be the round. That's gonna kill. Yeah, that's gonna be the round. Thank you, PowerPoint, for yeah. that uh, round one. Alright, well, we unpower points since it's round two. Should be able to reset and play normally. Hopefully, yeah. We, we should get a speed up. Nope. Okay. See, like it. It's nope. okay, though. It's fine. Gonna activate the heat. It's my turn now. Okay. Right, those are the chains. Destruction mode. Yeah, go. And it does connect. Gonna get the pickup off of it too. Stem away. Okay, good backdash there. Little little shimmies coming through. Four, four, three. Going for the low check. Sidestep! Great sidestep oh, yeah. lane. Yeah, but that's the thing, right? With this move, uh, I think the best option is to sidestep duck because uh, you sidestep you sidestep the higher the mid and then you duck so you actually body block her so she doesn't fly away and you just get a punish, right? You get something. Because yeah, if yeah. You just, if you just sidewalk completely, she just kind of flies away and you get nothing. You just back to the chill, which is cool. You avoid the, you know, the missile. Yes. At the same time, you know, you can be a bit greedy, get the punish. Because again, if yeah. you size attack it, it's a lot. It's a full combo. Absolutely. That's a great power crush there from Koenji at the wall, trying to stop Lane from fighting their way out, and this is gonna be big damage. While running 3 2. Ooh, whiff, big whiff there. Going to take the turn, get the low. Okay. Gonna put Koenji into heat here. Uh uh uh. With the destruction mode. Wall. L low check. Blocked. Gonna get the punish. While running 3 2 again. Gonna get the chip on that. While running 3 2 again. Let's get the chip again. Dark. 
Okay, 1-1. One, one. Destruction mode gets blocked. Only 15 seconds left on the clock. Grab. Ooh, gets excellent. broken. Get off of me. Oh, tries to go for the tackle. Oh, no. 10 seconds on the clock. Oh, man. 10 seconds left. Konji needs to do something right here. Duck. Good duck! What? Oh, man. Why would you throw out something that risky at the end of the round? You have the life lead. You get what I mean? You can just force the opponent to come to you yep. in that situation. You have the life lead. No need to do anything there. Okay. Uh, third round. Ooh, what a strong round Oh, and it's a great start. start from Koenji. Big combo. That's going to take it to the wall. Oh. Oh. We might have completely left Yeah, it I think time. I think maybe because we're so behind, it's just going to end. Yeah, like likely just going to end. Yeah, this connection server has been lost. Yeah. I think... Okay, uh, I saw I you think guys in Koenji chat. bracket reset. Yeah. Yeah, it seems it's bracket reset. Okay. Koenji has bracket reset. There we go. And that means we're starting from a nil-nil scoreline. Zero, zero. Another faster three on the horizon. Man, my heart rate is picking up. I need to calm down yeah. a little bit, yeah. man. Hey, it's get, too exciting for me. We got some time. Drink some water, you know. Yeah, man. Get ready. <laughs> It's, get, it's getting exciting, man. It's getting exciting. Now, let's see. Obviously, we have to random select stage again because it is the start of a new set. So, no lane does not get counter pick here. And we're going to Urban Square Evening anyway. <laughs> yeah. Which was lane's counter pick in, the, in uh, game five of the last one. So, maybe uh, lane got a bit lucky there on the random select. Yeah. All right. Okay, here we go. Oh, Game seems long. to be working this time. Yeah. Great grab. That grab is confirmed, by the way. Oh, it's guaranteed. Okay, okay. Yes. Right. Player poking. Oh, nice. Yeah, again, sidewalks Ooh. it, but doesn't get the chance to duck. Heat smash. Yes. Heat smash. All right, the low. Checks Ooh. with the mid. Good pressure. Yeah. I really like this pressure from lane, but into stance. Here we go. We'll press the down 4 to 1. Look at the movement right now from these two while running 3 2. Gets the 1 plus 2 grab. Come over here. Yeah, and hello. Low check. Yeah. Round two. Fight. Okay. Ooh, the counter oh, hit. big. Yeah, huge counter hit. To the wall we go. That's half your health bar. Ooh, that's going to the wall on the other side here. Big damage. You can offer a 50% off dis discount? Well, I can too. I'm your nearest competitor, bro. Okay, here we go. Into Ooh. the heat. Heat it's back. Gonna be a hit, Stop though. the pressure. No, doesn't get oh, wow. It's okay. I would have activated heat smash there. Might have killed. Even with the scaling, I feel like it would have killed. I also still have access to Tornado, right? So Yeah, yeah, exactly. That yeah. could have been a full combo, but regardless, I still got the round, so it's fine. Block still. Good low block. While running 3-2. Down 4-1-4, four four. I like that option. Oh, tries to go for the power crash, but it gets caught out by the low. Good low block. The launch punish, that is the optimal punish. The wall rising 2 there. Gonna send it to the wall. Oh no, drops it. Drops the heat burst. Hey, low check. Good block there. Gonna try and grab for the punish. Get off of me. Good sidewalk. Right. He activated war. I has the rage because oh. of the chip damage. Blocks the low. Yeah. Good punish. Low, low check. Low. low again. The mid. Oh! And the slide. Oh, the slide. The sweep. The sweepies. Here we go. Good turn taking happening right here. Into the stance, gets the health sweep, stays in lib. 
Alright, good players. Being very patient in right now. Ooh, the dash up low. Yeah. Good forward and back movement right now from these two. I'm loving this. Good heat burst. That's going to stop the pressure immediately and gets the float. Oh, tries to for the jab okay. extensions. That heat dash. Oh, man. And that's going to kill. Gonna yeah. Round. Nice and simple. We're going to file around. Yeah, the seven golden letters to beat as well. Oh, my God. That's to the wall. Big combo damage. Nice. Gets the block. Oh, okay. no. Running free two. What about free two? Running free two. Again, that chip anyway. Gonna activate the heat. Gonna activate the heat smash. Get plus flames. Here we go. But you see how much chip all that entire interaction oh, did, right? Oh, they can't hit on the grab! Yeah. Let's go, my boy. It is a 1-0 in the new set. Yeah, nice and simple. Taking the game one of the reset. Yes, absolutely. So let's see. I think OMG picked up very good momentum right now. Like mm. we lost lost the first game of the of the set, but since then mm. didn't drop one. So yes, it might absolutely. be that Koenji again. I was talking about the momentum stuff now. Like yeah. the momentum shifted very well for Koenji and now has to keep it up just to make sure not lane like not let lane start anything. Because right now yeah. it's down to the wire. Now it's the final set. Like whoever wins this wins the entire tournament. You cannot do anything. Yes, absolutely, and especially since Lane wants the f won the first set between them as well in that first to two in winners, um, like maybe Koenji just took a bit longer to get that download, you know, and so use that first winners set as as you know uh, information, use the first game of this set as information as well, and now has got the idea in his vein, has got the download. Let's see it. The 1-1 one, one into the house sweep after Lib. Okay, down forward one. Good side walk. Nothing off of it though. No checks. Alright. Oh, missed oh, the button. Yeah, slidey coming through. Stuff of the boosters with Alyssa is just really good. You need to watch out for that neutral. But forward one plus two. Gonna convert, and the down forward 3-3. Three, three. Good punish on the low block. That's gonna pick up and get a full combo. Uh-uh-uh. For 2 one 4 as the ender. Destruction mode activated. Good low block, and that's gonna be the wildizing punish. Oh, Koenji's got it now, surely. This is at the wall. While well, running 3-2, perfect! Seven Goldens! And it's not looking good for lane right now, right? Right, the low. Yep. Ooh, this the heat engager. Like I said, you saw it again, that down back three into another low, right? It's just very common for Azus to do. Okay. Oh wow. Is that punishable? That big upwards punch? I, I swear that's punishable, right? Um you can take your turn, yeah, yeah. Mm, okay, okay. Fight. Low check. Alright, blocks it. Still low check. Activates heat. Heat. Activates heat early. Koenji likes doing this actually. Koenji likes activating the heat early. Okay, probably gonna try and activate Heat Smash after this. Oh no, doesn't get the time to. Didn't get a time to use Heat, which is very bad. Lane has the advantage right now. Good side step. That was great. Oh, oh. Okay, good block there. Low block, great low block. I like the idea Koenji had though, trying to bait the mid, because it was doing lows after down back three very often. All right. Oh, oh, tries to press into it. I feel like this, uh, this specific sequence has been doing uh, like a lot of trouble for Koenji and just Lane abusing it. Yep. Like I could even say. Yeah, absolutely. That last hit was unscaled, by the way, because it didn't combo. <laughs> right, dash. Oh, it's gonna be rough yep. final hit. Chainsaws. So yep. has access to the heat burst. Running free two oh, doesn't get a two. chance. Oh, Koenji, one game away. 
the winning salty EU right now. Let's go, my boy. Another UK winner of salty EU potentially on the horizon. Yeah. Let's see again. Lane, uh, a very tough road ahead right now. Absolutely he needs to needs to reverse sweep. ready up we're going right yes, in, back absolutely. into it so let's see again uh lane another stage counter pick so you know yes i'm not sure if the colosseum was random select or if it was actually decided but uh, yeah oh no yakushima oh no. no oh no god please no god please no i don't want to no. know we went two no. rounds we went two rounds last time lane no <laughs> It's fine, here we go. Fight. Right. Ooh, Apparently start. Coliseum's still not big enough for yep. lane, needs an even bigger stage. But here we go. Yeah, this is the, that's the combo variation that I use on Azu, right? I use that uh, 2 on 4 ender. But 4 to 1 plus 2, gonna catch the destruction mode. Oh my god, it looks so good for Koenji right now. But... The Heat Engager gonna come through. First the sidestep gets caught. Heat Dash gonna keep up the pressure. Good stuff for Lane. Round two. Right. Fight. Low check. Yeah, blocks it. Yeah, good turn pressure. taking right now. And the launch! Beautifully done, here we go. Uh, uh, uh. From Coen G here. Why was hit? Yeah, a hit. Go check. Good duck. Can't get the punish though, but does get that one. And now, full combo. Right, dash. L yep. That's a hit. So that's These are. Down 4 3 3. These are. Uh, uh, while rising 2s are really catching lane. As, as a launcher, they're just catching so often. While running 3 2. Right, Good low. Still pressure though. Ooh, tries to step but doesn't get a chance. Yeah. Gonna activate the heat. Good heat activation then. Knowing lane was gonna be pressing there. Stopping the pressure immediately. And a good punish on the low. Oh, it was an air hit. It's gonna oh, be a full wow. combo. Yep. Little floaty. Ooh, that nation. Oh, the gonna be oh geez, that's gonna be it. That's gonna be it. Yeah. Keep it simple. He dash. There you go, nice. There we go. Wait, you're tournament point now. Tournament point for my boy. Here we go. The low. low check. All right, zero on block tries to go for the low again. Not a big punish, but still something. Chainsaw punish. The launch. Oh my days. All right, good start for Genji. This is like all you need. This is huge. Yeah. Nice block. You now need to convert running. this pressure into win. While running 3 2. Catches the side step. Oh, the win. Oh. Weave, weave! Oh my god, a good punish. Low checks. Lane really needs to do something here. Yeah. Arm good Activating. Oh! Alright, the run. No way. Oh, that's gonna be it! That's it! Go on, who hits it! That's it! Let's go! And yeah, so that coin G is the salt winner of this week. And I and I gotta say, I also feel like a winner because we didn't crash. <laughs> yeah, I, I I I also feel like a winner. Yeah. But yeah, so that means that Koenji is gonna be this week yes. winner. Yeah. Yeah. Of some man. EU. Gonna gonna get his paycheck. Gonna get that invitation to Wanted as well. Yep. Man oh man, let's go. Yeah. Yes, man. Oh, man. That is my guy right there. I'm so happy you don't understand, man. Yeah. That's my boy. Yeah, no, GG's. GG's from ICGG's in the chat. GG's yeah, from everyone. Yeah. And sick tournament. Uh, went what really tournament? Well. The top eight. The top eight was super sick today. Like a lot of oh, variety. Absolutely. I don't think. I don't think we even had like a repeating character this time. Uh, mm, I can't think of one. Yeah, I think no. I think genuinely we had a uh, we we just had a 
Mm. Yeah, just like no, no, uh, no repeating character. Looking at it quickly, which is yeah, no, very I don't sick, think we did. Sick. Like good character right is always sick for a tournament. Absolutely, man. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, what what a tournament it was, right? That yeah. was absolutely amazing stuff. Yeah. Uh, Rash, you have uh, anything to add before we sign off? Anything uh, from you? I mean, besides the classic, you know. Uh, thanks everyone for being here. I am sorry for all the issues. Uh, unfortunately, yes. I can't like fix almost all of them. It was just kind of the game being its uh, its own game, and I'm sorry for everyone because again, I know it like hurts the the viewer experience. Yes. But it also hurts for me as a TO like just dealing with all of it. So you know, I can like relate to you all, and I just know it's rough. Yes. So absolutely. I apologize, but. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll see you all yes. uh, on Tuesday for some exits yes. for me personally. On Monday, we have really? Strive. And yeah, while I'm talking, I'm gonna look where okay. I can send you guys off to. I see Joker okay. streaming. Yeah. I'm gonna Just before we go, I'm gonna add if you want to see my stuff, you can see at Hakobian Pereira on the Twitter over there. I am running a tournament called Clean Hit. Next week it is a charity tournament raising money for Marie Curie. There's a hundred quid Steam gift cards as a prize pool for you guys. We're running Grand Blue Fantasy Versus on Friday, um, Guilty Gear Strive on Saturday, and Tekken 8 on Sunday. So it's a three day event, it's a celebration of the FGC. So please, please, please do come along. We're raising money for a great cause. So uh, please do come along to that next week. Right. You can see all the details on my Twitter. Yeah, again, you see Twitter right below our names, so you know. Uh, for more information for the event, or if you want to give either of us a follow, hi. Yes. You're always welcome. But yeah, so that's gonna be it from us. You know, nice end yes. at midnight for for me, for you. It's 11 p.m. And I'll yes, see you all. Absolutely. See you all next, next time. time. Bye bye.